nakatira ngayon. Miracle play, can this happen? Look at the dog, he is on a fire clock. Four kills! And good afternoon, guys. Welcome to our prominent game for uh, Dota 2, of course. This is the Crown Cup for Season 2. We are your casters, of course. My name is Keeper, and with me is Uncle Pilaj. <laughs> English. Good afternoon, guys. <laughs> good afternoon, guys. And uh, again, uh, welcome to uh, our page. Right? Mm -hmm. uh, we are live here in uh, YouTube. So uh, to our viewers, guys, make sure to... Uh, share our stream right and uh make sure it's in uh, public so uh you could join us so uh, we can cast this uh, uh amazing donut games we have um five uh mm -hmm. or four to uh, five uh games that we're gonna cast today right mm -hmm. and uh it's good to be back right <laughs> It's good to be back. It's been four years since me and Pilaj last casted <laughs> Dota together, but still, we are now live right now. I believe the first game would be um, Apes, uh, the, the Apes Grind. Very mm -hmm. interesting. Yeah. The Apes Grind the, versus... Huh? Golden, Sorry. Uh, this is uh, Golden Kangaroos. Golden, right? Golden Kangaroos, yes. So, Kangaroos versus Apes. What are your thoughts? <laughs> So, so uh battle battle who's the uh best in the jungle i guess right because uh yeah like an animal kingdom right here and um yeah and uh i'm excited to see um on uh the uh, players on uh, what they'll bring right um if mm -hmm. uh, they will be if they will be uh following the uh um the meta right now because yeah. um the meta of dota 2 right now is somehow um not not confusing but um it's a bit tricky right because you see a lot of mm -hmm. heroes that can be played on the uh support position and mm -hmm. also uh the other way around right um some uh, supports are now being played as a uh core hero so or, yeah. Uh, yeah i'm looking forward to uh that if they will follow the mm -hmm. uh, the meta or the uh what's available right now yeah, I agree. There's a lot of in store, especially right now in the Dota scene. And guys, for the people who's watching the stream right now on the YouTube, we have a running giveaway mm -hmm. from, of course, from Prominence Games. All you have to do is um, type in exclamation point giveaway, and then uh, we will be having um, 
five winners of ten dollars each. That's ten dollars each for a total of fifty dollars. So just exclamation point giveaway and good luck. Mm -hmm. Good luck. So right now, um, going back into the game, um, mm -hmm. we're just uh, checking if the uh, uh, teams are now ready, so uh, we could start the mm -hmm. uh, the game. Mm -hmm. so again, so again, guys, uh, please do like the uh, uh, stream and uh, share it on uh, the uh, on other uh, social media plat uh, platforms. Mm -hmm. And yeah, and of course, um, we have a very inter interesting question for um, Uncle Pilaj that I just gathered. Um, <laughs> if you already took your medicine or your maintenance, <laughs> <laughs> all good, all good. I, uh, I took my uh, maintenance. So for the for the um, viewers who don't know, because yeah, they do call me uh, uncle because uh, I'm uh, a bit old in the scene. <laughs> All right, so yeah. Yeah. So yeah, again, very interesting games for today. Again, this is the first of like uh, two days for uh, for the cup, and of course, we will be having like four or five, six matches for today. But tomorrow would be. Um, again, it's the, already the main event. The uh, mm -hmm. grand finals would be there. So stay tuned, guys. If you have teams that you want to cheer up, um, especially right now, apes versus the kangaroos, just uh, just put it in the comments there in YouTube to support your team. And yeah, I can see a lot of uh, Dotto best game. I agree. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah. And uh, by the way, I'm I'm checking the list of teams that's. Uh... Uh, that's going to play in the uh, tournament and i think i uh one team that uh caught my attention is uh, the uh i think that was uh, steel wolves and um i usually see this uh, uh this team play on uh other tournaments and yeah i'm not saying that um, they might win this one but they will be a a a, a threat for uh, the yeah. other team so We'll mm -hmm. see, but uh, of course, we'll start uh, with uh, the Bowling Kangaroos and the uh, Apes Grind. So, mm -hmm. we'll see if, uh, you know, if uh, they can manage to, or if these uh, teams can manage mm -hmm. to uh, go up into the Grand Finals, which, again, will be um, covered tomorrow. Yeah, tomorrow indeed. And, yeah, I mean, the teams consisting right now, it's not uh, only like a single country. This is... Uh, the teams inside Southeast Asia. So mm -hmm. there's a lot of in store, like uh, mm -hmm. different tier three, tier two, or even hopefuls that mm -hmm. wanted to go into the uh, Dota scene. This is the perfect step for you if you want to have the competition in store. If you want to be, for example, in DPC or what. <laughs> mm -hmm. So we'll just, uh, I'm just going to check the uh, lobby and I think. Uh... We we'll just have uh, we we'll just have like a uh, a slight um, delay, but uh, yeah. oh, there you go. So, there you go. We're all good. So here we go. So we are now commencing in our first game for today. Again, this is like as the Uncle Pulaj said, this would be a battle in the jungle as Golden Kangaroos versus the Five Apes grind. First game will be commencing right now in the pick and ban phase. Let's see. Um, or let's check. Uh, what Stupid. the uh, Brave. both Brave. teams Stupid. will uh, go to ban, right? Stupid. If uh, again, if they go to uh, follow uh, the uh, trending uh, meta, or they'll just um, play with their cheese stats. Right? Yeah. Five seconds. I mean, um, I, right now, right now it's really diverse. Like I'm seeing, like for example, yeah, Spirit Breaker. Spirit Breaker last year is not really that. A lot of pick or ban, mm -hmm. but recently he is big right now in the meta, especially mm -hmm. for example off lane or he he's even played in mid mid spirit trigger is really devastating. But again, it really depends on uh, the lineup. Yeah, but uh, in the South East Asia, we see um, spirit breaker is uh, commonly played in the uh, off lane position. Aside from the uh, we usually see this uh, hero played in the. Uh, Support position. Other teams played it in the off lane position, especially mm -hmm. um, uh, Team SMG, mm -hmm. right? um, those um, tier one teams. So mm -hmm. we usually see them uh, play remaining. Spirit Breaker or Barathrone 
on the uh, offline position. And uh, for mm -hmm. apes, given they uh, choose to uh, ban Enchantress and Weaver, Weaver. Well, for uh, Golden Kangaroos, uh, again, uh, this, this uh, as I mentioned earlier, uh, other heroes that are used in the uh, core position remaining. sometimes can be used in the support role, like Five this outward remaining. destroyer. Um, mm -hmm. T1, um, when, I, uh, when, I, uh, when I saw T1 played, they Time played it in the uh, position 4 or position 5. But for the mm -hmm. um, for the first pick of Apes Grind, they will be choosing Tide Hunter. Mm -hmm. I mean, Tide Hunter is really contested right now. Um, he can be either played as uh, uh, mid or off lane, but most of the time off lane. The Ravage is really devastating. It really depends if Tide Hunter will go for a dagger directly or the usual build, which is an agony. The agony upgrade, but surprisingly, an Ayu first pick. Mm, this this is super interesting because there's a lot of uh, carries that you can pair with Io. And speaking of which, Razor is one of them. Mm -hmm. So this Io will play in the support position, but the question right now for Apes Grind is, um, what hero should be picked to counter this Razor? Because right now they don't know. What racer's um, position? The racer yeah. can play, uh, play in the uh, one, mid position. One four. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, you can uh, play this one in the mid position four and the uh, uh, carry position, right? And mm -hmm. also for Apes and what it's hard or what's hard for them right now is since they don't know what's the position of a racer, they can't mm -hmm. reveal. Uh, they can't just uh, instantly re reveal their. Um, next hero because it's very hard to uh, get a hero it's very hard to pick a hero that um if you don't know who, who's you're uh, going to face with uh in the yeah. game so exactly. um, i mean possible, uh, uh, position four hero there you go mm -hmm. next assassin this is a very next good assassin. pick because uh, mm -hmm. next assassin is uh is good alongside with tidehunter but mm -hmm. uh, much better if um or a much better lineup for them because if uh, next assassin or, or if golden kangaroos get the uh, next assassin um the tide hunter will, will have a very hard day yeah i mean especially with the dagger prop or even the mana problems mana problems one of the main thing that tide hunter players uh, actually face except if you're going to build directly again for an agonist build which really upgrades the uh, the gush in this case night stalker would be banned by apes uh, grind because as we can, uh, as we know, the Tide Hunter can really have the uh, utilization of going in. But in this case, if he entered into the scene and Night Stalker is one of them, the silence is pretty big into the team fight. So the reaction time would be less for Apes Grind. I'm thinking for Golden Kangaroos, they should ban um, Grimstroke, so the IO will not be countered or any heroes that can uh, that can hold. Or um, that can uh, stop the um, sustain of an IO because we all know, um, right? IO is a, a very good here in terms of uh, in terms of sustain. So mm -hmm. uh, Grimstroke is one of the best counters for um, IO. So I guess uh, that would be yeah. a great band as well. And for um, th if um, Apes Grind will get mm -hmm. this Grimstroke, the Tide Hunter will have a very uh, good day because mm -hmm. um, of the uh, Soulbind, right? And if they pick a lot of uh, targeted heroes, uh, that will be a double whammy for the side of Golden mm -hmm. Kangaroos. Mm -hmm. And yeah, speaking of which here, uh, and very interesting band, Mortling and uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yes. Not Not the best for now, but I mean, removing the core is one of the best things in the second phase of the banning phase. Mm -hmm. And right now, there's the Grimstroke oh, that you're talking about. There you go. The the denying as much utility from IO as possible with the Grimstroke is a big deal, especially for Apes Grind. So how do you nullify it? Yeah, probably with the Soulbind. So they're also, uh, they've also also chosen uh, Bat Rider. Uh, but this time, Apes Grind was the one who banned Grimstroke. I thought that they were going to uh, pick it. They might mm -hmm. go for a, um, a Ember Spirit. Golden Kangaroos mm -hmm. might uh, go for an uh, Ember Spirit since the Batrider has been removed from mm -hmm. the game. Or any mm -hmm. Spirit Brothers. We'll see. Mm -hmm. so, oh, Puck! A uh, very strong laner. Mm -hmm. So, either way, if Racer will go mid against uh, against this Puck, 
um, mm-hmm. Razor will have a hard time because uh, Puck is a yeah. very nimble hero, right? Um, they can uh, jaunt out uh, mm-hmm. using the um, using the uh, illusory mm-hmm. orb. Plus, mm-hmm. uh, you can also hide with the uh, waning uh, waning rift. I'm sorry, uh, rift. phase shift, phase uh, phase shift. Mm-hmm. So that will be a very hard link for a razor. He can't get a lot of damage with the static link. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but probably for me, Pox uh, Pox problem is the disruptor. As mm-hmm. we can see, disruptor whenever he pops up the uh, the ultimate static storm, mm-hmm. Pox cannot do anything. When running rift or just jumping out, Pox can do that. So they need a solid, uh, like a solid someone that can really go to disengage the fight because they have already tied hunter for engaging. Mm-hmm. How about someone that's disengaging? Like for example, this might be um, silencer mm-hmm. or possibly disengage and re-engage. We can um, also pick, um, yeah, mm-hmm. uh, pillage. No, no, no. I'm, I'm just thinking if uh, silencer will be picked on the side of golden kangaroos. Uh, um, what it's would possible, the yeah. silencer? What would be the uh, silencer's uh, position? If uh, silencer can uh, play, or if the uh, mid player of golden kangaroos can play mid, then that's good. Ooh. There you go. So they chose two heroes. that's very nimble, uh, as mm-hmm. I mentioned earlier. Queen of Pain is one of the best counters for Razor. Again, mm-hmm. Razor cannot um, spam um, his uh, static link. Right, mm-hmm. Queen of Pain can just in, uh, easily. A blink out while Puck can uh, just um, jaunt out yeah. and then uh, uh, Illusory Orb and then jaunt out so the static link will be broken. Mm-hmm. Life Stealer maybe? Oh, Kung- ah, okay, okay. This is a mid Kunkka if that uh, that's the case or can possibly yeah. uh, be a same Kunkka. Um, uh, it's either um, or. I, mm-hmm. Yeah, either or. But um, I think this Razor can play in the, uh, in the um, position one. Since um, mm-hmm. they've made an adjustment and uh, chose Kunka, if uh, Kunka mm-hmm. will face against uh, Queen of Pain, um, Kunka will have a slight advantage, right? Mm-hmm. And uh, same as Puck, mm-hmm. he, can easy, uh, he can easily deny um, or um, get a lot of uh, last hits, so they so he could Ten win the lane. But mm-hmm. if Puck can, uh, or so the question Five here for Apes Grant is. What would be the pos- uh, the position of uh, these two heroes, this Puck yeah. or Queen of Pain? Because right now, I think they can play Nyx Assassin on the position 5. So mm-hmm. they can just pick a, a good... Um, I think um, they have a, a good... Uh, they have good magic burst, so, but uh, mm-hmm. they lack a, a bit of uh, right-click damage or normal or physical damage. Yeah. That's look look at the band. Um, it's a good band, Raid King. Or in the course, Raid, yeah. King. Raid King can uh, provide a lot of physical damage. So, hmm. I'm guessing Life Stealer would be a good pick for Apes Grind. Mm-hmm. Oh, for me, uh, they've um, already banned. They've already banned uh, Life Stealer and uh, Draw Troll. Ranger. Ten seconds remaining. Mm, Troll Warder, yeah. Troll Warder mm-hmm. would be a great um, pick as well. Five seconds remaining. Hmm. hmm. So they're taking about... Razor, Razor off lane, I guess. Hmm. It's either off lane or he, he can be played as four. But again, Razor's, um, Razor's power spike is not really that farming long in uh, in the side lane. Razor's strength is really going around the map, and just farming. Uh, again, farming not in the lane, but more for me, more on the jungle side, and mm-hmm. uh, until he gets his first first core item. But I... Kunka, on the other hand, Armlet? Um, yeah, Armlet is uh, good. But uh, I guess uh, Golden Kangaroo's lack um, burst damage here. Uh, I'm thinking hmm, Timbershaw. So yeah, they Timbers- could um, soften up the Tidehunter mm-hmm. with the, uh, um, what do you call this? The. A first kill of uh, Timbersaw, so they um, could soften up the uh, Tide Hunter, mm-hmm. since uh, the tanky hero, or, or the tanky is here right Ten now. Seconds. What I'm seeing is uh, just the Tide Hunter. Yeah, the Tide Hunter. Timbersaw is a good pick for them. Five Razor can go me. play uh, the position one. But, mm-hmm. uh, here comes the uh, last pick. We'll see. Mm-hmm. Um, so I believe we'll Golden Kangaroos really need a solid, um, a, a solid. Pick. Crowd control AOE aside from Kongao. Oh. PA, okay. So this might be a support 
Tidehunter, if this is the case, or support Queen of Pain. Um, I don't know. Yes. Um, possible Queen of Pain support or um, Pac mid. Either way, um, they can play uh, or um, the heroes can be played on the uh, on the uh, position four. While uh, next assassin, I think next assassin will just stay in the um, position five alongside with Phantom Assassin, so mm-hmm. uh, Phantom Assassin can uh, get his uh, farm L C. So it's LC. it's a Razor Core. Yes, it's a um, razor or a concomitant of flame Position one, position one yeah. razor, concomitant. But I'm still having uh, thoughts on the um, apes grind uh, lineup, which is again uh, the mm-hmm. pop and queen of pain. So mm-hmm. we'll figure that out in a bit once mm-hmm. we head into the game. But um, how about you? Um, Kiefer, um, who do you, uh, based on the lineup itself, who do you think mm-hmm. will get this game? Actually, both of them has a decent, uh, has a decent uh, damage output. I mean, addition with the uh, with the Legion Commander, they can really stop someone from the tracks. But going into the late game, I think mm-hmm. um, it's still the execution wise because Razor can nullify PA, PA can nullify mm-hmm. Razor. I mean, if that makes sense, and yeah. So, either way for me. I don't know. Mm-hmm. Okay, so I think we are good. Uh-huh. So, there you go. And uh, we'll just uh, introduce the uh, players. Mm-hmm. Okay. So, uh, I'll start on the Radiant side. We have Silence. I'm come playing the IO. Clico. Uh, we'll be playing Legion Commander. December will be uh, or, or December will play Disruptor. We have Kunka and Joe Burrow for mm. uh, with his razor. And meanwhile, on the other side, we have the the Gorshop. Well, uh, Nix Assassin brainstorm with the Queen of Pain. Paranoid the Pup. Uh, I can't read that one. Uh, Phantom Assassin and MJ with a Tide Hunter. All right, so. Now, uh, see, so we have an uh, uh, ongoing clash right now, very early into the game. Yeah. We want this Tide Hunter so bad. Mm-hmm. I think just clearing out the vision, especially if you're going to the first bounty, I mean, that's still big. Not not because that you want to kill as early as level one, but you have the, you can have the upper hand in the vision if you want to, uh, for example, if you want to possibly uh, a big chase or block a possible neutral camp. I mean, it really depends on how they handle it. But right now, just neutral, just two bounties for each. Mm -hmm. So, I think, uh, yeah, two for two for them. Yeah, two for two. Mm -hmm. So now we'll see, um, in terms of uh, the laning phase, who play in the mid, uh, who play in the mid position. So that's Razor. Mm-hmm. He'll be facing. Uh, okay, so the puck will play in the uh, mid, and mm-hmm. all right. So the Queen of Pain right now will play on the um, wait. Off lane support or a possible. It's an off lane cop. Off lane, okay. So mm-hmm. and right now so, they're going for disruptor. Mm-hmm. So yeah, it's a support tide hunter as um, mm-hmm. I asked, I predicted, but. This might be pretty hard uh, for me, just in case. But again, the lineup of Konka and uh, Queen of Pain is actually pretty common. But it's actually different if you see it in other lanes, not in mid. So expect a lot of, uh, again, more fighting when it comes to uh, this composition. Because again, both of them has the support capabilities. Mm-hmm. And uh, this is a very uh, interesting matchup because... Um every lane right now they don't just uh, secure their last hit instead um they're fo- they focus on uh harassing the uh, mm-hmm. four heroes of uh of both teams mm-hmm. i mean um it's really in- uh, interesting in this uh, in this type of situation again this uh, this dota so um just um channeling first your inner last hits or uh the nice capabilities but in this case i think there might be a fight in the bottom lane the Kunka. It's just going into a one point of the life, but the torrent didn't hit. There is the steel cage, the electric cage. Let's see one more hit, and that's a first blood. First blood. And here All comes right, the what a play coming in from uh, 
Konka, though um, next assassin might have uh, juked uh, them for a bit, but still he'll fall. And uh, of course, the uh, first blood uh, will go for uh, on the side of uh, the golden kangaroos. Mm -hmm. Still have Asman going on here in the mid lane. Konka somehow low on his HP, but somehow they cannot control the equilibrium of uh, or the flow of the uh, creeps on the uh, on the bottom lane. It's uh, being yeah. controlled by the dire side. If you look, yeah, the, exactly. the the creeps are somehow um, too deep or, or uh, too near on the uh, dire side. Mm -hmm. But here in the middle lane, there you go. As I mentioned earlier, this is a very good um, a very good matchup for the puck since um, he can just um, illusory orb out or jaunt out mm -hmm. once uh, the static link has been used. So Razor will not have a lot a lot of uh, uh, damage. Mm -hmm. And um, yeah, I mean, speaking of which, right now, it's kind of actually this is kind of hard. Like two melees um, against an LC with an enchanted LC. Like if you really try to go uh, and fight the Legion Commander, Legion Commander will just instantly get the some of the health back. Speaking of which, right now, just a little bit of aggression for uh, from uh, from actually both of the teams have uh -huh. that uh, kind of aggression but again with the experience advantage it's kind of hard for the for die right now i mean uh -huh. there's the damage again but it's still surviving the skin of his teeth uh -huh. one more and the spike carapace will save him all right so on the bottom lane huh? it's a <laughs> it's a very hard this is a very hard game for uh next assassin but uh there you go x marks the spot mm -hmm. torrent will be used but uh, mm -hmm. no follow up for uh, that one. Mm -hmm. Luckily, he didn't get hit with that Pride Bringer yeah, or bringer, else. Yeah. Oh, I right mean, on the dark side is having a hard time, uh, especially this uh, bottom lane. Because, um, yeah. what a, oh, on the top lane. Oh. On the top lane, there is again the aggression of the Legion Commander. But Legion Commander running low. There is the healing of, of course, the overcharge by the IO, keeping the LC alive oh for now. Mm hmm. And in terms of uh, sustain, yes, uh, the Tether was able to uh, save these, uh, uh, the uh, Legion Commander. And mm -hmm. um, I, was, uh, I was supposed to say that they're actually looking pretty good on their uh, lanes. They have uh, 21 Lassets and 2 Denies for mm -hmm. uh, the LC and the PA. And there's some of them having a hard time to kill this um, LC because um, he has sustain, right? To uh, press the attack plus the attack speed and also... Yeah. Um, the the uh, tether or the sustainability of an IO, but mm -hmm. he's on the bottom lane. Let's see, Kunka. Mm -hmm. There's, a there's stun. the there's the stun, and of course the slow, nice mm. two man torrent just keeping them back for now. Here comes the X marks the spot. This might be the end for Queen of Pain. There's the poison, but again, Ooh. one more hit. Hopefully, there we go. Queen of Pain will be taken down, but again, the Kunka might be in trouble. The turning oh. the tables around, just Sorry? chasing around. The oh, next assassin target, ah. touch for it, just running for his life, and they're just running out for now. Uh, he doesn't have any mana, so he can uh, cast the uh, Thunder Strike. Uh, mm -hmm. What a break for this uh, next assassin. Was able mm -hmm. to survive the uh, onslaught that. Uh, I was able to uh, survive the onslaught that the um, Radiant side is bringing them. But uh, let's see, here in the mid lane, uh, mm -hmm. just another a normal day at the office for them. Concentrating Don't on their assets. Uh, 3817 for Razor. Mm -hmm. And Puck has a uh, 19 and uh, 1. So, in terms of uh, last hits, um, yeah, this Puck is uh, having a hard time as well. Yeah, I mean, um, negating the damage as much well as possible. You have the warning rip, you have the the essence shift, but again, oh, going for the the there's, a, there's a lot. And the top lane, there's a fight once again. The tether overcharged once again, saving the LC from from danger. This is a good, I mean, this is a good um, duo right now in the in the off lane, negating as much possible. And here he comes. He wants the fight. Once again, but again, there's no duel available. But meanwhile, the mid lane, Nyx Assassin again. Loads of trouble. Static wow, link. Nice the Eye of the Storm. But I think the Eye of the Storm is unnecessary. Yeah. But um, what a play coming in from this Raptor. Um, what a timely use of his uh, kinetic field. Um, mm -hmm. Just in the nick of time, um, the kinetic field barrier uh, went 
up and block mm-hmm. uh, the uh, next uh, and block next assassin's uh, path. Mm-hmm. So they managed to uh, kill him, but oh, Ayo, mm-hmm. he's solo, but PA still at mm-hmm. level five. He doesn't have mm-hmm. one. Uh, yeah, there you go. Oh no, uh, no. but no, no, he's in trouble. He's uh, but LC just uh, still at level four. But uh, yeah. if uh, that LC is uh, does does have his uh, do or her duel, they can kill that um, PA. Hmm. I mean, there's a lot of consider, of course. Uh, PA having the evasion. The only time that you can really lock the PA is with that duel. Here we go. The Soren Boshi combo. There is the the, the possible blank, ah. but it got interrupted and still, for me, wasted ult. That's a wasted ult. That's mm-hmm. uh, that's 70 seconds. No go ship in case a big team fight that would happen. Yes. But speaking of which, Razor saw the stack and he obliged to get the stack for himself. Mm-hmm. It's a uh, that's a very good uh, anticipation of the timing for uh, Razor since uh, we're already at the seven minute mark. He already destroyed the um, tier one tower here in the mid lane. So mm-hmm. the best thing that he could do is to invade the jungle and, and get uh, possible uh, stacks that mm-hmm. um, the supports uh, you know that the supports uh, made tower. for their Something core tower. heroes and somehow mm-hmm. he stole one so that uh, will somehow uh, boost his um, economy. Yeah, and right now Queen of Pain might be in trouble, but again, paranoid. The puck comes to the rescue. There's the coil, but again, that's a one-one trade. Queen of Pain will be taken down, but at the same time, the Konka would be will be down in the hands of the puck. That's still four one on the scoreboard. Mm-hmm. I'm not pretty sure if that's a good sign for the side of uh, the Golden Kangaroos because that's a uh, you know, um, a Konka four. Uh, and uh, they uh, Akunka for a Queen of Pain, and they've given the uh, fuck oh, no. or their mid laner a boost on their economy. But we're having a team fight here on the Kinetic top field. lane. Let's and see. again, Kinetic Field, Kinetic Field didn't have the opportunity. Tide Hunter, no Ravage Stop yet. Part. And now Disruptor will be taken down. But it's okay, as they said, it's only the Disruptor. The PA will be taken down by Ooh. the Disruptor. <laughs> With a thunder strike, prop the yeah. last hit of thunder strike. They can, go, they can still go for a duel here. Yeah, they can go for a duel. Level six. Duel is duel. available. There you go. Duel. There you go. Plus, there you that's go. a plus ten dual damage, and that would mm-hmm. be a one, a two one trade. Yeah. Good play coming in for the side of the uh, apes or the golden kangaroos. Yeah, golden kangaroos. Is under attack. So, Again, um, they managed the... to uh, uh-huh. they managed to set up the uh, or they they managed to kill the um, PA without using a duel and then immediately mm-hmm. use the duel with uh, two uh, or two uh, two decayed hunter. So still, um, if you're playing an LC, first thing that you need to invest in is not on the items but mm-hmm. with the. Uh, with the uh, dual damage or the additional yeah. damage uh, by the uh, dual so it's yeah. all good and uh, they will get an objective here as well yeah speak of which that's a tier one turret also oh, and they hunter. will fight they saw the tide hunter lurking in the shadows Ravage is available, Do but there's no teammate available as well and also in the dire side jungle just been there playing the, in the other side, but still they want to chase this one. There's the duel, another plus 10 for the Legion Commander. And speaking of which, 2v1, the Razor might be in trouble. And now the static take, no, oh, the damage for the static link is still, it's too much. That's a double kill, but all of a sudden the blink and the wave from the Queen of Pain will be taking down the Razor. And now Spleeko wants to chase the Queen of Pain, but there's no duel available and just going out. With the relocate, Radiance Middle Tower. Okay, somehow, X part they might have got that um, queen paint they went in too early, but um, that's that's just a bad play for the side uh, of the uh, bear because uh, mm-hmm. they lost the two heroes and they didn't manage to kill the razor when they had a chance. Instead, uh, two heroes will go down, um, or went down, uh, mm-hmm. with uh, with uh, because of that razor. And Queen of Pain must, you know, um, he, um, he was forced to uh, rotate on that lane just to kill that evasion. So mm-hmm. some of the one v three situation, right? Mm-hmm. Where, um, they took three heroes just to kill uh, one hero on on the uh, radiant side. So everything's going well for the side of uh, 
on the uh, radiant side. Let's see mm -hmm. if uh, they can uh, manage to clear the tier one tower. I mean, uh, for uh, for Razor, like him going down early is not really a big deal, especially if you're really ahead on the laning phase. But speaking of which, for uh, or man is already down there, and there's the Vendera LC hit. In trouble. Else, he might be in trouble. Rav, one on Ravage. They know there's no Ravage. Anytime soon, they can just go in. But only problem is there's no duel available that can really lock down someone. But this is a bad idea. Disruptor denying the turret. There's the turret and the ghost ship. And it would be taken down as well. The fight still continues. Razor, on the other hand, the, um, yeah. standing leg. Nice glimpse over to the back. It would be taken down as well. That's a 1 4 2 3. Again, the uh, relocate, uh, they're having problems with the IO because of that uh, relocate. And yes, they've managed to take down LC, but it cost them two heroes, mm -hmm. the uh, Queen of Pain and the Phantom, uh, or rather the uh, Nyx Assassin. And right now, um, I'm looking at PA, um, mm. 12 minutes into the game, he doesn't have uh, a Battle Fury yet, so he can boost his farm, he still needs two items. Mm -hmm. While on this is, uh, this side, mm -hmm. this, this PA is not really considered behind, yeah. but but in the other, uh, in oh. any case, in, oh wait, what happened? That's a kill, once again, to the pup, and that would be, this is a fuck. It's actually really behind. Oh, There's no oh no, Tidehunter might be in trouble. Yep, he is really indeed in trouble. Razor with a double kill. Again, this Razor is somehow uh, very, uh, it's uh, too, uh, too strong right now. He managed mm -hmm. to make timing and even the uh, Legion Commander. Right now, he has um, Blink Dagger, a couple more mm -hmm. of uh, so he could uh, buy his Blink Dagger. And once he has his Blink Dagger, they have uh, easy access or they can just easily um, pick team fights because he can uh, jump, uh, you know, um, he can yeah, just uh, yeah. jump into uh, battles yeah. and pick one so he could get uh, or he can invest a lot on mm. uh, her duel. Mm. And yeah, again, with the current duel damage is still 20. I mean, at, as of this moment, it's still not a lot for me, but mm -hmm. uh, with the help of Blink Dagger, going into that gap closer, either holding a PA or either a Queen of Pain, it's already a big deal for this. Speaking of Queen of Pain, Vision has been sighted. There's the press the attack. And speaking of which, dual activated. I think it's not enough damage. Give me damage. Give me damage. Now with a but still, the rest of the team will follow. Good relocate coming in for uh, IO. Bringing, mm -hmm. uh, I think uh, he brought um, Razor or Kunka. And mm -hmm. now they're back here on the uh, mid lane. And now they'll pick the uh, next assassin. Tidehunter is here. Ravage mm -hmm. is available, but they managed to uh, use the Impale right Radiant's on time. Mm -hmm. is under so Razor will not, uh, I mean, will not get I him. mean, the Razor have a BKB available. So anytime he wants to initiate the fight, BK, he can just pop up the BKB and not being hit by the Ravage. The, probably the main problem, if that's the case, would be the, again, Queen of Pain. But in this case, he's not really scared with Ayo on his side. And oh, there's... Oh, oh. oh, wait, oh, Vision? Oh, rather Nick Assassin. Nick Assassin. He will not be scouted. Oh, there's the Vendetta backstab, but again, he, he hit the Ayo for some reason. Ravage, one man Ravage, BKB is available, popping up the BKB anytime soon, there it is. And now, Static Storm with the Kinetic Field with a duel into the PA. That's additional 10 damage for the Legion Commander. Brains of Angel, go up, go up, the glimpse, go back oh, no. to where you came from. And this would be a 3v3 uh, three for non trade for the Kangaroos. Yeah, so, what a play coming in from Disruptor. He uh, he didn't get caught on that Ravage. Uh, that Ravage was a good, was a good setup, but somehow. He didn't get the uh, disruptor. Disruptor managed to, uh, to uh, uh, you know, to uh, go to go far, so he could not get hit. And wow, mm -hmm. just what a play! And uh, looking at the network right now, Razor has a 10k gold lead, or rather, uh, he has a, a 10k uh, 10k network and a 14k gold lead on their end. Mm -hmm. And right now, things are uh, going, uh, are not doing pretty good for the uh, dire side because um, there's the duel once trouble, again there's the duel no mana but still the duel 
And of course, a follow up from uh, from the Razor's Plasma Field is enough to take down the puck and grant additional damage into the LC kinetic static field. field. Mm -hmm. I mean, kinetic field, and still, that's a lot of damage from the Razor. They might go, they might snowball into uh, this game. 19 for 15k gold lead. Oh, and there is a solo. That's an off cam kill. I think it's not a solo kill, but still, the Kunka taking down the, the Queen of Pain once again. Oh no, this might be. Uh, I, don't, I don't know. Like, the comeback capabilities for me for Aves is not getting caught off guard especially the lc right now is really aggressive when it comes to the duels if one more kill for uh the radiant site and they can secure a um they can secure roshan i guess yeah. so they could uh go for the high ground but i think mm -hmm. they want more kills i look at the queen of pain i think uh he's trying to uh cut off the uh Eels. the creeps uh mm. cut off the wave because right now, um, the Radiant side is playing on the uh, Dire side, dire uh, side. jungle. Yeah, so mm. there's no space to farm for mm -hmm. uh, the Dire side. Look at the uh, difference. It's 24 and a 60k. Oh no. Spice, Spike Carapace, X mark the spot, Kinetic yeah, Field. What a glimpse. The, it's a dead mix, Assassin, once again. And Aghanims is already up to the Razor, so they can just push down the mm -hmm. the tier three uh, the tier three tower for the side of uh the dire but again fortification would be up but again the rest of the team is actually in the region side farming they don't mm -hmm. have they don't want to contest with the team right now i think they're just uh, trying to uh, get at least um, i don't know maybe a uh, maybe a um, good uh, neutral Got idea. Item mm -hmm. of, there you go a limit lane Unka. I think I think this this is not a uh, dead Kunka. Kunka have a BKB that he can just pop up anytime soon. But again, press the attack. Just going out of there. Oh, they're going for it. They're grouping up here in the uh, mid lane. Yeah. But oh, I heard the smoke. instead, the Radiant side went for a smoke, and they mm. might uh, do a wraparound play or just. Uh, Slowly uh, walk into this uh, tier three tower and push it. Oh no! But there's, there's a, a... Uh, backdoor protection. Backdoor protection yeah. is available. Yeah. Again, uh, I have the storm. Agony's uh, upgrade, but again, there, the backdoor protection is now out, so they can just uh, put it down. Of course, with the help of the press the attack, this would be uh, destroyed tier three uh, tier three tower, the top lane. Mm -hmm. So two sets of racks for uh, the radiant side. Let's see. They can't do anything. Uh -huh. Legion Commander can jump in anytime, same as the Tide Hunter. There you go, X marks the spot. With oh no, here the we go. Ship and two will be in. There's a the Torrent two and a Static Storm <laughs> plus a Duel. Mm -hmm. I mean, and that's I a big it. play. <laughs> yeah, I think that's it. I think that's those in the game. Mm -hmm. And it's still, Kongpa. Kong is really, really yeah, aggressive. Speaking of which, oh, X mark. I'm just waiting for the X mark, but. It's actually off cooldown when he arrived. So 23-4 in our scoreboard. Kangaroos hopping into the game. Mm -hmm. So they can now, I think they can uh, now go to the uh, tier 4 tower instead of um, mm -hmm. pushing the, uh, uh, the bottom uh, tier 1 towers. Mm -hmm. Or they can just go for Roshan. Either they can just go for Rosh, save... Uh, mm -hmm. Uh, yeah, the, the yeah. So you'll have uh, at least an insurance mm -hmm. uh, once you uh, go for the high grounds. Mm -hmm. But uh, look, next, next will be spotted. Where's the new one? Next. What are you doing? What are you doing, bro? My, <laughs> I don't know, but still, you don't have any idea that there's vision again. If the map is seventy thirty vision, it would be. It's actually really hard to rotate. Mm -hmm. Again, uh, as I mentioned earlier, the triangle camp has been occupied by the Radiant side. So they uh, don't have any um, any farm spots to, uh, so they could farm. And right mm -hmm. now, the Kangaroos are leaving all the uh, towers 
in mm -hmm. the bottom lane and I think they'll just go for the mega creeps. Mm -hmm. I think this would and be the last clash of the game. Radiant yeah, this I think the last so. Clash of the game. Okay, so probably a last stretch fortification just for good measure. But still, there's the, of course, the Razor having the BKB up so you could just jump in again with no fear and still for me, the game changer right now would be the Tidehunter Ravage. But again, the PA don't have any major damage in head. You just yeah. have the Battle Fury and that's it. Go ship. Go ship. No yeah, one holds. The, the Puck is in trouble. The Puck will be taken down. Ravage again. There's no Ravage available. The Ravage has been used. Static Storm also. PA would be taken down. And also, Queen of Pain, GG has been called Kangaroos, hopping into the next round. That was a very good, uh, a very good Dota for the side of Golden Kangaroos. Um, controlling the lanes is a mm -hmm. must, and I think they've managed to uh, to do that. Um, I thought that the Pop will have a very good time in, on his lane against the mm -hmm. Razor, but somehow uh razor managed to uh razor managed to um win his game, right yeah. and the pa somehow um the farm of this pa if you look at him he's at uh zero three and two and i think mm -hmm. he got the uh battle fury at around 21 minutes i don't know not 21 um 19 i think mm -hmm. yeah 19 19 so, uh, that's a very that's very slow uh, mm -hmm. Battle Fury on the 19th minute mark. Um, you missed the timing. You should uh, get the Battle Fury at around um, 12, maybe. 12 will be the mm -hmm. uh, fastest. 14 is decent. 15, mm -hmm. a bit slow, but 19, that's uh, somehow not good. And uh, on the other side, this the, um, the Legion Commander, yeah, the Legion Commander, uh, and uh, the Kunka. Uh, oh, Battle Fury is 18 minutes, game. so it's mm -hmm. still late. It's still late for them. And again, congratulations to Golden Kangaroos. What a really, really aggressive game. Uh -huh. Especially, I would like to give kudos, of course, to the Legion Commander. That's really a nice uh, nice aggression. Like, whenever there's an opportunity, especially with an Io. Io being a big threat, especially on the safety of the three cores. And yeah, again, congratulations, Golden Kangaroos. Yeah, they will proceed on to the next round. And as for our viewers, again, guys, uh, mm. we have a ongoing giveaway um mm -hmm. we have uh, five winners of uh ten dollars so uh, make sure yeah. to spam uh exclamation mark and then giveaway on mm -hmm. the comment section all right so yeah. we'll just check if uh, there are now or there are games available uh -huh, but mm -hmm. um or we'll just uh take a short break while we wait yeah. for them all right mm -hmm. so again guys uh just uh, stay tuned and uh we are, are, uh, we are your shoutcasters again. This is Uncle Tilaj. And of course, uh, Kafer, and we'll be right back for our second game for today. Miracle play, can this happen? Look at the dog, he is on a fire flow. Four kills!
our second game for the for today again this is ape this is another apes uh is this the same apes esports versus armor ph and i believe they already pre-picked the uh, uh pre-picked the team and yeah we still your shoutcasters my name is kefer and with me is still uncle or tito village <laughs> Good afternoon, uh, guys. So yeah, so we're on the uh, second series of the day. I think there's a different team, Apes Esports, and yeah. against uh, um, Armor PH. Yeah. So uh, yeah, uh, theirs have been uh, picked, and we'll try to uh, check the uh, draft once per team. Right. Mm -hmm. So oh, I'm seeing it. I don't know. Oh. Uh, <laughs> So we have a go signal. Taglish. Pwede na yung taglish bilang. All right. So yeah. So me, currently, may mga pinik na silang um, heroes for for both of the teams. So currently, oh. introduce na namin yung mga players. We have Jake Roy as a Razor, Japanese name as the Mars. Uh, we have Aftermath, Void Spirit, the the Lul, the Lion, and Law with Abaddon. Yeah. And, uh, for, oh, for for the side of or for the dark side, we have one fifty k playing Anna Shadow with the Shadow Demon, Maggie for his monkey king, four for three, for his rating, and we have get off it and instantly a flash shirt in the middle lane and Abaddon will be the first blood. And right now they're looking for more. They might get Razor, but somehow Razor mm -hmm. and uh, is able to uh, escape. So the first blood will go. On the tire side, an early clash mm -hmm. in this game. But wait, we have a pause. Right. Yeah, reconnecting. Ale. Okay, okay. So uh, right now, of course, uh, quick analysis of uh, quick analysis of the team comp. Mirana, Disruptor, classic combo. Mm -hmm. With it regards na pag mga ano, mapitasan or uh, early kills. Shadow demon. Shadow demon. Shadow Demon. Uh, okay. Amirana and a Shadow Demon because um, mm -hmm. set up for uh, the Shadow Demon once you uh, um, set up with the uh, yeah, disruption, disruption and then yeah. uh, mm -hmm, disruption and then followed up by an arrow and mm -hmm. you can provide a lot of physical or even uh, magic damage. So that's minus one on the uh, Apes Esports. Right? Yeah. Yeah, uh, that's actually instant minus one if you're going to ask Ooh, yeah. me. You know, in this yeah. case, seeing the composition right now, um, really more l lenient into the scaling side. But I say Monkey King and uh, actually Skeleton King, you know, but Raid King would be really menace into the late game. Eh. Kaya kaya naman one shot ng isang Raid King, especially the Lion. Mm -hmm. It can delete the Lion instantly if proper items. Yeah. Well, once you have the uh, proper levels for the uh, Mortal Strike, because uh, right now, uh, or again, if you guys are not updated for Mortal Strike, it has a cooldown. Four not, seconds cooldown. Um, uh, yeah, at, um, not unlike um, oh, yeah. the other patch for or, or the other uh, uh, versions or uh, patch for Raid King, that um, this is a passive, uh, passive mm -hmm. uh, ability and then has a chance to. Um, to proc the uh, mortal strike and uh, unlike today that um, and also it has a talent with uh, the level 25 talent which is uh, minus two seconds for the uh, mortal strike cooldown so that's a very good uh, skill but again you need to have a lot of farm and uh, especially levels mm -hmm. if you want to get that um, talent as early as possible so yeah, I think uh, they're having problems with their connection on the dire side, mm -hmm. even though they've managed to uh, get uh, a kill Early. earlier, right? Yeah, I think they're... that prophet, that prophet uh, mm -hmm. is having problems, and mm -hmm. the, uh, let's see, I think that was um, that prophet and uh, Mirana, I guess. But uh, mm -hmm. hopefully they could uh, they could uh, work this one out. Mm -hmm. And yeah, I mean, speaking of which, um, actually, na Google na lineup who will be the mid lane, but most likely it would be the Death Prophet, uh, going against yeah. the Void Spirit. So, um, uh, interesting, uh, interesting matchup actually. And mm. going into uh, going to this, this might be 
a Razer a uh, Razer Pulse One and uh, Mars Pulse Three as usual. Mm-hmm. Mars would be a big thing when it comes to team fights, especially especially because the lineup currently of the Dire side is more inclined on going into one uh, pickoffs or number two yung uh, kumpulan or cluster into one specific spot. Mm-hmm. But again, yung counter kasi dito would be the Monkey King, which mm-hmm. can really uh, which can really penetrate into the team fight with Wukong's command. And of course, Wong's command you don't you don't really need to get it up as early as possible. You just need to farm up first, get your necessary mm-hmm. essential like for example Echo Saber or some Giyasha early, so you can mm-hmm. have the snowball capability as early as 10 minutes. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um. No. Um. For in terms of snowball, um, we might see that at around 15 to 19 maybe. Mm-hmm. But um, for the dire side, I think um, there uh. The challenge right now is uh, the uh, that pro- uh, that prophet because he'll be facing against a void spirit, which is uh, good against um, not end heroes but um, mm. heroes who spam uh, who spam uh, a lot of skills. So once mm. uh, once a vo- this void spirit get his uh, or got his agony scepter and upgraded the resonant pulse with mm. the uh, uh, with the scepter, silence mm. will be added and then the charges uh, there will be charges. Right for yeah. the, the uh, for the skill, so um, that prophet will have a hard time. What he needs mm-hmm. to do is if he if he wants to raise his intelligence uh, or or the item choice uh, on her lane, mm-hmm. she might go for a, a two null talismans because right now I'm seeing uh, one has been queued, so two null talismans or one null talisman and then a falcon blade. So yeah, that's that would be the uh, item on the uh, early game. But if you can't hit or if you cannot get uh, a null talisman and a falcon blade in the early part of the game, early part of the game, he'll have he'll have a lot of trouble. And uh, right now we don't see him going into the mid lane. Instead, uh, the Monkey King will uh, play in the middle lane. So I guess he really wants oh, no. far more levels. But oops, Lion, he had an off cam kill. I think that mm-hmm. was on the uh, bottom lane, and right now, look at what's happening here. The Abaddon, they're harassing the um, Death Prophet, and uh, Abaddon is one of the um, hardest uh, heroes to face um, to face it with mm-hmm. because of the um, of the tankiness yeah, of the hero. He has a Hotic Shield, yeah, and then the um, uh, what do you call this? The uh, Frostmon, uh, the Curse of Avernus. Yeah, it's uh, very hard to uh, move if you uh, if you got hit. With that, yeah, I mean, uh, it's actually pretty hard in this case. But again, there's a lot of uh, again capabilities that the, uh, for example, uh, the Death Prophet can really negate uh, Abaddon, especially the, especially the Spirit Siphon that can really uh, penetrate uh-huh. as much as possible. But in this case, hindi siya yung ane, like literally going to a brawler fight. So that rabbit still have that kind of uh, skill shot, which is, uh, which is the trip swarm. But again, trip swarm. If you misclick it, that would be a lo- uh, a less cooldown. Like I don't know, waiting for eight seconds, seven seconds before to activate mm-hmm. it again at early levels. And uh, yeah, we'll check that in a bit. But right now, water runes will be secured by the dive side. So. Uh, That this is uh, this is bad uh, for them. It's a good thing that Mirana doesn't have any um, potel, mm-hmm. so he could uh, use that uh, on the uh, latter part of the game. So we'll see. Mm-hmm. I mean, there's the courier going down. The courtesy of the Mirana, Jake Roy might be having uh, might have a hard time because courier has been down. There's no power spike yet, like as early as uh, as early as One now. Time. I don't know if there's a boots available. No, it's going to our four of Alcon Blade. But again, there's But, the silence because of the question of Avernus. Mm-hmm. And look at Abaddon. He's at level 2, a very tanky hero. Mirana is having a hard time uh, dealing with him. Because again, once that silence um, procs, he can't leap He can't leap out into the battle. And uh, the Death Prophet will be forced to help uh, to help him out instead of securing the last assets here in the bottom lane. And mm-hmm. look at the Abaddon. He can uh, oh, just harass no. even the Death Prophet. There's the, uh, oh, the, s- the arrow. Silence will proc one more, but ooh, Abaddon Deep. decided not to pursue this uh, Death Prophet. But ooh, ooh. Ooh. Razor 
getting uh, the Mirana with that plasma field. Plasma field is just a uh, level one, but uh, good. Mm -hmm. the uh, damage is mm -hmm. there. I mean, the plasma field, it uh, the damage really scales the farther it gets. So, sabi natin mas malayo ka, or sabi natin if you're in the edge of the static field, I'm sorry, field plasma field. Oh. It's mm -hmm. an entirely different damage. Was speaking of which, Spear of Mars. Good Spear of Mars, and uh, that was a very good play, but Lion. But there you go, the Mortal Strike hitting Lion, and Lion just went down. Three two is our mm -hmm. score, and this rating going toe to toe with the Mars. You got hit. Or he got mm -hmm. hit by that um, uh, oh, no. Hip Hop Mars, but another off cam kill here in the bottom lane. Racer just went down. They're now going to Abaddon, but courier, Abaddon, courier. Will mm -hmm. Abaddon will just shake this one up. You might get Courier. One more. What? And. Oh. No. Okay. Courier, shield. Man, gonna, but, let's see. Abaddon so, uh, going toe to toe with the Mirana. One more, oh! but Razor is there. Feeling the kill, and he might get this uh, death rapid. No P. Mm -hmm. Nice save by Jekroy. Tama tama yung pagpasok niya dun eh. And then after the TP, just going inside Plasma Field, directly going into the Mirana. And speaking of which, again, uh, Monkey King and uh, Void Spirit actually, it's a very unusual lineup. But still, uh, Void King might have the advantage if um, the shield is enough. But oh, wait. What? I think he just uh, denied himself on, uh, ah, yeah. on the uh, bottom side, but wait. Mm. Lion with the Earth Spike against the Shadow Demon. There's the disruption and the Shadow Poison. Mars mm -hmm. a bit late. Mm -hmm. So will they I not mean, get the kill? I mean, yeah, so far it's pretty. the game is um, actually scaling left and right. Uh, mm -hmm. I'm not I'm also checking oh. my graph here, but there we go, static link. I mean, the mm -hmm. Spirit Siphon. Mm -hmm. Let's see, Spirit Siphon and the Static Link was a plasma field, so they uh, should be safe right now. And another mm. kill on the middle lane. A good uh, gank coming in from this Lion. Mm -hmm. So again, Clash for team fights all over the map. Death Prophet in trouble. Mm -hmm. But they'll manage to uh, survive and again just secure a couple of uh, last hits here in the bottom lane. Mm -hmm. Monkey King is uh, doing a, or rather the uh, uh, Void Spirit having a good lane. If you look on his uh, last hits and the nice with 35 and 3 against a Monkey King's um, 39 and 4. And mm -hmm. uh, yet they managed to kill this uh, uh, Monkey King uh, earlier. Yeah, I mean, uh, in this case, it's actually, uh, again, a pretty fair game with uh, Monkey King and Void Spirit oh, yeah. at the same picture. But again, after Matt. Wants to go inside. I think uh, the Raid King might be in trouble around the top lane. This might be bad for uh, them. And now mm -hmm. the Incarnation already been used. Dissimulate, double damage. Raid King will be taken down. What a play coming in for uh, the side of uh, Apes Esports. They've managed to uh, take down and pop the ultimate of the uh, Raid King. So somehow they're delaying the uh, farm of the Raid King, but Monkey King with the Primal Spring. There you go. Let's see if they can uh, take double down damage. this uh, Abaddon, but no P. Void Spirit with the double damage. There's the Disseminate. Oh, no. Neutral spot. One more. But again, the Wokong's Command, mm, or rather Boy. the uh, Jingo Mastery, is not enough. The Lifesteal is not mm. enough to take down this Void Spirit. Void Spirit now has at least uh, a lot of kills and another kill on mm. the bottom lane. Jikroy, he might get this uh, Mirana if the plasma mm. field is available. Mm. Someone is full, uh, is, uh, the skill is not yet on cooldown. So, whew. team fights mm -hmm. all over the place. Yeah, I mean, there's a lot of the happening, but still, as we can see, Abe oh, still having, having a good lead. There might be a gang. Shadow is just. Going into the shadow, so no. Mm -hmm. Okay, there's there the uh, spirit siphon, and, and now the shadow with poison, the plasma mm -hmm. field, but mm, disruption will connect. Ooh, what can he do? Spirit siphon and a lot of right click damage for this uh, 
Razor and uh, the support or Shadow just took him down. That's a very good pick for uh, them. And Raking just went down again. Piramars has been used. But still, oh, oh, oh that solo kill into the Abaddon over there. But still, ang ganda nga eh. Ang ganda nga, again, rotation. Especially with the, especially with the Void Spirit. I mean, Void Spirit, Astral Sep is still a big thing. Simulate, but na ho, Maggie. It's still around the corner. Nakita ni Aftermath. So, he oh. might just go into it. And he decided not to yet. So, individual scans as usual. Just uh -huh. checking the positions. I mean, this would be a big thing for a Monkey King, but still uncomfortable if you're going to three dance anywhere because anytime na makita ang buwaba, the lion will just hex you mm -hmm. and uh, again a lot of disables on the on the side of uh, apes esports are on the uh, radiant side but mars plus the shadow demon there you go speed of mars tp and up here oh, mm -hmm. and, and mm -hmm. disrupt uh, because of the disruption and he's in trouble but mars Fighting for his life. One more right oh, click and he'll no get the Shadow way. Demon. But he died as well. And another team fight here. Near that last oh, clash, Mirana was able to jump in. But step. Astral Step will take him down. Monkey King with the Primal Spling. Mm -hmm. Three, one more. Oh. Ringo Master is now activated. Aftermath in trouble. And the dominating kill streak is now gone. That's a 428 cold swing for the side of um or for the uh, dire side mm -hmm. and yeah i mean uh physical damage why so far so far with the razor around there talagang may irapan dito uh like rate king or the monkey king to get uh, things around but the good thing about here is the if the disruption is a proper timing and of mm -hmm. course the sacred arrow from mirana I mean, it would be a good thing, but again, timing-wise, recently, um, not, I mean, the combo is not effective, but still, they can still land any mm -hmm. any kinds of disengagement or any kinds of, uh, sabi nating, uh, one taking down from their team and then gusto nila bumawi, they can do that. But in this type of situation that Monkey King and the uh, Raid King needs to farm to have their first four items currently, as we can see, Monkey King. Echo Saber is not yet up yet. Raid King already have the uh, armlet, so that would be a huge boost for the team. And uh, for the uh, timing, I think um, for both teams, it's um, this is an evenly matched um, tower trades on the side lanes. And uh, both of them oh, have the Blood. Of Mars, or rather, the um, Arena of Blood plus the Spear of Mars. He'll miss, but the Monkey King is in trouble. The static cling has been used, but again, Resonant Pulse will take him down. So they don't have any option here to take down this Razor. Shadow, or rather Shadow Demon, will just um, get out and to safety. Mm -hmm. And yeah, I mean, speaking of which, um, I mean, individual towers taken down, it's still a nice trade. Uh, mid lane, it's kind of in trouble, to be honest. But still, 11-9 on our scoreboard, almost 12-minute mark. Roche is still up anytime. As we can see, the vision game is both of their sides. I mean, it still uh, favors both of their sides. Not the same aggression as the first game for uh, Kangaroos. But still, they're doing their best to keep the cores alive. Especially Void Spirit. If you took down the Void Spirit in the, in the equation, it would be a really hard time. I mean, the Mars is a nice addition. But Mars will really benefit from someone that can lock someone down. Mm -hmm. um, what I'm seeing here is uh, the timing of the uh, items. I think um, for the uh, for the radiant side, once Mars gets his uh, blink dagger, I think I so uh, he already has 1,600 gold. But don't get one in. This is a three to uh, three v one situation, and there you go. Mars just went down, and I think uh, that's what I've uh, mentioned earlier. But on the other side of the map, again, the void is taking down the Monkey King, and I think that's a very uh, good pickup for the side of uh, HD Sports since they got mm -hmm. a position one, and on uh, on the other side they got a off lane. Exorcism will be used. There's the stun. That prophet. Oh, oh, Abaddon. 
What a timing with his borrowed time. There's a disruption. Still on go with mm -hmm. that Prophet just went down and they will go and push this tier one tower. And on the oh, other side of the map, Mars. I think that was a solo kill. Yeah, solo they kill for got, Mars. Uh, uh, they just got Mirana. And this is what mm -hmm. I want to um, uh, mention earlier. Since uh, the side uh, side lanes has been... Uh, oh, wait, Monkey King? Mm -hmm. Oh, the lucky Monkey King. Buti hindi na putol yung puno niya doon. Uh, and here we go. Wukong's command. Man, just to just fend him off. Can they lock down the Mars? Good stun. I mean, from the Lion. But Mars somehow. HP oh. low and the Shadow Poison will be released. And he is down. They want more. They want to push down. I don't... This. Bottom tire arrow will connect to the void spirit. I think that's the max um, stun duration. Simulate. Ten o'clock. They're now chasing uh, these heroes, but on the other side of the map, Lion. Lion just went down to the hands of the Raid King. And oh no! Abaddon Barrow time disruption plus the shadow poison. There's the spirit siphon and Abaddon will fall. Mm -hmm. That's three to. Uh, I think that's a three to love trade. Yeah, I mean. They're uh, they're slowly getting back on track, especially and with the monkey king. Oh, got his arrow, arrow, and the monkey king will get a double kill, and he might go for a triple. Let's see, razor. All no, right, the so razor. No pee. What no, a play! I mean, understandable. That's minus thirty-seven damage currently for monkey king, so not really relying on that one. Except for the Jinjo oh, Mask. Oh, it connected. Oh, no. it as well, and this razor is dead. Maggie or the Monkey King will get his killing spree. Oh, no. Oh, no. It will be used. Mirana just went down. Oh, oh no. Spirit that's Simon. what happened. He's in trouble. But again, the Spirit Simon no. managed to uh, survive with that uh, onslaught. And then the Monkey King will also oh, we'll get his double kill. Might go for a triple. No P. So Aftermath will get that profit. Mm -hmm. That's a two for two trade. I mean, it's actually pretty. Uh, how do you call it? Parang sobrang galeno nila don. They they, mm -hmm. they keep the fight uh, very long. That the rest of the team from uh, from apes na uh, mahapag respond. But in this case, it's a seven to sixteen. It's a close game. Mm -hmm. uh, gold deficit actually one k gold advantage na naman yung lamang. So they can just either do a major. Um, Again, a major team fight that can lead to a possible roast fight, or either way around, just go behind the lines and get the tower. Especially they have uh, they have the dead prophet, so exorcism is one of the key of the game. But still, a really nice job for Mars for holding them in for the moment. But I think that team fight is actually pretty long. You and me in the moonlight has been used. Moonlight channel has been used. Mm -hmm. Monkey King just went down and now they want this Mirana. They have the vision. And the Shadow Demon, or rather, um, uh, Void Spirit, will take him down. So they have the man advantage. This uh, 3v5 situation might get another one and then go for an objective. Let's see. Shadow Demon, oh. can he survive? No P, that's a double kill for mm -hmm. the Void Spirit. They can get this um, tier 1 tower and then uh, a possible. Uh, possible um secure the first ocean of the game mm -hmm. bkb is now up as well for the side of uh, razor or for the uh, for the razor i mean yeah speaking of which 2016 in our scoreboard that's uh tower courtesy of uh apes and in this case they might um they might go for other uh, other objectives or just have the vision because again vision is the name of the game mars mm -hmm. mm -hmm. so it just they can just go in and impale someone if he wanted to, but at the same time, Void Spirit having the use up and Kaya, Kaya and Sanj anytime oh. soon, so he can mm -hmm. just deal a lot of damage. Somehow they missed the timing. I thought they're going to uh, to make a, um, a three man or maybe a four man smoke play. There you go. Mm -hmm. Because, uh, they, right now they have the uh, items. Um, Raid King has a damage, he now has a desolator. And uh, mm -hmm. the question is who is oh, no. the target? Monkey King uh, no? he fights on the uh, upper side of the map. There's the disruption that Prophet is here from coming up his exorcism. Then the other oh! one, it will be used. Barrow time will be popped as well. And the death Prophet is strong. He's trying oh, to the death. It will get 
is the Crypto 3B2 Exchange Fly and Trouble can oh, no. with no fee. That's a complete order rate king, but he got impaled or um, got stunned because mm -hmm. of that fear of Mars. So that's a 3 for 3 exchange. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's a very nice lure. But again, the damage output from Raid King, again, yung kakasabi mo lang, there's the armlet, and of course, the Desolator. Supports so, is just two to three hits right now uh, from Raid King. I mean, dealing a lot of damage, Lion didn't really stand a chance. Kahit may baro tayo na yung uh, Abaddon, it's still the same story. But still, um, I think the Monkey King can do better in that team fight. I mean, I can do better in that team fight in case na he didn't get caught in any moment's notice because again, Arena of Blood, and then at the same time, Wukong's Command. So you will be entrapped in one location that can deal damage simultaneously, but at the same time with Exorcism and the Raid King damage. On the other hand, the only conflict on this one is the Razor Static Link that can negate the Raid King's damage. Actually, that team fight could have been uh, better on the side of uh, on the dire side if uh, they went for a smoke uh, a bit early, so yeah. they could just uh, pick up a good target because um, Shadow Demon just uh, TP'd there and then they didn't put up the uh, smoke immediately. And right now, speaking of SOD or smoke of DC, this uh, three-man smoke play coming in on the radiant side, but no targets on that dire side jungle. Everyone mm -hmm. on the dire side is in the radiant jungle or uh, mm -hmm. main, uh, Radiant main jungle and I Radiant think they're trying to push uh, the lane here on the uh, bottom lane and surprisingly mm -hmm. um, this is a bit late for them since no targets have, uh, no targets uh, available they just uh, went for the rush pit and, and uh, will secure the first ages of the game and I think uh, they the don't scene. have any ideas uh, the or the day rather idea. first ages of the day because there's no ages in the first game oh yeah on the first game but this is a bit slow. They can still, um, if they will, uh, if they will um, notice or if they can um, figure out that um, the other players are missing, they should just go. Uh, uh, smoke. Smoke. This, smoke. Uh, there you go. But this is a bit late. Arrow will connect. Oh, and oh, uh, Aegis is there. Arena of God will be used and the disruption save. Let's see. Wukong's mm -hmm. command will be put down as well and Shadow Demon will fall. Mm -hmm. Oh no, this is bad. Oh. This is bad for the side of uh on the radiant side. The Aegis has been immediately uh popped to man uh mm -hmm. stun and oh that's a very oh, good okay. kill. Very good finger mm -hmm. of death. Taking down the death prophet, no buyback available for Where's... him and Raid King is in trouble, but the armlet toggling is oh, in no. mm -hmm. Let's see. No, of course, not... oh, oh, Mars oh. managed to uh, blink in, but the Spear of Mars won't connect. And I think this Mirana should be fine. Mm -hmm. And yeah, I mean, with this case, oh, wait, another wait, 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 back wait, 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 five smoke. Another wait, five wait, smoke. wait, 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 Arrow just passed through, and the Raid King mm -hmm. is dead. And no yeah. vibe available for him. Radiant side can go for a tier 2 push on mm. the mid lane and on the top lane. I mean, this is actually a bad idea. Static lane, disruption, eh, hindi mo wala static lane on that one. So, still, cybering, uh, cybering damage from the Raid King. So, hindi talaga siya maka, like, he can't fight that 5 man. Mm. But at the same time, kung walang static thing, he still might have a chance to pick off like one, uh, one kill before uh, before the raid king dies. And again, no uh, no response for the team. Oh. I mean, uh, really understandable. But ooh, what step, a impale uh, coming in from the loot or this lion? Yeah, with the earth mm -hmm. spike connecting into two. Mm -hmm. I mean, being uh, being right there still, both of the teams have the damage potential. Um, Void Spirit have the burst damage. Lion, of course, finger of death. Uh, Mars having that sustainable damage and crowd control. Razor with the continuous damage if Static Link is up. But at the same time, the of course, the Dire side. Raid King and Monkey King, if they last in the team fight long enough, the, the team fight would be in their favor. Mm -hmm. 
I'm just uh, check your uh, Monkey King's item, and uh, if we could get this uh, Scaddy a little bit uh, faster, then it would this would be a great help for them uh, on the uh, upcoming team fights. Mm. So it will actually um, or the um, the equi equilibrium will somehow uh, shift on. Uh, this could actually go on the uh, their side if they can uh, manage to uh, you know to take down this uh, tier two tower. Or maybe uh, mm -hmm. get at least uh, another another good team fight, maybe two or three kills, so they could secure an objective. I think yeah. uh, the Iranian side is somehow planning a uh, a smoke play here, or they're just uh, playing safe. Let's see. Mm -hmm. They're trying to lure out the uh, they're trying to lure out the uh, the dark side. There you go. Exorcism will be popped. Of course, with that uh, exorcism, at binabila naman ng fortify at the same time, they might have some big plays incoming again. Five man is currently at the bottom side trying to push through. Where's the TV? Oh no. Mars? Mars? I have no idea what's happening. Or rather, BKB and he caught the Ray King, but Mars will fall. Will he go for his buyback? No buyback available for him. And BKB will be popped by the Death Prophet and who's this one? That's the voice spirit. Disruption has been used as well to the Lion. Oh no. Let's see, Razor. Razor already have done a pressure. There's the four staff, but they can't kill this dead prophet. Mm -hmm. So that is two eye of the storm used for nothing from Razor. So this this is a big thing. Actually, as they managed to to destroy the bottom lane tower uh, for themselves and just back off and uh, possibly wait for Roshan to uh, to be up. Let me see the timer real quick. Mm -hmm. That's uh, for around four minutes. Uh, four to three minutes, yeah. That's around um, three, uh, uh, five minutes uh, max. So we'll see. Mm -hmm. So Raid King providing a lot of damage again. Um, they may, they might be behind in terms of kills. If uh, you're looking at the scoreboard, it's 26, 20, and 1k gold advantage on the Radiant side. But Raid King, Raid King already mm -hmm. has a Desolator and a Blink Dagger. Now going for a BKB. And oh, we had no mm. kill. I think uh, on the middle lane, that's the uh, shadow demon. And this is the best thing that they can do. If they can't uh, fight, or um, they just are going to get um, more objectives by taking down the towers uh, instead of uh, waiting for that uh, Ray King to complete his items. So let's see. You're scouting. Yeah. Just uh, actually, uh, they just need. Uh, they just need the proper vision, but again, understandable that they, they can't have the vision all by themselves because, again, the warning is one big uh, name of the game. As you can see, Sinulata Neon. So, most likely, their plan is to invade the jungle side of Dire and just wait for it or probably destroy the tier 2 uh, tower para makuha nila yung uh, vision that they really need. So, everyone responded. To that threat and uh, TP out on the top lane. Mm -hmm. So that's what they're planning. And uh, still, uh, Roshan, not yet available for um, the next uh, two to three next minute. minutes. Mm -hmm. Because uh, the, uh, uh, the, uh, the next circle will uh, be at least, I don't know, maybe a minute or, or maybe uh, just a second because uh, the uh, Aegis was uh, popped Early. earlier. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So let's see. No team fights yet, and Raid King trying to tank all the damage. Oh no, it did an Envy Raid King. <laughs> so um, again, Moonlight Shadow already been used. So this this is actually this is actually a big thing for uh, Aves as it's already been popped, but still Smoke Place one of the uh, main game uh, main place of the game. Just going to dagger and get someone to be stunned and Ooh. follow up with the rest of the team. On the other side, Mars Arena of Blood. He just needs to make sure that he's getting three to four members in the big witch. Muskets are available. We haven't got, uh, had a good team fight or a full 5v5 uh, clash for the uh, last minute because on the Radiant side, they're trying to uh, get the tier 2 tower so they could secure this uh, outpost. Because they cannot let the they cannot let the dire side get two outposts because of the XP. Because again, the Raid King once it hits uh, proper levels, especially the uh, level twenty five, 
they'll, ha they'll have a hard time because of that mortal strike who done and also the um uh oh okay mm -hmm. so they went for a cleave instead yeah, of uh, uh instead of the skeletons. instead of the uh, skeletons uh yeah skeletons i mean it's understandable because to hasten the farm of uh Raid king more you mm -hmm. just really need to cleave and at the same time uh when it comes to team fight especially after the reign of blood the cleave mm -hmm. could really benefit the uh, the damage output of uh Raid king but in this case as we can see Raid king's next item is a Skadi, so whatever he already builds this Skadi, sobra na katahot. If I were the Void Spirit, no, no, this is bad for the Radiant side again. They have the gold advantage, but in terms of the items, the Monkey King and Raid King is slowly securing their items. While for Void Spirit, he only has a uh, uh, Kaya and Sanj yeah. and an Aghanim Scepter. While his um, Razor has a uh, Refresher and a BKB. Mm -hmm. so actually, for me, refresher, uh, refresher is actually not bad. But if, mm -hmm. you, yeah. if you have problems, like, for example, on pushing lanes and um, coming into, like, for example, disengaging and re-engaging, double, sta uh, double Iron Storm would be a good thing. Motion is now up. Action Shard is now available. Yeah. From that second, uh, second Roshan, mm -hmm. they have good vision on the Rosh pit for the dire side. Mm -hmm. One. So, so just in case if uh, if Aghanim shard would be taken by the Radiant side, I think that uh, who will benefit it the most is actually the Razor. Razor, if yeah. it's being targeted the most. But but in this case, it's actually really depends on their actual playstyle if they want. A lot of burst potential. They can just go oh. for the uh, Void Spirit Shard. Wait, wait, wait. But shadow, wait, uh, the dark side. Only shadow. With the Moonlight Shadow. And they could... Oh. But, oh. Miraka. Okay. Just got bodied. And Razor was forced to use his BKB. And that's a very good uh, pick up for the uh, Radiant side. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's okay if he pop up the BKB just in case. He can just go re-engage into the fight. I have the storm and then the pressure BKB. I have the storm once again. Pero, oh, wait, it's actually too late for the lion. Akalawa mo huli yung lion in that case, eh, but the Mirana took the place instead. Mm -hmm. But this is bad for Razor since he, he now has a uh, six second BKB, but Mars got put. Let's oh see. no, Mars. Mars will BKB? connect. BKB will oh, be choice. used. Shadow Poison will be released. If you want That's to make Lion just blinks in with that Earth Spike. Astral BKB? Stem, Raid King in trouble. He still has a oh. second life. Oh. But he has oh. a BKB pop and he is down. Lion will go down as well. After oh. just went for his new okay, King. Mars was used. Oh no, this is bad. For the dive side and the Raid King is down, but oh. with the Monkey King and that Death Rapid providing a lot of damage. Mars, Mars. he's in trouble, HP is low. Oh, uh, right clicks for the Monkey King, Jingo Master will be popped and that's a very good spear of Mars. Mm -hmm. Mars. But again, Ooh. Mars should be safe, but on the other side of the map, Void Spirit. Demon just went uh. down. Same as Mirana. That's uh, four man down for them. That's two to be uh, two to four exchange and mm -hmm. the radiant side. They might go now for the objectives a tier two tower on the top lane or maybe on the or, or plus the uh, mid thing. Mm -hmm. And yeah, I mean, speaking of which, in that fight, that's a uh, one for four trade, yeah, really surprisingly. But still, uh, okay. Okay, the natira sa kanila is continuous damage. The burst damage from Boy Spirit is too much for them yeah. to handle. I mean, uh, uh, I thought that the uh, uh, Death Prophet and uh, Monkey King's okay. damage was enough to take down at least uh, two or three members of uh, on the, of the Radiant side, but no. Mm -hmm. I mean, also in that oh, event, oh, oh, wait a moment. Finger of Death. Finger of Death will be used as a stack. Bioback will be used. Maggie for the Monkey King. Trying to fight oh, no. this Abaddon. Let's see. Arrow. Arrow. Arrow just passed. And, mm -hmm. okay. Just will be off as well. 
but they can mm-hmm. find this monkey king yeah i mean the monkey king uh Monkey King is actually uh, pretty scary right now. I am scared yeah. the Rendi si Monkey King. So it oh, really Monkey negates King. it really negates the heal when it comes to the it's Abaddon. This is the team fight for the Radiant side. Oh, who did he miss? That's just sad, but Oh no, the, the lion went down. But wait, the rating trying to punish the uh, lion, but no beat. Four members will protect oh, the lion and nice. this man will be used. Mars is down. Abaddon with his um, borrowed time. Uh-huh. All right, taking all the damage. But again, oh no, Eraser just went down after Matt in trouble. Oh no. Bound the strike will connect, and that's a two to one exchange. Vibap has been used as well. By oh, no, BK, Mars, BK, BK, BK. oh no, this is bad for him. Mm. Let's see. Last Zero game was that. Death Prophet. Mm-hmm. Bound the strike. Oh no. And he is done. Die back for him. 97 seconds and counting. And I think mm-hmm. that's just the that's the uh, team fight that um, I'm looking for for the uh, dire yeah. side. Actually, actually, it's pretty bad that popping two ultimates at the same time to get uh, the the king. Oh. But again, whoa! Oh, yes. oh, Mirana with the finger of death, and then we just TP out to safety. What a sneaky play coming in for this lion. <laughs> <laughs> but still, but still, only the uh, the Void Spirit have buyback uh, currently, and they need to be secure it. But nice fortification, keeping them away. But what's the price? A possible Roche. Mm-hmm. See, a Roche now being secured by the dire side and this is just a, a easy uh, Roshan take for them since they have the damage Raking is there with the Desolator and the Skadi Monkey King has a Skadi as well plus an Echo mm-hmm. Saber so this is just an uh, easy rush for them they can mm-hmm. uh, the Radiant side can't even uh, contest this one so we'll get a shot and of course I think uh-huh. Monkey King we'll got get a shot no? okay. Monkey King got a shot uh, Raid King Raid King for so no mana we, no mana Yes. So this uh, this is actually a big thing. The two force uh, for the dire side already uh, have two ages. Uh, technically, two ages of the immortal. We have uh, like the we reincarnation and the monkey king with the actual ages. Just like what I mentioned earlier, uh, even though the score or the kill chart is uh, on the uh, radiant side, again the core heroes oh, no. of the dire side is having their items. Oh. Rating.x, Pivot will be used just to kill a support. And can you survive a plasma field? Yes, it's still alive. The Shadow Demon is still alive and they can turn this around. Let's see, Mars is in trouble. Oh no, the damage from Plate King. Oh no, this oh, is no. bad Ooh. for Apes Esports. And again, no buybacks available. For Lion ba- and Mars. The bound strike. <laughs> they didn't secure the kill Radiant's on that down. Shadow Demon. Radiant's they don't have any down. detection. The plasma field is not enough to take him down. And instead, two heroes or two, uh, a core and a support just went down. Radiant's Plus an ultimate. Down. It was used, right? Um, the Spear of Mars was used. Mm-hmm. Oh. I mean, it's it's actually it's actually pretty. A pretty sad play, to be honest. Like you using um, the arena of blood and together with Ooh, it, uh, fire the storm. And out. Let's see. Mm-hmm. Lip swarm. But right now, raking, uh-huh. trying to focus on the tier on the strike? tower. On Good bounce strike. Uh, bounce strike healing two. Abaddon is in a world of trouble. But oh, Lotus Storm. Then again, they are concentrating on the tier three tower. No mana, no mana for the raid team. It's okay. No mana, uh, no mana needed for the incarnation. Mm-hmm. And there you go. The tier three tower is down, and uh, uh, maybe a um, melee rocks. Let's see. Yeah, it's all enough for a melee rocks. But, uh, but yeah, as I was saying, like using the arena blood just to co- Ooh, just to get minutes. one support is actually pretty. It's a pretty bad play, unless otherwise you will get four. Uh, four uh, members, oh, but not another finger of death. 
The, uh, to get the Shadow Demon, no buyback for him. The King just hiding alongside uh, the Monkey King uh -huh. and the Wolfman's Command. Bound the strike for the King. Up, arena of blood. Of art, or rather, the Arena of Blood. But again, Ultimate or, or the uh, Arena of Blood wasted. Mm -hmm. So they just have to oh. wait for another 80 seconds. So two ultimates already been used by both of the teams, the major crucial ones. Like, you know, uh, for uh, Arena Blood is not available. Wukong's Command is also not available. And they can just uh, go in there and uh, fight, especially with the, mm -hmm. with the Raid King. Raid King BKB, he can Again, just, uh, he just walk into the backline. Mm -hmm. Again, this Tier 2 Tower, uh, the, the Tier 2 Tower of the uh, dire side has been defended well. They have uh they haven't got that thirteen tower since and oh good rotation coming in from uh, this lion with that line of death. How many uh stacks of uh or uh that uh, finger of death rather that's eight that's eight uh -huh. finger of death kills for him. That's yeah. it. Shadow Once again, will also go down. Oh no, this actually might be bad for uh actually might be bad for the dire side. But still, supports mm -hmm. actually not really a big Let's thing see. for them. Oh, battle time being oh. used. Battle time. Battle time got popped. Dyer's the damage is not enough. So maybe they'll get another uh, team fight since the uh, battle time is not up for uh, the next 30 seconds. And finally, the tier 2 tower here in the middle lane will, uh, mm -hmm. will go down and uh, mm -hmm. secure this um, outpost so they, they'll have a uh, map control. Mm hmm and uh and yeah currently uh with the 40 minutes on our timer so it's still it's still anyone's ball game like to yes, be honest yes. like, i agree i agree yeah i this mean anyone's ball game, ball game. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 6k now, uh, gold lead for mm -hmm. uh, the uh dire side this is just small um it only takes uh one good team fight so that 6k can be uh reversed mm -hmm. And yeah, I mean, um, look at Monkey King's item, like transitioning uh, into a Silver Edge. Mm -hmm. So it, they re they actually need the Silver Edge on this one. But again, a possible uh, 1v1 fight. Aegis is no longer in the Monkey King's hand and it will just back off for now. Or wait, he is actually trying to taunt the Razor as the rest oh. of the team will follow up. Good. This could be good. Two play, but oh, good Earth Spike. Stunning. This um, oh. death puppet, death puppet is low. Let's see, bound the strike. And then the battle time it will be one. Wukong's command plus the arena of blood. But again, again. Another exorcism. Have a pressure. It was used. Let's see. Lion and throw, oh, but no. it is down. Oh no, this is bad news for Abaddon. He will go down as well alongside with Mars still. No buyback for him. Mm -hmm. And I think that's and it. Radiance if the lion will not go for his buyback and will not defend this mid lane, mm -hmm. could be in, uh, they could be in trouble. Yeah. So maybe set, maybe mean, a set no. of cracks in the mid lane. Two set, two set of cracks and another exorcism. Make that mm -hmm. possible three set of cracks uh, for uh, for them. Good and this will be the timing. mega creeps. And mega creeps. The horn will wait. You were just waiting for the one, but we have a team fight here. And a tier four under oh, no. the tier four Ooh, tower. There's a destruction. Buybacks will be used by Mars and Abaddon. And the Great King is Ooh. down. Mars just missed his spear, and Great King will be punished. He got hit. Yep. Think about that. Will connect, and he is down. The dominating streak will be given to the Void Spirit. That's a 700 gold swing, and mm -hmm. the Shadow or the Shadow Demon will also fall. So mm -hmm. somehow they managed to uh, defend their high ground, but it cost them all of their um, racks and their towers. So Mega Crips, this will be hard for them. Mm -hmm. And now with a 12k gold lead, suddenly the tides has been changed as if we can just pull up the graphs. Suddenly the probability went down to APH side. That's 92% chance of winning. For the dire side, or for the uh, um, armor PH. Mm. Oh, right now armor PH just need to have this kind of composure. I mean, no buyback for uh, the rating. That I mean, 
apes might use this as the, as an advantage double mm, idols are yeah, still available yeah, they, they can just um push and uh, force the buyback of uh, yeah. uh and uh, of uh, the heroes but uh, right now again he needs 460 oh. gold for his buyback and the range they just got monkey king but monkey king can he manage to survive no fee oh. he is down buyback is available for him he went for it 12 seconds for the raid king arena blood and he gave me Hey, this profit tanking all the damage three spirit siphons has been used let's see mm -hmm. there goes the stun but again the borrowed time will save him so buyback has been uh, committed by mars. the uh, monkey king and mars running for his life let's see dagger out any moment now mm -hmm. so you oh, managed to you blink out into safety Ooh! Divide Razor! Razor just went for a divine. This is uh, all in. All in for the Razor. Mm -hmm. Divine the Razor. He has a divine Razor because um, he just revealed himself when he killed those uh, waves. Yeah. So uh, for me, Divine Razor is actually the last hope. If, if he if, if, if in case that he bought the butterfly first, it would be super reasonable. But divide, uh, I'm actually uh, I, not uh, sure. They're going, uh, they're going for a uh, for on in, and this is a very good one. They get the monkey king, and he is down for that for twenty seconds. Super super no buyback for him, and the death prophet, he is in trouble. Oh. No buyback for him as well, and the divine rapier. Oh my God, the divine rapier is working. For the side of eight yeah. esports, and now they can clear the lanes. This is 100 seconds for the Monkey King and uh, and uh, the uh, Death Prophet. Yeah, as we can see, I I actually have an idea. Kung bakit divine rapier yung ginawa niya. Level 25 talent, 80 attack speed for Razor. So really understandable why. Exactly. Oh, they will secure a uh, they will secure the third. Potion of the game, which has a pressure shard, and I think, and still, that's good for uh, for oh, uh, the razor. It's actually Mars who took the pressure shard. Yes, uh, that's a good uh, good thing as well. So he can pop at least two um uh, arena blood. two spear of uh, two uh, arena of blood, so uh, they could uh, control the team fight. But their problem right now is how will they push or how will they manage the flow of the creeps? on all lanes they have to clear this one up they have to, to uh split push while monkey king and the prophet is still sleeping they still have 40 seconds to do this look at the middle lane the middle lane is being pushed by razor he has the damage they can go for the tier 4 tower let's see um look at the item of void spirit this is a classic just in case ethereal dagon and astral step and let's see once look at the back door protection razor's it's damage not... cutting uh, like a hot knife into butter Ooh, let's see hmm? there you go they might they can go for the tier 4 tower but six seconds Ooh. for the monkey okay. king, I mean, no blood used. let's see good disruption save coming in from the shadow demon and then they'll just go back and just defend the other lanes especially the bottom lane it's actually just in case if the Razor really have that proper positioning, they, they can just oh, do so. Oh, we might see oh. right here. Let's see. No oh. way. And no, they would just back off for now. As we can see, Razor already have the Aghanim Shard. Uh, I mean, the Aghanim's upgrade. The Aghanim's Blessing. So there's one more slot for a possible Satanic. Satanic and Divine Rapier really complements each other. This is, uh, well, this is still uh, bad for the uh, H Esports because um, Razor managed to, or uh, they forced Ma uh, Razor to TP out into the bottom lane to defend the lane. So mm -hmm. the uh, middle lanes, uh, the, the pressure in the middle lane will be uh, negated. Mm -hmm. So no threat of, uh, of a GG push on the Radiant side. Mm -hmm. And I think this game will still last for uh, maybe uh, another, uh, I don't know, maybe another 10 minutes. Or if both 
both teams will just secure um, their buybacks. Because yeah. right now, I'm looking at um, Monkey King still needs three minutes and uh, uh, the gold will not be a problem. Uh, Mark mm -hmm. needs uh, one more minute and the Lion. Mm -hmm. Abaddon needs a minute and then the rest uh, just needs uh, gold for their buyback. So yeah. this would be a, a very long clash or a very long team fight once both teams secured the or uh, secured their buybacks. Yeah, I mean, uh, especially the buyback is really necessary if just in case for a possible GG push. If a if AIDS decided to do a GG push, the most crucial for me to have a buyback is the Monkey King mm -hmm. to just hold the ground with the uh, with the Wukong's command. On the other hand, if uh, armor ph is decided to have the gg push it's actually uh for me the void spirit have the the, the buyback but just mm -hmm. in case seeing the buybacks uh the buybacks uh, availability yeah, they went for the smoke play they, mo they went for the smoke yeah, yeah. so apes is, on, okay. apes is now move they're moving uh -huh. now has a pressure orb they the saw it will miss let's see ratings now who who did he choose? But wait, there's the static link. Boy, it's really done, providing a lot of damage, and the Shadow Demon oh, no. gets stuck. Razor got stunned. Let's see. Demonic Purge. The Purge. I can hear your BKB in oh, Arena of Blood. The Arena of Blood, and Lion will fall still. No buyback for him. 106 seconds and counting. Ooh. Oh. No, the that's Death actually Rabbit trying to chase down this Mars. They know that the, he doesn't have any buybacks. Mm -hmm. But then again, the Razor with the damage taking down Mirana. It's 75 seconds and counting. I mean, it's actually uh, real bad right now as the Razor still have the Aegis of the Immortal. But as uh, in this case, they can just have the uh, sneaky push because again, this is actually bad for uh, Apes as Mega Creeps is up. The the high risk, high reward of the Divine Labor is also on their hands. But mm -hmm. at the same time, we cannot say who is going in first, who is going out last. But in this case, oh, it killed the game. Oh, no, damage. Can, he, this? can he take all the damage from the Tracer? But Tracer got stunned, three of them. No ages! No ages! No ages, ages, no. no, ages, ages Bart, and where's the Divine Raider? Nicky! He got silenced, battle time, just to delay the inevitable. And oh no! Oh no! Not the king. I think he Not got the answer. Yes, he did. But the Monkey King, he got the Void Spirit and buyback should be committed. Oh no! Everyone's going through the Tier 4 Tower. This might be the last team fight of the series and Abaddon oh, no. is in trouble, she was used. Huh? Just and going out. Uh, again, okay. they managed to uh, hold their high grounds and protect their mm -hmm. tier 4 towers. But the cost was 3 buybacks. <laughs> and that Aegis, the, the Aegis Titan. <laughs> actually, it's actually a good pick-off just in case for Razor and Apes. But they didn't anticipate the expiration of the ages is just two seconds behind before the razor got took off into oblivion and out of nowhere the divine rapier is already in the hands mm -hmm. of the rate king of all people of all heroes it's the rate king this is bad for them and now they're trying to see and uh -oh. arena of blood will miss Random Arena of Blood. Arena of Rikimaru. <laughs> Ari Arena of Rikimaru. Uh, Arena of Blood for Riki, but we don't have Riki in this team fight. Let's see. Oh, and my and my no buyback for him. 120 seconds and counting, and now they're going for the GG push. Let's see. Uh -huh. Lion. Oh, 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 oh. That was but. That the the GG. GG is too small, and they will be calling the game. GG will be called. And oh my god, Armor DH will proceed to the next round of this tournament. Armor PH with that clutch play outside the Roche pit, taking down the Razor again with that high risk, high reward, Divine Rapier, and Aegis Expiration. 
that alone keeps Armor PH going into the tracks, destroying the base, destroying the course, and Aves Esports almost got it in the bag, but Armor PH will Bell be short. advanced to the next round. Uh, yeah, somehow they fell short, and uh, oh, that was a very, uh, <laughs> that was a very good uh, match uh, between yeah. uh, between uh, these uh, teams, right? Um, Fifty-two minutes, a divine rapier was uh, bought. And uh, mm. somehow, again, uh, the Raid King, their patience, right? Uh, yeah. Really, uh, paid off. Look, you just have a, a 4 3 6 KDA, but then again, mm. um, that um, the Divine Rapier, when he stole mm. it, whew. Really, so uh, really, match. really nice, really nice play by 4 4 3. And again, congratulations, Armor PH advancing to the next. Uh, and guys, mm -hmm. uh, don't go anywhere. Uh, oh, by the way, uh, we still have our running giveaway. So just mm -hmm. do a point giveaway. And um, we will be having five winners of mm -hmm. uh, dollars. So again, this is uh, this is the Prominence Cup. Prominence Crown Cup for Dota 2. This has already been the Season 2. And we'll be right back for the third third game of the day. This is your shout, guys. So it's, my name is Gafer, and with me is... Tito or Uncle Pludge, and we'll be right back. Miracle play, can this happen? Look at the dog, he is on a fire clock.
Isa! Isa sila namamatay! Isa na lang talaga natitira ngayon! Miracle play, can this happen? Look at the dog, he is on a fire claw! Four kills!
Ay, narinig nyo. Ay, akala ko si Kerry. Akala ko si Kerry. Ay, narinig nyo. Wala ko narinig eh. Hindi ka nila. longer than this so i think we're on good track we're on good pace we can finish the whole thing by seven or like by eight your time maybe there's not that many games to go so uh if you want to play the stream uh just update the players lobby to start the game so start the game first then Start to stream afterwards. How many press up? And welcome back to our third game for today as still we are commencing in the Prominence Crown Cup Season 2 for Dota 2. And of course, we're still your casters. My name is Kaber, with me is Uncle Bludge and our very special guest, one of the co-founders of uh, Prominence. We have White One. No, just kidding. Here. <laughs> uh, hello guys. Uh, take care. Uh, so far, we've been having a really good tournament. Uh, I hope you guys are enjoying so far. Uh, we're still running a giveaway. $50 mm -hmm. for, for five winners, $10 each. And here we go with the with the draft. Ano sa tingin yung uh, magiging resulta nitong ano natin? 
Daft so, man, well, yung total pledge eh. <laughs> ako, ako kasi, I, when I uh, analyze games, um, I usually uh, check yung uh, lineup nila at Ten the uh, first and uh, second picks. Kasi anything can happen in terms of uh, bans, di ba? Na, they can ban uh, heroes na yung up na up sa meta, like this one, like Weaver, pero hindi natin siya nakita. So, but, uh, I'll, we'll see or we'll try to figure out this once na makita natin yung first game. I think this is pre uh, this <laughs> I think this is pre yeah. ayan yung, ayan yung sinasabi ko kanina na yung first two bands is Dia maybe a, a respect for the heroes kasi mm-hmm. they are the uh, yung mga most used so if uh, one hero is available uh, na pwede mong i-abuse then you should grab it or grab it and uh yung gagamitin mo yung ano eh yung uh, what you call this your first pick advantage and mm-hmm. uh, that's why Dia Weaver uh, lumabas agad siya. But immediately, ang galing ng ginawa ng Blue Hour because they got Rubik and Nyx Assassin. About why? Because walang Tidehunter. And uh, pag may Nyx Assassin kasi, the best counter for Nyx Assassin is Tidehunter because Nyx Assassin always looks for a team fight. And Ten yung Tidehunter, um, since he has a Ravage, meron siyang anti-riot. Diba? To uh, prevent a five-man team with this Ravage. And yung Rubik naman is once he got the he's uh, stolen the uh, Sukuchi, he can easily uh, go into a team fight, pick a hero na 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 a eh, pipita nila, and then uh, minus Radiant one agad. So that would be a a great four v five advantage. Actually, I agree ako dun sa ano sa I've been seeing a lot of uh, ito nga, weavers and conkas yeah. during these recent meta. I think conkas has been pretty solid, pretty flex. Uh, you could put him one, two, three. Mm-hmm. Uh, even four. Even yeah, four. even four, four. even four. Yeah. So I think uh, it's a really good opener for flux. They selected really solid heroes. Uh, same same with the the dark side as well with Rubik and Nyx. I think with these two remaining. heroes, you can open up the map especially with Nyx Assassin you get better Nine vision you can pick yeah. off heroes as well so let's see mm-hmm. whatever the, the other team picks for the second phase of the draft they can actually mm-hmm. go for a uh, um a old school play with the Nyx Assassin a uh, invoker with the um the Sunstrike uh, extort type yes uh, mm-hmm. so Nyx Assassin will just pick a target for example he so Kunka um farming in the jungle so we'll just do the combo, right? The uh, vendetta and then impale plus the burn and then the sun strike will be mm-hmm. used as long as the uh, exhort is at uh, is at a uh, high level. Mm-hmm. So that's easy pick up for uh, the side of blue hour. That's why uh, in, yeah, um, when I saw the uh, next assassin uh, pick, pick or the tide hunter, yes. expected that the next assassin mm-hmm. will uh, will be used. Plus um, another crowd control hero with Mars. I. From what I've noticed uh, for the past few games and all of the games that happened this tournament, I think si Mars yung parang pinaka stable na offlane if uh, yeah. if I'm not mistaken. Uh, yeah. Maybe because of you know early burst damage with Rebuke and uh, Spear Five of Mars. Also, you can follow up with whatever support. Like let's say it's a dual lane Rubik Mars. It's a pretty yeah. solid uh, uh, dual lane, uh, allowing you guys to you know burst the position five or even the carry. Mm-hmm. <laughs> And of, of and course, with the uh, sorry, the ultimate, the Arena of Blood, yeah. it mm-hmm. allows your team, or at least the Rubik, to reposition himself yes. to probably pick yeah. up the spells of uh, whatever is really useful, or what mm-hmm. what's really a good spell to to uh, steal. As long as the Rubik is uh, outside of the team fight or away from the uh, threat of a uh, block, then team fight wise, mm. just would be Death a profit. Time so yeah, that profit. Um, like I think right now they're, con- mm-hmm. they're concentrating on um, or the, they lack um, a, a reliable stun. A, uh, I don't know if it's targeted as long as it's a stun. Um, targeted stun or AUE stun. That's what uh, Flux uh, needs right now. Remaining. And mm-hmm. a bit of uh, magic damage because Punka and the Weaver, alam naman natin that they can uh, provide the uh, uh, a decent amount of uh, physical damage if this weaver will play on a uh, position one or even a position four the mm. uh, uh, weaver can uh, provide great physical damage same as kunka right and with the uh, mm. uh, tide bringer so bringing that profit um adds another physical damage because again um physical damage 
uh, exorcism uh, is uh, uh, physical damage, right? Uh, mm-hmm. So right now they need them first. Um, I don't know if uh, Lion maybe if it's still available um, mm. as the position five or even uh, Snap Five. I think Snap Five is the best. Uh, mm. It's the best uh, pick for them. I think it's a pretty solid DP game too. Uh, since there's a Mars, uh, mm-hmm. you can't really let's say if you pick uh, for the third third pick for the dark, uh, radiant side. Uh, if they pick a carry range immediately, then that would basically at least I'll drop themselves because Danger. there's a uh, oh, oh, danger mid. Okay. okay, okay. This might be a uh, boss one Konka. Uh, so that prophet uh, of lane, I guess, and then Tinker mid Konka might. Play, I think um, it's a Konka position one. I think so. Yeah, uh, but yeah. but Konka from one, from other tournaments, other pro five games, I uh, saw the DP boss five because of mm, the yeah. power of Spirit Siphon. So mm. this could be also a position five Death Prophet. Um, regarding position okay. five, well, I'm I'm actually thinking this would be a good pick, but um. Four blocks, but they instead they got tinker. So going back for uh, position five, uh, position five, that profit, yes, napaganda nun. But it mm-hmm. all depends on who's going to uh, face that profit on the lane, because mm-hmm. if uh, the remaining. if the lane will be um, the heroes will be spammers, so he'll just go for a level one one swarm. Silence level three and then one siphon. Mm-hmm. But if not um the death prophet can go one one three. One one three. So harassing with this uh, spirit siphon and of course they'll just go back para maputol yung spirit uh, yung spirit siphon, right? So yes. yeah. anyway, while they're going back, the spirit siphon deals a lot of damage plus the right click damage seconds, of death prophet and guides of him level one lang yung swarm niya. Still, that's a burst Five damage. So, you can Also, yeah. coming in uh, for a ban, guys, uh, they banned AM, which I think is a really good ban, uh, yes. considering they don't really have that much lockdown. And they have DP mm-hmm. and Tinker, which I think very late in the game, they have mm-hmm. a problem facing AM. And considering yeah, the lineup of Blue Hour right now, they're very mobile with Nyx and Puck. So, mm-hmm. having another mobile hero would really bring problems to, to, to do the Flux's uh, lineup. Kasi, okay, ka yeah, I agree. Dahil sometimes kasi it's not just about uh, brute strength. Eh. What I've learned from Dota is not this is not about power and strength. Eh. Sometimes kasi it's all about the, the speed and uh, mobility. Eh, but that's yeah. why uh, other supports, um, for example, this Rubik. If this Rubik will play position 4 and he uh, got uh, brown boots at, er- at the early stage of the game, that would be a problem for the side of Flux. Five kasi Rubik remaining. can just harass you and hindi mo siya mahahabol diba? plus as i mentioned earlier once you can Slar- 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 oh. Oh, okay so, so this this might really be a position 5 death prophet gp yeah. and slardar offlane kunka position 1 or weaver yeah. either way weaver and kunka is a very good uh, uh, a flex heroes uh, they can seconds. both uh, play on the uh, carry position now i'm really yeah. interested huh? to see the Five blue hours lineup right now cuz they're lacking mm-hmm. a carry at the moment so Mm-hmm. Gusto ko makita kung ano yung magiging response nila dito sa last pick Slardar. I'm actually I'm actually eyeing for Spectre or Troll pick. Kasi uh, Spectre, Spectre would be decent enough for uh mm-hmm. for the Tinker decent, but obviously. Not good enough. Yeah. Yes. Decent, not good but enough. not good enough. Cuz y- yung um, Spectre the Spectre is going to have problems against the DP, the Slardar. There's so mm-hmm. many like armor reduction coming to that team. Mm-hmm. Plus, if uh, team fight a 5v5 team fight, kahit sabihin mo marami kang, you have a lot of uh, um, illusions from the uh, Spectre Hunt, he can easily be removed by the uh, Cleave or with the uh, Tidebringer tide of uh, Kunka. So, mm-hmm. nonsense. You can't even jump to another uh, Spectre Hunt immediately. Or if you wanna play or if you wanna joke them out. Mm-hmm. Um, that would be very hard because of the damage of Kunka plus the tankiness that Kunka can bring because of the uh, the rum from the uh, rum yeah. from the uh, go ship because go once ship. it hits uh, uh, the delay uh, the damage uh, or the delay 
from the uh, damage. So mm. and then they can provide a lot of physical damage. Oh. Oh, so the last MK, pick, MK. Monkey King. Um, I think the Monkey King pick is a response to the Slardar, just in case yeah. you know. He, mm -hmm. They they need to secure a, a really good lane for Blue Hour because if this lane goes, yeah. if this game goes super late, uh, I think it's gonna go to the to to flux. So Actually, any similar mm -hmm. lineup uh, like Mars Monkey King, um, Arena Blood, then of course uh, Wokong's okay. Command. Wokong Command. Yeah, together with together with Dream Coil. Dream Coil. If all, all things na four man Dream Coil, three man Dream Coil, they can secure as much three kills as possible with the help, of course, of Rubik stealing at stealing either the Go Ship or Exorcism. I really like I really I like, like Blue Hours uh Blue Hour. team fight right now. Team fight. Mm. Looking pretty team solid. Their lineup. Yes. Mm. And I think uh, they can play a bit fast as well because they have Nyx, they have Rubik, yeah. and they have Puck. Uh, mm. I, th I think Blue Hour's so. heroes are really fast as well. But it's mm. gonna ma uh, the laning phase is gonna matter so hard. Because if, mm -hmm. if Blue Hour manages to secure, I mean, uh, Flux manages to secure a really good lane, then mm -hmm. I think uh, this game is gonna go out of the window. So, any predictions, it, guys? It will be. Um, I think it will depend on the uh, laning phase of the Death Prophet mm -hmm. and the uh, Tinker. Yeah, I agree. Um, team fight wise, I think um, Blue Hour. Blue Hour's lineup is um, yeah, is uh, pretty strong. Mm -hmm. So I think I'll go for the uh, lineup of, of Blue Hour. I'm actually going also with the uh, Blue Hour. I mean, you have uh, you have Slardar and Tinker to somehow yeah, nullify it, but at the same time, if you cannot, if you can't prevent it, that that would be the problem because. Just in case that they evade at least one AOE control, there's Rubik that can really get the ghost ship. Mm -hmm. so, Anyways, uh, right. so we're going into the, the game. We have Flux, we have Blue uh, Blue House, if I'm not mistaken. <laughs> so yeah, so currently, lading phase, we're going into the match as we just introduce the players. Mm-hmm. At, um, yeah, uh, first on the uh, Radiant side, we have uh, Captain Kid mm. with his uh, Tinker 17. Uh, para sa kanyang Kunka, we have emotional mm. damage for his Weaver. 30 seconds um, to battle. You don't have to be or something. I think I saw. You don't have to be perfect. Uh, you don't have to be perfect. And for his Larder and uh, Everesti for uh, his Death Prophet. On the other side, in blue, we have Blossom with the Mars, Ice Melt, Takes Assassin, Essence, Rubik. No D at Puck and, and Nang with the Monkey King. Again, uh, that would be the current, uh, that's the lineup. And again, thank you so much for our co founder for joining us to now. Thank, um, thank you, thank you. Our Looking forward analysis. to this game, guys. I, I would be joining in uh, for this game. We'll see what I can do. Yeah. And Let's go. <laughs> good, good, luck, good luck to both teams. Yeah, okay. So, early on to the game, usual ano lang. Uh, usual interaction lang, 2 of 2 of bounty. Not really that significant spike, but let's see how they control it. Mm -hmm. Alright, um, we'll just uh, check then uh, yung ating uh, fog dito sa ating uh, observe. Uh, using na rin natin yung bonus sir. Alright, uh -huh. uh, para naka-boat uh, boat yung fog of war. Mm -hmm. Tsaka yung ating K. I mean, uh, in still way, because um, for the la last hit wise, para sa in Slarder would be uh, one of the best in early last hitting. No, no. Say again, the bash every four hits procs the ba the bash. Either you use it as a ras, or to have the uh, to have the last hit in your favor agad agad. Because 
it, the damage that it really inputs on that part. Pero yun nga, eh, Kungka. The Kungka is plus one in this uh, in this case. So, very interesting to be honest. I don't know if it's a fog of war. It's all good. It's all good, man. As, uh, as we can see. Hi. Like, this, is, this, is the usual, um, this is the usual leaning. But again, emotional damage with the first one. Emotional block. damage. To Monkey King, this is huge. Man, talagang core ang una mo na patumba. Mhm. Ayun, nasa spectator pala siya tapos nung sa may bandang gitna. But uh etong pack ha, delikado etong uh, pack, medyo kumukulit-kulit siya dito sa Tinker. And of course, for Tinker, um again, iba na yung uh, playstyle ng uh, Tinker ngayon, 'di ba? Because uh yeah. defense matrix, wala na yung uh, wala na yung, yung march, you know? It's an Aganim shark which is mm. uh, will be available at uh at the uh, 20 minute mark. 20 minute mark. Tinasa nila eh. So, as, actually, with the mar- or without the march, kasi, like, from the update of Tinker, na tinanggal yung the march into the defense matrix, it's kind of viable. Oh, wait a moment, teka lang. Uy, nasa doon wala sa oras. Again, into that tower, even as he will be taken down. Mm-hmm. Medyo hirap din dun sa, ano, ah, sa taas. And mm. yung uh, nagkaroon tayo ng uh, isang uh, team fight doon. Pero ito, delikado. Yeah, yeah, Emotional damage naman. Was managed to uh, release it in the same but still, look on sa kamay mm. ni Emotional Ooh. Damage. That's a Another things, things are looking really rough for the for the dire side. Uh, mm. They managed to secure two kills at top. Especially two deaths na yung Monkey King. Yeah. Kasi... So, Two deaths again, Monkey King. Uh, the good thing that na I got here, Weaver, the the kills is again early early support items or sabi natin early boots if uh, for proper Sakuchi um, positioning and also para it's actually a big help if he would rush for an ags. Pero wait, wait lang. Kaya ano sa baba? Or rather, mm-hmm. ah, naka players perspective pala. Hmm. Pwede bang ano yun? Yan? Um, so, anyway, um, uh-huh. um, free camera free camera. Free camera. Kasi yun yun dito. Dito so, play, like player view. Yeah, on the uh, mm-hmm. right side. Right. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, right. Yeah, on yeah. Okay. Free camera. Anyways, there you go. So, 3 1 uh, currently in our scoreboard, and yep. As we uh, as we can see with uh, with the side again emotional damage off cam kill next assassin might be might be another one pero yun nga, you don't have to be perfect with that kill instead Rubik might have the opportunity to kill emotional damage but again the bash is too much essence would be taken down by the slardar make that a two for one trade. Ayun na nga yung sinasabi ko like the the monkey king really needs to secure a, a good lane kasi especially ganito Slardor has a huge advantage coming into this early game mm-hmm. uh even securing his treads the early levels yeah. and i think oh, no. if he oh, managed no, if he managed mm-hmm. manages to secure mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Dun sa, i think dun sa gitna mm-hmm. yeah uh, almost got it because there's a gank there, eh. and actually, nice, uh, nice respond by Nyx just in case. But it's still a big thing because it will force Buck to go out, so he will miss at least two waves, and the Tinker will just happily t- uh, take uh, his part of share of the wave. And you know what? Oh, wait, long, hoping we sell. That's him. Really good, dito. Emotional damage. Oh, Weaver, doing a lot of damage. Okay. Medyo umaasim, and uh, somehow he's not able to take the next assassin. Mm-hmm. And yeah, in this case, uh, so we can check. Uh, wait, parang ano ah? May kakaibang nagaganap dito as they try to invade. <laughs> wait lang. Ah, uh, the Rubik is just waiting, lying in wait in the corner. Oh, oh and no. the other the damage. Once again. Yun nga lang. Monkey King already at 0 Four? Mm-hmm. Yeah, zero four. Seven, seven two. 
And sobrang Seven rough nung naging quick. sobrang sobrang rough nung naging lane ng Monkey King. Uh, Slardar managed to secure two bracers uh, and a threat. Mm. It's he's very he's very tanky. Sobrang lamang nung levels niya and I think he can solo MK. MK MK doesn't have a lane right now. I mean the bot lane. Dyan sa baba. Mukha nakakaroon tayo ng magandang team fight dito. Oh. There oh? was a death prophet. Go she will oh. be used. It will connect. Oh no. And Rubik will fall. And this gun ka. Oh. Two man stun? Mm. Oh, that's stun connected to the spear of Mars. Emotional damage. Still alive. It's emotional damage. Mm. We'll get another kill. Things are looking really rough for the dark side. Like I said, <laughs> Konka, uh, uh, Slardar managed to secure the top lane solo. Monkey mm. King doesn't have a lane. This is gonna be really hard. Yeah, yeah I mean, um, Echo Saber is supposed to be up at this moment for Monkey King. But again, with the zero for um, again, poking capabilities of Uchi, um from emotional damage uh, Weaver. The, the two stunts, the two bashes. From uh, Slardar, talagang hindi mo man with the with the mischief. So it's going really hard in their favor. But again, emotional damage with another emotional damage. But again, MK. Oh no, this would be a massacre. And this would be a very hard game because the jungle has been uh, occupied by the main side as early as the eight minute mark. Look, yeah. it cannot be a minimap. Uh, na invade na nila yung triangle ng uh, dire side. So, mm. nakakapalag sila sa screen fight, yes. But, so, on the um, dire side, main jungle, on the top lane, the, yung slider is uh, really farming. Diba dito? Sa, dito sa dire main jungle. Plus, yeah. yung baba, yung triangle, napapasok din. And that's why they put the two wards. They even, uh, they, they put three Dyer's wards just to protect the attack. mid. And yung triangle, at pati yung kita mo yung bounty. Mm -hmm. And because of that, yeah. and because of that early advantage by the Slardar, he has managed to, you know, at least have the capability to be at least a, a bit, a bit greedy on on the lane. Uh, I mean on the build. Mm -hmm. He's going for an armlet instead of you know the usual blink rush, because mm -hmm. the lane, the top lane has been really, really. Uh, and actually, it's, it's reasonable na mag armlet muna siya before dagger. It's actually pretty good. Mm -hmm. And wait, uh, ano nga, um, this is a, this is a um, Death Prophet support, right? Yes. Death Post Prophet four. support at the 10 minute mark. He's now at uh, level 5. Mm -hmm. Um, Once na available na yung tome, there you go, available na, 10 minutes. Mm -hmm. Pwedeng ibigay sa kanya yung ano, pwedeng ibigay sa kanya yun. Mm -hmm. Yung, uh, Tom, or I think Weaver can uh, get this one since uh, Weaver will play support or mm -hmm. is uh, somehow playing at the uh, support board. So even if it's on level 6, level 6, you can get a team ticket. Mm. And I believe, uh, actually, this is. I think it's pala post fight pala yung, ano, Death Rapid. So... Yes, Death Rapid. Mm. But I don't know. Or man. Script! Pero no skin. Oh. Okay. Oh. Okay. Boundless strike. And Slardar oh. will have a good shot. And he's going to manage to survive. Not enough damage. The greedy build is play paying off. Armlet is paying off. Sobrang naging That's laking. That's an emotional damage. <laughs> Sobrang laking naging impact ng Slardar. Winning that lane. Securing that lane. Monkey King, yeah. usually, he can team fight uh, kapag may advantage. Huh? He can brawl it out. But... Seeing the the huge level disparity between those two, level six against a level ten off lane Slardar, mm -hmm. it's I gonna mean, be dude, it's gonna be rough. I mean, I mean seeing the network ngayon, Slardar first and then nasa yung Monkey King, it's six. So it actually it's actually parang ane, um you, you actually lost the lane, but ngayon kasi they they're really trying to invade. And get as much jungle camps as possible to deny the farming capabilities of the, the monkey king. And the other one's attack. They're gonna take him. This slider. No, oh, oh, I am. Oh, but managed to kill them. And a ghost. Oh, the, the damage. Oh, 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 the damage. Oh,
Oh, si Spirit Siphon. Eh, oh, no. yung sinasabi ko kanina. Mm -hmm. But still, that still they managed to kill that Nyx around the corner. Actually, it's not a lot of drink. Oh no. Village, ito na ata yun. Oh no. After the arena of blood, wala, wala silang mati ng follow up. Eh. Talagang wala kasing damage dito yung Monkey King for a proper follow up. Eh, yung mga, doon lumabas yung ano. Doon lumabas yung uh, Wukong's command. But again, it's not enough as they already have the damage output that they need. It's a disaster for the Dara team. I can say that right now. The mm -hmm. Weaver is the same level as their, almost the same level as their mid hero. Almost killed him. Mm -hmm. The Nyx is just having a rough time trying to secure those lanes, trying to secure those positions. Level 5 on the Nyx. He badly needs his level 6. Because yeah. mm -hmm. in that way, he can place the wards, place deep wards to see where the enemy is coming from. And maybe with, with the vision game, the Monkey King can maneuver around the map and farm. But as of right now, Oh, this is the Nyx. Plus, I think that's a early vessel, I guess. And yeah, vessel. Time lapse, na gagal. Will they get him? No. Sorry, orb. Hindi hindi nila masadu yung force in tawi. Nang again another X mark unless unless magatalo. There we go. Bubuti na lang. Was able to chunt out. Bote wala ng torrent. In any case, sa may torrent yon, you don't have any choice. But still, uh, 16-4 is actually a disaster in the early game. But I still have hope going into the late game because Monkey King really scales up a lot. The only problem is, again, the Tinker. Yeah. Just in case. Hindi pa siya nagpaparamdam. Hindi pa siya nagpaparamdam. Talaga tamang, tamang laser lang What doon me? sa mga camp. Oh, oh, we have it in fight ongoing. Oh, we got it. Oh, you can't catch him. Instead, Rubik's Rubik spotted. Oh my, he was yeah. go down. got spotted and no more. Mm. From that kill, Slardar will uh, get his um, blink dagger. Look, oh, as King, King is down. Here they see the traffic on the solo oh. kill from the Tinker. So this is no, actually huge. Really Just a dagger and a soul ring mm. for this uh, Tinker. Shiva That's first up. Uh, Shiva's next. Shiva's next. Yeah. Mm -hmm. First priority is it's from uh, usually after after you say like uh, I don't know like Dagon or what. But still Shiva. I mean understandable for the team fight capabilities. This is bad for uh, they, uh, they can uh, they can actually finish the game at around 22 minutes if I if, uh, if I'm not uh, you know if I can. Uh, I can this one right. Emotional damage. Emotional damage. Emotional damage. It's down. Will it be enough? Then it's not going to be enough. Slider just went down. That's a big kill. The damage. The delay. There's the rum. But you're wrong. Nature the late. And again, the Tinker. Providing a lot of magic damage. That's a double kill for him. 3 for 3. Oh, they got the Tinker. They got the Tinker. I think Tinker's gonna be dead. But the dead rabbit is here and Tinker is down. Tignan natin. I'm not sure what it is. There's a swarm. Here I click. Tignan natin. I smell four. Oh, two man stun. Or rather, the Nyx Assassin. That's a very good two man impale. I think... That's a team wipe? It technically is a team wipe. The Radiant side being a bit too greedy on that one. Yeah, I mean, uh, one of the things again coming into the play is the AOE control. AOE uh, again, uh, Arena Blood, Wohong's Command, kahit hindi po masyado wait. This is a classic combo. A Konka, a Konka hit with the Shadow Blade is actually a classic one. Pero kasi, with the Day the Loose. With the Day the Loose. Uh, with the Day the Loose. Uh, talagang uh, mararap ng damage. <laughs> Makatiyan. Mm -hmm. Pero right now, he's going for BKB. Um, just a security defensive item. So. Mm -hmm. 
Kung a bit far, if uh, you look at the board, 24-10 and a 9k gold leap for them. So let's see, we have another team fight here to my task. And look oh. at that tanker. That's a double kill for him. Just erasing the Mars and the Rubik. Triple? Game as the uh, Mars. So that's a mm. triple kill for him. And then look at him. Just out. Oh, no. And this is a free Roche because a three yeah. man down. Mm -hmm. Oh, no. This is actually uh, it's still a disaster as of the moment. I mean, uh, they technically team fight them because again the positioning white, but still, uh, if they manage to, para sa akin medyo overextend yun eh. Medyo overextend from the side of the tire side. Because like, mm, kasi, like uh, like for me, if you don't have a proper vision. And you're just trying to scout around. I mean, and dami mga yare. Tinker might be in the bot lane. Tinker might be top. Oh. Speaking of which, now this this is better than nothing. Pick, huh? Yeah, yeah, this yeah, is better than nothing. Yes. Middle tower is they got at tower. least uh, the weaver and oh, uh, forced them up. at least two ultimates. Yeah, that's a bad part. So it um, it used two ultimates. So there's no arena blood. There's no dream coil. So this this would be actually huge. Wait lang. There's the backstab damage and of course the Spear of Mars. So that's uh, two kills for them. And kahit pa yeah. paano, nakapag-buy time sila rito. And uh, they managed to get that death profit without um, using any um, high cooldown skill or uh, their ultimates. Diba? Mm -hmm. Philosopher Stone and Nether Shoal. So Philosopher Stone, pwede mo nalang ibigay yan dun sa like, uh, uh, support na medyo kulang sa pera. Mm. Uh, well. Actually, uh, para sa akin, binigay, binigay mo sa Rubik. Ay, hindi, binigay sa Nyx. Okay, understandable naman sa Nyx. Kasi kahit pa paano, kasi Nyx... Uh, Nyx is the initial engager dito sa lineup. And yeah, Mars can be a follow-up. There's the dagger already up um, kay Mars. Pero it's still being the matter of how will they react. We were looking oh. for Mars. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Swarm? Swarm? Anyone? Oh, okay. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Legion Swarm, but it's okay. <laughs> Sayang yun. That uh, could have been a pre-kill for, uh, for Flux. Mm -hmm. I mean, of course, Flux blew. Top parang ano, pinaprove tayo na mali ng Flux eh. Like, yeah, talo pa rin sa, ah, kami with the team fight, but we can, we can kite them one by one. And, uh, ah, 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 I think that he died in the hero composition because the hero composition of or the team composition of uh, the dire side is malakas. Kaya nga sabi ko, I think they have the slight chance of winning, but somehow it's not working. Diba? Mm -hmm. um, yes. Naging problema yung tinker, and sabi ko nga kanina, um, yung laning phase, especially that uh, death profit uh, support. Kapag nakapangaras ng maigi yun, which is nagawa niya, eh, mama manage nila ng talagang matapos to. Yes, mm. and balik tayo dun. Oh, yes, and balik tayo dun sa draft kanina, draft analysis natin na we specifically mentioned na the dire team really needs to secure a laning phase, the laning phase of the Monkey King. Uh, mm. kasi ayun nga, diba? Uh, Monkey King is a really solid laner and he lost really hard against the Slardar. So, uh, there was almost no chance of him try, trying to contest the Slardar itself because Slardar mm. Has the level advantage, has the yeah. uh, amplify. Oh, wait, oh, uh, this, this, this is a good pick. Yeah, yeah. This is a good pick for them. No ultimates used, just a vendetta. Dyer's and uh, vendetta, I think that's at around um, 80 seconds, if I'm uh, not mistaken. Mm -hmm. uh, another 80 seconds, muna ng chillax yan. You're safe sa team fight, etong uh, rage. Okay, oh, yeah, going yeah. back, dun sa ano nga natin, diba? Hindi na recover yung monkey king. Mm -hmm. Kasi one, 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 Monkey King really, uh, one of the strength kasi is actually dueling eh. Pero kasi early on, hindi pa siya mapag-duel na maayos. And of course, yeah. and, and actually, ang lala ng, ano, ng offlane. That, uh, that Slardar and of course yung Weaver, talagang will give you uh, a really hard time. There's no top. I oh, no? Smoking? So, Hoji, may nakita sila? Yeah, oh, no. Eh, itong si Witches, sabi ko nga, 
80 mm. seconds pa yung kanyang cooldown so no threat di ba mm. that's why they uh, they uh, went for that um, SOD kasi alam mm. nila ang lalab nasa mapa yan mm. so and, good pick up team fight mm. and yun na nga eh. hindi siya nakapag react na maayos nun eh natanong oh. lang siya oh. yung kasi oh. hindi <laughs> rin nakapag react yung fuck dito mm. he got bodied under that tier 2 tower mm. pwede na sila kumuha ng objective dito sa team summit uh, I mean to think about it. Actually, may iwasan nila yung mga pick of nini. Hindi ng war talaga yung reaction time eh. Kasi asa ah, talaga nila is larder papasok. Oh, eh, speaking of, you know, <laughs> going into the battle and pinalambot lang niya. Eh, to si Mark. Mm, I heard about that. Uh, 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 May narinig ako Mass of Madness. Eh. Mass of Madness on the Slardar. Oh no! <laughs> I think a statement is being made here by, by Flux. Yeah. Uh, May narinig ako Madness eh. And this is the old, coming back to the old days na Slardar na Mass of Madness. Damage, yung team right? chance, uh, yung bash pa yung ano, chance pa yung bash. Pero kasi ngayon yung Mass of Madness niya. Every four attacks, there's a bash. Higher attack speed will proc it more. So, talagang standa kang labas. Ako oh, magugulat ka dyan kapag nag-desolate. Oh no. Ito, Bad fuck is gonna go down. Ito na bura. Burado garanti sa ado inaabot ng fuck doon. Okay, so, Pero ito, we're gonna have a first team fight here. And again, the Slardar. Nagdadabot lang siya sa kita and Mark is down again. Oh no. The Slardar is too strong. Okay, BKB pop. Oh no. And that's a double kill for this Slardar. That is a team wipe and a buyback from Nyx. Oh, yeah. No. I mean, in, they're not really anticipating it, but pag nandyan na, they cannot really react well. Especially, mm -hmm. especially para sa akin, um, yung Arena of Blood is actually a good thing to initiate with. But the bad thing right here is, once he in initiated the Arena of Blood, para tingin Tinker. So Tinker can really reposition himself. No. Grabe, grabe. 20k net worth the 24 minutes in. And another kill. Another kill. Oh, it's a kill from Oh, that's a, that's a good game. Kahit uh, pa boost din ang economy nila yan. That 475 gold speed. And yeah, Silver Edge is up kay Kungka. So, negated talaga. Negated talaga yung Mars dito. On the, on the, on the damage up front. I think Blue House here need, really needs to pick their fights. Mm -hmm. Go smoke it. And I think this is the team fight now, and they chose Lardar. KKB. They got the kill from the Slardar. It's a big kill. It actually took one, two, three ultimates. Actually, four ultimates. I think uh, the, the dark side Blue House is more than happy enough to make that trade. It's a big mm. kill on the slider. We go. Targeting yeah, monkey. I mean, <laughs> it's working. I mean the bang again. Oh, Are they gonna yeah, fight? Like, Are they gonna fight? Yeah. Oh, the crazy. Oh, no. oh no. With the passes from that silver edge, so you monkey. Oh. No. The thinker. Or rather, fuck. They will really, really fight on this one. Ah, he rocked it. And soon, catch it. Got a double kill. Look at that thinker spamming his skills. Thinker is proving to be too much. This guy's. Yeah. They, um, Mars just uh, went for his back. Mm. Ah, Shiva, overwhelming blink. Mm, yeah, overwhelming blink. Yeah, nakita ko din. Unless, it's like, you need to use a laser, he's a laser, and then, jump in, Shiva, jump in, Shiva. You know what he's doing all this time. Eh. The amount of burst damage coming in from the, the radiant side from Flux, Flux is just too much right now. Uh, yeah. Like we see, Getting overwhelming. We have they have so much armor reduction as mentioned in the early game, uh, as well as pure magic damage coming in from the tinker, and they they have no ways to build around to mitigate those damage. Mars is committing to a BKB uh, because he gets caught, bursted immediately, so they cannot really afford getting a pipe or even a crimson guard here. I mean, a pipe would be uh, would be actually good, but also. For engaging purposes, I mean BKB is one of the best things that yes. um, he can pick up. He cannot. Say, speaking you... of BKB, 
yung slider naman, ang ganda ng BKB. Uh, no. So, tanky hero na nga siya. Then nahihirapan ka naman mag- uh, nahihirapan ka mag-provide ng damage. Another diba? kill. And another kill for that slider. And the BKB was was it used? Hindi pa. So that's a fresh BKB, fresh 9 second BKB. Mm-hmm. Nine seconds, uh, nine seconds pa yan, ha? So, you can just jump in and negate na ako po. There's oh, the... Oh, they committed to a fight. Ah, uh, Reyna of Blood. In fight, nagalit kami siya yung uh, Dream Cold. Pero dalawa, mamamatay yung upside. Mm-hmm. Nang, uh, or nang, uh, sa Here goes the finger. Here goes the finger, but he got stunned. Oh. Oh. So, X marks the spot, and then, uh, the finger just, uh... Deleted. The, the Tinker has a lot of room for errors now dahil he ex mark uh, lang siya eh. So anytime he can, they can cancel it. Look at that, it's good for for him. And he might go for the 4 or for the Ultra. Let's see. Yeah. Are we gonna see a Rampage? Laser. Possible Rampage. Oh, oh no, there we go. And there we go. And the GG called. And GG will be called. Mm-hmm. And Flux will proceed sa ating next phase of tournament. Grabe. Oh. As in grabe yun. Like... Not really expecting that thing to pop off early because I expected that it around 30 pa siya or what, but proving the point. Yes. Oh my god, that was a that was, uh, really surprising game because yeah. composition wise, talaga, I'm really inclining for Blue Hour. Mm-hmm. Yeah, the um, team fight was, but um, just like what we talk on the uh, drafting phase, the, uh, the game will depend on the laning phase, especially uh, on on the uh, blue hour side, that would be the uh, monkey king, right? Mm-hmm. And then on uh, on the other side, it will be uh, the uh, death prophet, which is uh, playing in the support. And kung titingnan natin earlier, di ba nga mm-hmm. yung sinabi ko nga yung possible na magigig skill setup niya. He went for the one one three, kaya naharas niya ng maigi yung uh, mm-hmm. lane niya, helping his core uh, to get a lot of farm. And uh-huh. at the same time, uh, the Death Prophet is harassing yung uh, lane niya. That's mm-hmm. why yun Tinker was uh, able to get a lot of uh, farm mm-hmm. and uh, get his um, core items. Diba? Aga, I think, yeah. sobrang aga nung uh, dagger. And um, ano pa ang nauna dito? I think... Uh, the armlet? Dagger yeah. oh, for Tinker. Um, oh, yeah. Dagger, the dagger. And then he went for... Shiva. Shiva. At the 19 minute mark, meron na siya agad na dalawa na yan. And then, sobrang mm-hmm. unstoppable na niya. And then, yan, tsaka na lang siya na yung mga overwhelming yun. Yan, tindi. Pero, so, syempre, like, uh, final thoughts muna sa ating uh, special guest. Ako, for, for me, the the lane really went uh, south for, for Blue Hour. Para sa, if they mm-hmm. managed to secure that lane for the Monkey King, they would have mm-hmm. a much better time moving around the map, securing these team fights because... Uh, they have the superior team fights with Mars, Pac, Monkey King. Yeah. But uh, like like we saw, uh, Slardar had a really really strong lane. Got really early kills. The Monkey, mm-hmm. uh, the Weaver and the Slardar combo proving to be too much. So much damage. Mm-hmm. So much armor reduction. Armor reduction. And I guess that just sealed the game for for Flux. Is you know mm-hmm. the Gonka being super big and. Early in the early stage of the game, ha- making the Monkey King move to the jungle really early on without really the the primal spring. Uh, for me, for if you're a Monkey King playing behind, especially, you really need to max primal spring because that will alarm uh, allow you to farm faster because it has low yeah. cooldown. Mm-hmm. So, having Slardar ahead with against the Monkey King, he ca- the Monkey King cannot really trade even though Meron Shang Jingu. So yeah. really well played from Flux. Uh, unfortunate from Blue Hour. Really wanted to see a longer game, but Flux proving to be the better team for the for this tournament. Actually, like again, uh, it's actually a solid, uh, solid one. And yeah, and ikaw Pilaj. Um, I'm looking forward na maharap dito yung dalawang yung nag one hour game kasi I think that was um. Uh... Uh, no, no, not a- Apes. Armor page? I think that's Armor, Armor page. page 1, right? Apes. Yeah, mm-hmm. yung... Atya, and then yung, yung first two, yung mga yun. Kasi, um, mm-hmm. for the 
pretty even yung first series and then the second series naman is went into a, I think that was a 52 minute game so mm-hmm. this is a 20 this is just a 28 minute game and uh, somehow a very one sided game for Flux so what if um makabanggaan nito yung ganong nakakapag dominate din ng game and uh, nakakapag hold ng uh, yung nakakapag take ng mahabang ano di ba so i'm really looking forward for uh, this team dito sa ating uh, tournament and uh yep so Yeah, so that would be it for our third game for today. And again, um, Ramon, my salamat sa ating special guest, the co-founder of Prominent Games, um, Air for joining us on our tricast. And yeah, guys, don't go away. We still have a running giveaway. So just exclamation point giveaway. And di mas ayon yung mananalo ng ten dollars each. And yeah, magbabalik kami for our fourth game. This has been your casters. My name is Kevin. Kasi I'm also Specter. I mean, si Bilad. And we'll be right back. <laughs> Miracle play, can this happen? Look at the dog, he is on a fire block. Four kills!
itira ngayon. Miracle play, can this happen? Look at the dog, he is on a fire flow. Four kills!
Saan na lang talaga natitira ngayon? Miracle play. Can this happen? Look at the dog. He is on a fire clock. Four kills. Uh, for today, again, this is Prominence Crown Cup Season Two for Dota Two, and of course, I'll be I'll be joining uh, I'll be joined by my co-caster Pilaj. My name is Caper, and of course, our very special guest. It's still air. Dire team ban. Yeah. Yeah. Ten seconds mm. remaining. Uh, and that's, uh, yeah, and uh, that's uh, very Five important. If uh, that's very important if uh, you're playing Dota, the uh, early game, Because right? um, uh, as for me, if you win your lane, like seventy-five percent. I always said, uh, say, say, say that um, when I'm casting that um, if you win your lane, pick. like seventy-five percent chance yeah. the game. Sayo din, diba? mm -hmm. And again, ito na naman tayo sa picks, diba? We we saw OD yep. earlier that uh, na ban, and then ito naging available na naman yung Weaver, diba? So that's the that's the magic Radiant of the eh, first pick, diba? yeah. Even that profit. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And even yung SB, yeah. Mm -hmm. Even the um. Spirit Trader. Uh, mm -hmm. Another Mars. Same, same. Tide Hunter? Mm -hmm. Tide Hunter or let's see. Uh, if they can secure the Kunka once again, Weaver Kunka. Mm -hmm. Pwede. Pwede yung, uh, Weaver Kunka, yeah. Or Tide Hunter. Celestial says uh, he's planning uh, something. Eh? Kasi Five I seconds, don't usually see. Ready. Night Stoker on the first face band. Jakiro, okay. Okay, so most likely, para sa akin na ah, counter initiation against an arena blood ice pat would be one of the best things para sa akin. Yung control kasi nang Jakiro, yung control na kaya niya dal ah ibigay ah in terms of the dining phase. So possible. Possible that uh, this uh, first two uh, picks of Celestial is if they play Weaver as their position one, then this is a strong lane, a Weaver mm -hmm. and a Jakiro. Or if uh, they play Weaver as a support Ten again, diba? um, this is hard for Wild Dogs to, uh, you know, na, na may mental block ka eh, in terms of uh, in terms of the draft day. Eh. Mm -hmm. the the beauty of the drafting phase is dito pa lang nagsisimula na yung mind games, di ba? Like 80% of the time, yung draft, pag maganda, 80% yan, malaki yung chance mo mag-win. And then the remaining 20%, it all depends on your execution. Di ba? So hindi mo siya magawa kasi nga, yung Weaver, hindi mo alam kung ano magiging quest. Like, ano ba ito? Is he going for a, is he going for a position 1? Or a position 4? Ito na ba yung lane natin? Will be Weaver and Jakiro? Or... Sini mga kasama niya sa lane. So, it's hard for Wild Dogs to pick their heroes or to pick their stat, di ba? Actually, nakakita ko ng Jakiro post 3. So, actually, they can just mix and match eh. Pero it really depends on how Wild Dogs' composition is. If they would necessary na Jakiro post 3 or stay as post 5. In this case, but I'll say it really depends on how they will have the game in their hands. Like for example, Sinu Mid, who would be who would be the boss one, who would be like our setter or something like that. But in this case, again, wait lah, would be Dark Willow. Willow, okay. Very interesting. Very interesting pick. I think it goes very well with Mars, especially in Arena of Blood plus. The terrorize. Yeah. Babangga talaga mga 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 mga
when Mars is picked, ano na yan, parang it's almost guaranteed that there's gonna be a follow up na, na pick for a better team fight. Yeah. So let's it... see let's see how it goes uh deeper mm-hmm. onto the draft. But I really like the Dark Willow pick. Mm-hmm. Actually, understand why they chose Tidehunter Hunter because of Willow. Ako, I'm looking at ano eh, dun sa Death Prophet na pag ito na position five, and then the Weaver will do position one. So for me, mm. this ano, this Death Prophet is still a flex pick, eh, dahil yes. if Weaver will go, will, will play in position one, Death Prophet can go uh, uh, five or even an off lane, and then. Mm. Silence is the best option for him. Parang hindi makapagsukot si Arthur Weaver. If he play on the position 4, then yung Death Prophet is ang ganda pa rin niya na 5. Kasi hindi pa rin maano kung sila yung magkakatapat sa leg, di ba? So, um, it all depends on the fourth pick of uh, both teams. Or pwede na rin ito. Ito yung pwedeng mag-dictate yung uh, third pick. Uh, Speaking of third pick. Oh, a bounty. PH, okay. okay. Ember, okay, okay. Pwede sila mag-bat rider min dito. Bat rider is still available. Hmm. Ang uh, wild dogs. Hmm. Or storm. Kung gusto nila. Well, I mean, any, there's... Any, any spirit brothers, yeah. Ten seconds hmm. remaining. Void or storm is good. Hmm. I mean, this Five case is a bounty hunter. Three. Like, expect more talaga na they're, try to, they're trying to make the early aggression. Talagang uh, to utilize uh, to utilize the bounty hunter more. Pero kasi in this kind of lineup, parang I'm confused on who's who said who who would be the uh, off laner or who would be the support if this is a support BH or an off lane BH. Yeah, uh, I think off lane. Or yung BH. classic na post one BH. Um, I'm leaning towards uh, BH off lane. Dire team back. Mm-hmm. Ah, yun lang. Great king. So Morphling is out of the picture. AM, I believe AM uh, tatanggalin dito ng Wild Dogs. Who Radiant who should be the, like a uh, parang uh, tatanggalin na uh, from the picture? It's a very Phantom Lancer. And there we AM. go. AM. Phantom Lancer in AM. Yeah. Kailangan maalis nila yan. Oh, mm. yun na, sakto pa na na ban nila. Radiant Team mm. back. Hey, let's say bat riders think, well, out oh, of the picture. Okay. I, I was about to say wild dogs. Uh, they have a good bat rider game. Mm-hmm. Mm. But so, still in ano eh, um, to agree dun sa sinabi niyo na yes, uh, maganda yung bat, di ba? Maganda yung bat. Magaling, magaling sila mag bat rider. And kaso mm-hmm. yung question mo sa sarili mo as a drafter is, ano ba yung unahin ko? Will I go for the for the bat rider fourth pick o or yung rate king yung ipapabad ko pero instead they decide mm-hmm. na sige kaya natin yan na rate king mas tiwala ka sa P A so okay. ayun pala phantom lancer got banned then uh, uh, abi na eh tama tama lang it's pero pag is out of the picture so talagang yun to yung two brothers still available tinker is also uh, available for them but let's see, wild dogs. How I think, they I think um, I'll go for void. Void, I guess. Hmm. Or slow term. Void. Let's okay. 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 Yeah, I forgot. Very good. Very nice. More pick. control, more fun. Okay. Oh, there's two see, interesting lack, drafts for sure. Yeah, they lack in magic damage and the shrap will be or can, not mm-hmm. will, but can provide that. Um, that um, magic damage from the Pulse Nova, Lightning Storm, and uh, split, uh, Earth Splitter. Because mm-hmm. Diabolic Tedic is uh, for, ano, eh, for physical. Yan, eh. Physical, yes. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And then, the big ng, ano, nila, ng push, uh, pushing capabilities nila with that Prophet, Exo, and yung Diabolic Tedic. Plus, meron ka pang mga skeletal system from uh, mm-hmm. the <laughs> Skeletal system, yeah. Easy post, properly. Ang ta- ta- taas masyado ng pushing capabilities nila rito and the only hero na kaya mag-prevent nun from Celestials is yung Jakiro. Mm. With the maximum Actually. 30 seconds mm. lang yan, eh, 40, di ba? Mm. But I still like Celestials lineup here kasi Ooh, that, that lineup is pretty fast. Mm-hmm. Pretty, pretty fast. So, mm. I think the... Especially on team fights. Yeah, the face of this game is gonna be... Uh, whoever controls the face of this game is... Definitely yeah. gonna mm. have a better time because 
Uh, ayun nga, dun sa Wild Dogs then they have to rely on cooldowns as well. Uh, ang mali, um, not cooldown dependent lang dito will be uh, the the shot. The, the shot. Yes. Tagal lang oh. naman yung kanyang 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 Alright, so yeah. So that is the analysis for the draft. And of course, we're going into our game in Magang Smoke to. And yeah, so this is the one of two semifinals for our uh, tournament for today. Again, this is the Prominence Crown Cup Season 2 for Dota 2. And we'll be having uh, Sadechas vs. Wild Dogs. Of course, let's introduce our players. From Wild Dogs first, we have Little Wonders for Dark Willow. Carry or play my game? Thank you for Raid King. I can read that one. Lesh Rat. Suwa on Mars and R for that profit. Yeah. And on the uh, dire side, this is the uh, Celestials. Uh, we have uh, the Jakiro and Demon playing uh, Weaver. Red Days for his Ember Spirit. Uh, CLS Shoryu for his Phantom mm -hmm. Assassin. And we have the Bounty Hunter. Mm -hmm. Oh, Bounty. This is. Uh, wait. A bounty off lane, okay. Off lane, uh -huh. mm -hmm. So Jakiro oh. five. Hmm, Jakiro five uh, for Weaver. Okay, understandable, yeah. Yeah. It's okay, lang nila dito na eh. Mapipila yung uh, scaling ng uh, ng bounty hunter because we all know that the uh, bounty hunter once it hits level six, uh, sobrang laki ng may tutulong niya sa economy, de ba? Mm -hmm. With those uh, track kills. Mm -hmm. And magiging aggressive kasi sila. Mm -hmm. And ito na, Spirit Cypher okay, agad. Nice. Battling okay, for that first rune of the oh, game. No, he, this might be a kill if the dual breath hits. No. No. Alright, so it's still a good try. Um, 3 for 1. Okay, so tatlong bounty for the side of Wild Dogs. 1 for uh, uh, Celestials. It's still a good, uh, it's still not really the end of the world yet if hindi mo nakuha lahat ang bounty. But still, it really depends on the laning phase. And speaking yeah. of laning face, I really agree with Sinabri Pilaj on uh, the scaling of Bounty Hunter. Especially if Aghanims is up for Bounty Hunter, it's lang yan eh. Mm -hmm. Pero for ano, um, Bounty Hunter, more on like Aura, ang pinag-provide niya. Ah, uh, uh, yeah. Uh, Tsaka syempre, yun nga. Um, as long as uh, you're involved in every team fight, diba? Uh, mabilis kang, ano eh. Kahit hindi naman ikaw yung makakill again, diba? Yung track. Sobrang laki kasi nung, ano? Sobrang laki kasi ng tuning niya. Mayroon, oh, on no. the top lane. Let's see, Jack no. in trouble, same as the uh, uh, Dark Willow and Yopon at the first blood. Nakukuha mm yan. -hmm. Mm -hmm. uh, Jack Eero with this, uh, do I think that's a DPS from his dual breath. Yeah, I mean, um, that's the early aggression ang kailangan nila, especially uh, with the PA. I mean, PA is not really that uh, snowball at early get-go of the game. He just he really needs a support. First. That the super damage reliant, especially the Jakiro dual breath, mm -hmm. slow and then the damage over time, it's still a big thing. Jakiro? Oh. Oh, no, no. Jakiro? <laughs> May dragon. <laughs> Nahihirapan yung mid lane na ito, yung Ember Spear. Actually, if you're playing a um, melee okay, hero okay, on okay, the mid para sa akin, ah, as a player, mas gusto ko siya eh. Dahil, of course, the range may trajectory pa, di ba? Okay, Up and this. Yung, ano, uh. Di ba? And this, this one, katabihan mo, you can easily deny. Di ba? Mm. Pero this time, eh, look at the uh, last instant. Di ba? 6-1 for mm. the uh, Ember Spirit and then 10-1. Uh, Oh, mm. Lightning Storm unlike, and uh, Earth Speeder. Okay. One more. Oh, there you go. Solo kill from the Leshrac. Wow. Kasi, unlike, unlike uh, Void Spirit kasi who negates physical. Oh wait, off cam kill. <laughs> no, that's another one for PA. Pero yeah, off cam, uh, off cam, sorry. Uh, if Void Spirit, that's physical one. So hindi talaga mapag-spam dito yung Leshrac. If uh, Ember Spirit, that's magical. So mataas ang base damage dito ni... Wow, a lot of kills going Spirit. around the map. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Then we have a kill dun sa baba, and that's a bounty hunter. Though hindi na lasit ng hero, that's a shared bounty. But yeah, yeah a kill. It's still a big okay. thing. Mm -hmm. Ako naman, uh, nat napatutok ako dun sa gitna. Because right now, level gap, 4 and 3, plus 2 bound, uh, two water runes. Yung nakakuha dito mm -hmm. ng uh, Leshra. And he already has a bottle. So wala siya oh, na. Wala na, hindi niya na kailangang umuwi. Oh, okay. May top lane. I think there's another kill. Oh, and oh, kumunik pa. Yung uh, stepling dagger, one more right click. Mm -hmm. There you go. 
Ang laking bagay din ng deck. Another solo kill. Went down, another solo kill, di ba? Yung level gap na to, this is 5 against level 3. Mm -mm. And yeah, imagine the physical damage na nagawa din. Again, Let's not have one of the highest uh, physical base physical damage among the end. So it really comes into play right now. But again, really the time of Let's Rock on that team. Like I say, uh, I mean that pick up. Because I saw it, it's the range of Ember Spirit. And we know Lightning Storm is the range of cast range. Niya. Mm -hmm. So yeah, yeah. And, and I think guys, it's a bit difficult to get Ember here because two deaths na siya, and now he has no TP to get back to the lane. Which yeah, helps. Lahat, but <laughs> lakad matatag, lakad matatag. So which helps mm -hmm. Leshrak secures a little bit more time to get the bounty rune and mm -hmm. get back in get, in the lane get some and time. Yes, get exactly. Some yes. Hindi siya makakarating in 30 seconds sa uh, mid lane. So once the bot rune is uh, or mag-spawn ulit siya sa core, masisecure diba? niya rin ang bounty rune. Oh, oh, oh. Ay, yung bounty rune. That's why ito, tingnan natin. Diba? Tingnan nyo. Leshrak is already heading dun sa mga bounty rune spawn. So that's another um... Battle of the Filter Rim. Kung hindi niya na, wala na naman siyang reason to go home. Diba? Mm. And, uh... And, uh, dito, mag, ano na, mag, uh... Pagpapanood ng buhay. Hmm. Nandiyan na niya. Diyan na just a lane. So, pwede niya i-deny lahat ng kids niya. And at the same time, eh, of course, kaya na XP dun sa, uh, hindi sa kapatok na lane. So, dread lane na ata yung hit na lane. I think, so, yeah. hindi niya, ano, no? You guys, what do you think? Ma around that time, I, I think Leshrak has a really, really, really huge advantage coming into this lane, especially this mm. early on in the game. Level five, mm. three minutes in. Mm -hmm. And yeah, I mean, because di pa na ata niya lagay. No diabolic. Uh, I think it's to secure his lane against Ember, mm. especially. Because it's diabolic again, physical damage. So, ano ba nene na git aim guard? Because that's one na kung oh, that's a that's a one each from two different sides of the map. Pero mas pabor yun para sa side ng ano mas pabor yun sa side ng wild dogs because they got an offlane hero while the death prophet is playing what support, right? So, panalo pa rin sa kanila yon. Kasi ang advantage kasi dito, like, kita mo naman yung safe lane ng uh, Wild Dogs. May Raid King na stun and of course yung Silence. So, hindi ka talaga makapag-shadow walk out if you're a bounty hunter. Bingo! Wait, ito lang ka! One more post nova! And that's a kill oh, no. in a Weaver. That, this is actually a kill. Oh! Nice oh, no. one! Oh no! That is so big. Mm. Yung fairy fire right on time. And and the you know, yung tower damage yung uh, yung pinaka provide yung tower dun sa yung defense niya. Yeah. On dun sa spawn. Mm -hmm. Dahil nilulungan din siyang ano, akala ako mamamatay, grabe naman to. That is really bad, a bad sign for the oh, dire team. Uh, mm. Let's rock level 7, 5 minutes into the game. Two null mm. talismans going against a level 4 ember spirit. With a level two diabolic, I think by seven minutes in, this Leshrak can definitely take this tower and secure yeah. the jungle, farm the jungle on the other side. I think the ang um, chance na lang nila makabawi rito is for Ember na bigyan siya ng stacks pero wala rin kasi ability pa na yung Ember to take big stacks, de ba? Yeah. Um, just ang skill set. Oh, ang skill set dito. He's he set one one three. Pero wait lang, we have a team fight here on the top lane, Weaver. Having uh, or rather PA. another kill, bottom. Speaking and another another kill. kill. Mega kill for the Leshra. Mm. And now oh, trying to chase the bounty hunter, but again, mabilis, mabilis yung bounty hunter, like base movement speed niya, but still having the boost on hand. Talagang ma outrun niya yung rate king. Ang bilis ng happenings, guys. <laughs> mm. Talagang left and right eh, kaya kung saan kami nakatingin eh, may mamamatay sa baba. Pag natingin sa baba, may mamamatay sa mid. <laughs> Ang bilis there, eh. There are kills around the map, everywhere, and medyo oh, ano. Ang hirap mag-keep up doon. Oh no, nakita ba na yung Leshrock? Yung Leshrock yung nagbibigay ng problema eh, kahit sa akin. Leshrock coming into top lane. Kasi, ito na naman siya. He's already rotating and... Leshrock is all over them right now. Now, ngayon, babalik ka sa mid. 
I think he can kill Ember Spirit here. Hindi pa siya level 5. Yeah. Level 5 Ember Spirit. Wala pang remnant yan. Oh, yeah, so, yeah, yeah. Nila rin spawn dito. There's a swarm. Is this an overextension? So, ice pack? Good ice pack. Let's see. Okay. Again, they capitalize this one. But still, not enough. No <laughs> level 9. It's oh, a level no. 5 Ember Spirit. Ngayon lang siya nag-sobring oh, no. map. And a level 4 Weaver. 5 mm. plus 4 equals 9. <laughs> Seven. Hindi ko alam eh kaya yung yung umuwi ng mat sa college. <laughs> anyway, sa ito nang ani kita natin, which is um, tamang ginada hits lang to get as much gold as possible. Pero at the same time, kasi bounty hunter off lane na level five. Oh, like, oh nakasulat yung sabi. Mm, level five na bounty hunter off lane. So ban delete na nito kung tuto si ni. Eh. dapat around five minutes meron siyang track. Mm. Since he's playing in the offlane, um, mm. five to six uh, minutes game clock, uh, mm. you should be at least level six. Pero, di ba nga, sabi natin, look at Leshra, he's now at level nine. Pero let's uh let's not count out Celestial dito. Uh, yes. Kahit behind sila, this, by this much early in the game, let's all remember that they have Bounty Hunter and yes, has, exactly. has track. Uh, very good if they can pick off uh, a few heroes around the map using this. Uh, mm. ng at least economical advantage on the side of the dark. Uh, I agree. Pero yun, yeah, ko, yeah, yeah. Once he gets a level 6 lap, they need that bounty yeah, hunter to get level 6 so he can, uh, double damage. Oh, no. he can uh, smoke uh, coming in. in those team fights. A double damage, level 9 Leshrak. Let's see how they utilize this. Yeah, this is a dead at, round. It's probably so the PA. Here it is. Oh, wait a minute. Uh, a little bit of slow. Ice pad. Ice pad. Okay, then we just get him for Jakiro and Lansigo. Look at that. The Shrak. He just chased down the Shrak. And now he got a wicked 6 3. Just mm -hmm. to save his um, position on uh, PA. Mm -hmm. And yeah, this might be a tower then. Point that thing is a wild dog side. Because again, double damage plus uh, plus yung uh, Tomiti Bokti Bok and Diabolic. So that would be. Yeah. Malaki yung yeah. Uh, malaki yung magiging advantage nila dito if they push. Bounty hunter now at level 6. Oh, they got the less track. That's a big kill. Oh. Dalawang track kill yun, guys. Mm -hmm. Can they get another one? Mm -hmm. That's really big. Go uh, recap nyan. Let's see another track kill. There you oh. go. Yun ang ayon track again. The go gold, yung gold hindi masyado nag swing. Yeah. But knowing na dalawang track yung nakuha dito ni uh, nice. Ember Spirit, this is the possible start of him going back on track. If you press on the, uh, if you guys see the uh, fight recap, that's uh, 1,937. That's really big. Nine and, minutes uh, into the game. Negative 41. Yeah, nine, and, uh, and negative 41 for, uh, for uh, one dox. And then this one, again, another track for this, uh, this puppet. Delicado sila rito. One more, oh, no. there you go. Ayan na. Kumakit na. Now, they have a 1k gold advantage. Huh? 1k na lang. As long as mag-level 6 na talaga yung Bounty Hunter. Not necessarily to... Uh, not necessarily that he needs to secure the kill. Just to back up the team with the, yeah. with the track. Kasi track, ang laking bagay niyan eh. Ito na nga. Nakakabawi na sila. Mm -hmm. Ayun, like we said guys, uh, once makuha ng dire ang Bounty Hunter uh, track, Yung track kills na yun, they will add up. Especially kahit pa isa isang pickups, pickups yun, it will add up eventually. Somehow the, yeah. the bounty hunter missed his timing, pero he was able to uh, get back, de ba? Mm -hmm. uh, get back on his track. Tingnan nyo, sobrang aggressive na sila dito. Three man smoke play coming in on their side. Another mm -hmm. trap, that's the trap. Na bounty mm -hmm. dito yung anyang shuriken. Wala silang makakuha dito. Instead, oh uh, no, exorcist. Pero nice. Hello, this is a uh, dark willow. So mm. bounty hunter now on a killing spree. And guys, mm -hmm. the bounty hunter is going for an Aghanim scepter. Yeah, shuriken toss. This will... shuriken toss fiesta. <laughs> this will gonna. This is gonna cause problems for for wild dogs. Cause if you see their mm. heroes, uh, they're not that tanky enough. Uh, mm. eh, ang ang Aghanims ni ni bounty hunter as we can see. It applies, it, it applies Janada. It includes the damage. So imagine having a, having a crit 
and a huge burst coming in from Shuriken Toss. Tapos, mm. uh, when the enemy is tracked, everyone will, you know, the, the Janada will bounce off, the Shuriken Toss will bounce off each other. So, meaning lang nun, more gold for Bounty Hunter, more damage for their team, and we we don't know ung gano kalakas mag scale tong Bounty Hunter, but I like the, I like the, mm. how they're fighting back in this game. If and this do, is the Bounty if Hunter. You do the math, ah. <laughs> if you do the math, 200 lang yung damage niyan. Plus yung 180 oh, dun sa Jinada, and then yung steel pa. Pero ito, we have a team fight dito sa may baba. Ay, oh no! Natin, like and Storm, and Arino, 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 so they just get the uh, support. Ooh. That long team fight, ha? Isa lang na nakawal na support lang. Oy, so, naku, wala oh, nakuha lang sa nakawal oh, ka nga sa sariling bakuran. Nalaban ba sila? <laughs> naku, wala ko ko na. Terrorized? We'll get the Weaver. First crown. Ooh, oh, no. oh, we did it. 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 It's more lenient into team fight talaga, like literally team fight. For uh, for Celestial kasi, like especially on the bounty hunter, talagang uh, similar to shooting games, run and gun. Hindi pa rin masyado pala nagpaparandam yung race team dito. Wala pa, wala pa. Wala pa yung skill niya. Farming, farming. Terrorize and dead them. Okay, he takes down this Ember Spirit. Oh no, kulang. Cool they didn't kill him. Let's wrap. He got um, Jakiro. I think that's on mm. the uh, middle lane. Big thing pa rin talaga eh. Any, any pick-offs na pwede mong ibigay, just do the pick-off city. But again, kung pick-up pag-uusapan, Bounty Hunter is still a big threat eh. Kaya tingnan mo ngayon, it's either walang mag-isa or dala-dalawa sila. Speaking oh, of which... Oh hey, hey. no flood. Ito kay PA, there's the Spear of Cars. Yeah, right. Shoryo or TA will fall. Oh, no. Because of your two tower on their side. You can wait a little bit. Sneak is a puno. Eh, smoke then. Eh, but instead, they need to TP out and the Romish on the resource of us. Because actually, the diabolic edit. Yeah, diabolic will be up in four seconds, but macro fire on him. Pang uh, wave clear lang, which is uh, understandable just in case. Oh, yan lang ang pang wave clear. Okay. Mm. So, PA slowly closing into the Battle Fury. Just needs one more item, then we can see how how this game will go. But uh, right now, we can see Wild Dogs playing really fast and playing really hard right now. Two more bounty. Um, <laughs> Ooh. Oh! Are they gonna chase? chase the Let's see. Mm -hmm. got caught. I'm not sure if you're going to rebuke, but you're going to strike out. 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 One, and guys, the Aghanim Scepter is done for the Bounty Hunter. Oh, mm -hmm. no. Now, you know, Aghanim Scepter. 200 gold away. Mm -hmm. And yeah, I mean, uh, speaking of which, nga dito, uh, as we can see, the current, um, again, yung uh, nasa network. Ko. There's the network. Rate King currently at first. So anytime soon, na karamdam tayo na power spike or the sea of the rain. Actually, nararamdaman na natin on the solo pickups, eh. But on the super team oriented fights, magita natin how he will affect the team fight, especially if BKB is already up. Pero bago desa mo nyan. Hmm. Nah. 
Raid King naman nakapuse ka niya dito kung tama ako ng tingin was um, Blink Dagger for... Um, Yun ang yung guess. Oh. Now they have a damage. Oh. This, this is gonna be a fast, rush. really easy and yeah. fast rush. Nothing nothing Celestials can really do about this. And another yeah, solo kill. But, oh, oh, solo kill for uh, the Weaver. I believe it's another track kill. I think Celestials understands that they can't really fight uh, Wild Dogs in a head-on team fight. That's why they took they took the the trade. And another kill. Oh no! Okay. So. So most likely maging pag-asa din natin is more na um, the Ember Spirit. Pero once again, talagang uh, if nauna ka talaga ni Lash Rock, eh, that would be the problem eh. You know, may Elspurs up, Yus would be up anytime soon. This is this is most likely a magic type Ember Spirit na alam niyo na or Remnants all the way. Pero kasi ang struggle lang kasi with Remnants, lalo na na if you're against a Raid King, marami kang mawawaste talaga. On your own. Yeah, I'm going to say that you have five you know, fast remnants, right? But you can do that. Again, pick up. If you're behind, um, basic Dota, right? If you're behind, don't you have a team fight. Get pick ups, right? Mm. And they will get that once they get that Dark Willow and they will get that Death Rapid. But this is what they're doing in team fight here. These are Wild Dogs with Ice Fight and then there's the Macro Fire. Oh, huge damage oh. coming in. The HP is low. They'll have the ages though. Look at that bounty hunter. Read of your bounty hunter. Got good ice pack. Once instead he went down and no bounty for him. 43 seconds and counting. Ember spirit. Oh no. Ember spirit. Good ice pack was able to ram the out into safety. And there's a good hit. Wala na Oh no. That was a really good hold. Good hold. Yeah, I think there's still a DPS coming in from Jakiro to Tier 3 Tower. I think mga 10 HP na lang ata yun, I'm not quite sure. And yun guys, nakita natin yung power ng Aghanim Scepter ni Bounty Hunter. Kita mo naman eh, like Jinada, Shuriken Toss, talagang makawalan ka ng pera nang wala sa oras eh. Especially if you're track and the bigger cast range. But just in case, kita natin. Either lens is already up for a possible octarine core. So, sure again, to city. Ang mga kita natin. Yun buti na lang ka mo. They popped up the they popped the ages of the Lesra, de ba? And somehow, yung HP ng Lesra went went at least less than one fourth, de ba? Kaniya. So sayang. Almost there. Oh no! Wait, what happened? Oh, I think it's a hope book. They called Mars. Another track kill. Another track kill. Another track kill. If you're behind, pick ups. And you pick ups nila. Ang laking tulong. Because of the track. Yung nakakabalibaw is like it's true. This is just a full team. Wait. Jakiro is trouble. There's there, and it's very hard to defend, but look at the HP of Death Mavet, somehow low, same as the Bounty Hunter, and that's the end of the kill. Poor Lesh Rap, Ember Spirit, trying to dance. But again, the utilization of the goal, because every kill or every track kill is 80 still there. So, malaking bagay kahit assist ka lang, there's still a track. But in this case kasi, pinapakita ngayon ng Wild Dogs na, ay, tatapusin namin to bago pa lumala. Wild Dogs, no. pushing in. They caught the Ember. Pushing Ember's dead? Tower and Ember's got caught up. He went for his buyback. And, mm -hmm. oh my god, Wild Dogs will now get a set of tracks dito sa mga top lane. Pero they wanna fight. No one is really dying on the radiant side. 
They're chasing down the members of Wild Dogs. Can they catch Give me us? One? There's the Sokuchi. Ahabot Ata. Let's run. Ash, okay. Uy! Ayan palagad. Ayan palagad. Malamok doon. Buy back from DP. And he got caught by the Snyder Fist and Searing Chains. A bit mm. tanky though. Let's see. Cage is yeah, now. Yeah. This is big for... This is big for Celestials. Oh, yeah. no. Oh, Art or Eden to Death Puppet. Kaya ba? Even yung rating ha, mababa na yung HP nito. Stun was there. Incarnation? With the Shuriken Toss and Round 2 for him. Nakapag-connect yung track. And they chase him down. There's an Indian hole. Umakot pa nga! Yung Shuriken Toss because of the Agri Center. But he's not here. Dito sa my 3 lines. Mortal Strike. Ang sakit! Nakumabot pa yung Rake Fire Blast. Pero wala na. I think they're still gonna fight it. Uy! This one looks good! Raging, Papatay lang nga yung DPS oh. Team fight For Team wipe Ember Spirit and Team wipe Ang inabot nila rito mm. And not to mention and guys actually... Nine trackets <laughs> That included nine. five oh. Nine times Nag cast ng track And It forced oh. a buyback on the DP as well That's a dieback from the Death Prophet mm. Actually Tinga mo yung gold, uh, gold change ah. Five Kahit time Kahit wipe out sila 3k gold lift. Or uh, 5k against a one. Oh, one save in, no? Mm. Because of the track end right now, nasa kanila din yung mali maliit na kami. Meron silang maliit na kanilamangan dito, less than 1k. Mm. Ang lamang na lang dito is ng, ano, ng, uh, ng wild dogs is they have or, uh, they've already pushed down the, oh, the tier 3 towers at yung top lane, di ba? Mm. Pero kahit naman naman, eh, every spirit coming into play ngayon eh. Mailstorm currently up into play. Siempre, um, yung yules hindi nina, uh, hindi nina tinuloy for a BKB, which is a very good idea if you want to negate as much damage as possible from the Leshra. But again, hindi yung Leshra magiging problema mo if merong ang uh, matinding magical uh, control. You have the rating, kita mo naman, as much damage as 700 in one hit currently. So ma may magi scale up pa yan. Okay. What a game. Guys, 23 minutes pa lang. We already have 40 plus kills across the board. Uh, this is one of the best games we probably streamed so far. And now, Bounty Hunter has BKB. Ember almost has BKB. It's, it's gonna, this team fight is gonna decide who takes, okay. takes control the next 10 minutes of the game. The arena missed. The arena missed. The The Eto na, bouncing na nga rito, bouncing baby boy yung uh, shuriken dito ah But mm. there's a strand, may DPS pair from the Rainfire Blast And then the Spear of Mars, tatakbo ba siya? Thank Lalaban you, Mishpa Oh my god, and the Rainfire Nadyan pa yung ano, nadyan pa yung low Nice, get down That's a dieback from the Bounty Hunter Yeah Hmm, sakto yung timing ng bedlam niya dun they're going for more. Oh, 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 <laughs> yung naka ano, yung naka DR yung PA. <laughs> um, I mean, mas nakatakot yung DR na PA kaysa sa I DR na Razor. Yeah. I, I think walang, ano, um, pwedeng mangyari yun. Because mm -hmm. walang damage yung PA right now eh, diba? And mm -hmm. hindi siya nakakatakot. Mm -hmm. Wala siyang BKB eh. Ah, wala. At, meron na, meron na. For what? Skull, skull Basher yata ito? Not sure. Ah, mm -hmm. yeah. He's going for uh, Skull Basher. Basta yung game, nakikit malaki yung evasion ng... Uy, wait lang, bigla silang tumulot sa loob. Karina, ang mga... Ay, Jackie, no? Madali yung Jackie, no? 
I feel like I mentioned guys, whoever takes that team fight will take control of probably the next 10 minutes of the game or possibly a ga this game already. Oh, wow. yeah. And the damage output of the rate game is so high just with that uh, desolator armlet. And now they, they have an Aghanim Scepter as well. So, I mean, the delay pa yung ano, maday delay pa yung death ng mga kakampe pag nagkataon, di ba? Hmm. I mean, uh, syempre, double uh, damage for the rate king. Nakabattle pala siya. Ngayon ko rin napansin. No, I think the Leshrock dropped the bottle. I think mm. I'm not sure if they would go Roche this time. Do they want to use the DD for a fight? Do they want to use the DD for the Roche? Let's see. I mean, malaking, mal malaking bagay ito if yung Mindbreaker maputa sa kamay ng uh, Raid King. King. Mm -hmm. Talagang hindi uh, mo na kailangan ng Death Prophet to secure a kill over the Ember Spirit. Kasi silence na yun eh. Saglit lang to. Even without double damage, I guess kaya nila patay yun. Eh, diba? Oo. Oh. Well, in that case, you can see the hovering of Raid King, which is MKB. Understandable if you have a PA in the fight. But because you don't need MKB, if they sustain the damage of Leshrak, especially on the magic side. Yeah, that's right. 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 Makakita natin no, kahit pa paano damage mula sa PA, hindi tulad nung uh, game kanina talagang sobrang late ng Fury, tapos tinapos They smoked in. They wanna, oh, they wanna catch smoked them off guard. They smoked in. They may sentry. May sentry. <laughs> okay, hindi naman sila kikita niyan eh. Unless hmm. na merong ano, unless merong uh, wards dun kanina nakita na nag pop yung smoke. Pero I think they have the slightest idea that you know, naka-smoke play sila, pero hindi nila i-expect dito. There's a dust. Uh, uh, diba? uh, okay. Nanap nila yung ano eh. Nanap nila yung bounty hunter, so na-reveal na sila. Mm -hmm. I mean, right now with the bounty, bounty hunter, talagang force speaking first muna siya bago either lens, which is really understandable kasi siya na yung target eh. Siya na yung main target. Kasi Sipang, hindi ko problemahin yung damage ng uh, Ember Spirit. Hindi ko problemahin yung damage ng PA. Problemahin mo yung bounty hunter na sobrang oh, makakait. Okay. Oh, the bounty hunter. Yeah. And patay yung bounty hunter. No buyback for him. This is looking really bad for Celestials right now. Oh, no. oh PA got caught. Mm -hmm. No buyback. I think it's only a matter of time, guys. Break the base. Ina ng share flash rock na center. Nagamit tarin yun dito yung kanyang time lapse. Kaya di siya na taakot may eternal shroud siya. At that pinatay lang yun dito yung rivers sa may fountain. That flash rock as long as meron siyang mga buybacks coming in. And now Wild Dogs closing in into the victory. Pero still Ember Spirit 20 seconds on the clock and they just decided to back off. Kasi malaking bagi parin pag nandyan yung Ember Spirit. I think they're respecting the fact that the bounty hunter, the PA is up, and they're all low. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Hindi sila, no, no, hindi sila yung, eh, lamang na lamang na tayo dito. Lahuin na natin. Hindi, eh. Once uh, na makita nila yung bounty hunter is, uh, buhay na. Out muna tayo. Out muna tayo. Mm -hmm. They had a little bit of vision on the bounty hunter earlier, that's why they jumped him, and that resulted in this huge advantage that they have right now. Mm -hmm. I think it's the, uh, ano, eh, sa may... Top lane, yung nagpop sila nung ano, nagpop sila nung uh, dust, and then nung nagtrack, nagreveal, yeah. pinasok agad nila eh. Mm -hmm. Nung nakita na kasi agad eh, kasi again, yung track hindi siya masyadong, I mean, sobrang laking range. Kasi kailangan, kailangan na pa ng Aether Lens, pero again, yung track at nakita agad yung positioning because of the creep. Oh, and oh, 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 the the all in na. The positioning of the DP. They're going for Pero na reveal yung position. And pwede silang gumawa ng bagong game fight dito. Let's rock it here. Tignan natin. Five back will be committed by the Death Prophet. Oh no. Oh, nakatabi pa. Nabi sa Let's rock. And yung Ember Spirit. Kung move ka dyan, buddy. He needs to remnant out. No more remnant for the Ember? There's your scepter. Tignan natin. Nakapag-force up out. Pero yun lang. Nakakalpo ka siya rito. Nung Raid King. 
He's the Ember Spirit trying to dodge the Night oh, away from yeah. Kaya. No buyback for him as well. Pa pinasok pa ulit eh. Tinry talaga ng Ember Spirit na kahit pa paano makapag-secure ng isang pick-off eh. Kaya nandun lang siya sa side and then... Probably, naku, Weaver. Goodbye, yeah. Weaver. Even yung Terra Race, binibigay lang dun sa Weaver. Mm. And as much as I hate to say it, guys, I think this secures the game for for yeah. Wild Dogs. Pero yun nga, syempre. It's still on how they hold it, pero at this moment, kasi yun nung plato. Oh, you bound the hunter. Because oh, the free dog blood. GG is called. GG is called. Will be called then, uh, uh, we'll proceed to the semi finals if I'm uh, not mistaken. Yeah, semi finals, best of three. Semi finals, mm. it's actually a close game around mid. It's a big pop off na lang si Raid King and Lesh. I agree. Mm. Uh, very close uh, team fight, or oh, a very close fight on the, in terms of the uh, in the mid game. And uh, somehow, yun nga, it still went on the... Kulang eh, kulang yung... Kulang yung hindi kaya ng Bounty Hunter lang. Mm -hmm. And uh, yun nga talagang... Uh, actually, I'm really looking forward sa mga track... Uh, yung mga track kills. Pero again, it's not enough. Lalo lalo na kasi pag nakakita ng opportunity to si Raid King to possibly flank or deal a lot of damage in the back. Eh. Kaya nga frontline eh, tinataga niya eh. Grabe, grabe, grabe talaga yung game na yun. I was really looking forward to uh, a back and forth game. It was a back and forth game, but mm -hmm. Wild Dogs Eventually. proving to be too much for the enemy. Uh, Leshrac mm -hmm. having a really, really excellent game, shutting down the Ember, really mm -hmm. shutting down kills, the lane. Right? Yeah, three solo three kills. Three solo kills in the early game. Oh, yung ano, yung Leshrac. Ay, and three lang ba? Alam ko four eh. Around three or four, and uh, mm -hmm. ayun, sobrang nasecure ng lane na yun yung laro para sa buong Radiant side because that mm. allowed Leshrac to move around the map really early on. He had a huge mm. level advantage. I think he mm. was level 8 around 5 minutes in the game. He was really yeah, far. He was really far ahead. He managed mm. to secure a haste rune, went to top, and that kill mm. mid, those kills mid, and uh, a tower mid allows Leshrac mm. to really uh, move around the dire jungle. And that's why mm. the PA got shot down. Resulting in that uh, atrocious mid lane. Actually, wow. yeah, I, I really agree on that one. But yeah, I mean that's the first game of our uh, of our semifinal series, and of um, course, alam ko meron alam ko meron na nung nanalo sa ating giveaway. Tama ba? Uh, Co-founder Air. Uh, we will announce the winners for the giveaway after the next game. After the next. Game. After the next game. Okay. Okay. So that would be uh, be good. So, uh, na ba tayo into our next game? Uh, I think we can wait for the next game. And guys, uh, don't forget to tune into the stream, subscribe, share your mga kaibigan nyo. Yeah. Uh, there's a running giveaway right now for fifty dollars on whoever mm -hmm. tunes into the stream, uh, to the stream, mm -hmm. and mag subscribe. So, guys, uh, mm -hmm. if you if you want excellent games, if you want really good games, if you want uh, giveaways and all of that, if you want to win fifty dollars, mm -hmm. don't forget to subscribe and advertising yeah. stream so okay we're gonna take a short break guys and tune in
sana lang talaga natitira ngayon. Miracle play, can this happen? Look at the dog, he is on a fire club. Four kills!
nakatitira ngayon. Miracle play, can this happen? Look at the dog, he is on a fire flow. Four kills!
Sana lang talaga natitira ngayon. Miracle play. Can this happen? Look at the dog. He is on a fire flow. Or kill. Can this happen? Look at the dog. He is on a fire flow. Or kill. And of course, we are now back to the Prominence um, Crown Cup Season 2 for Dota 2. And yeah, we are casters. My name is Kaper. With me is Tito Pilaj. And of course, still our very special guest, the co-founder of Prominence Air. Hello, hello, guys. Um, So now we will, we're will we going to draw the giveaway. So yung mga nandyan, kanina, nag-subscribe, you guys are all eligible for, for this giveaway. So... We're gonna choose two winners of ten dollars each. So, kung sino pa yung mga nandito, uh, wait, wait tayo ng konte, then we can draw na ano, the the giveaway na. And I think mm. I think everyone is uh, excited for this last match, especially it's been a long day. Um, but so far, I'm really impressed on on what we see, what we saw so far all throughout the tournament. We have some stomps, but there are some back and forth games as well. Mm -hmm. Yeah, um, looking at the uh, matchup as well, this uh, uh, Golden Kangaroos, right, and uh, against uh, Flux. So Golden Kangaroos, I think that's our um, first series, if uh, mm -hmm. I'm uh, not mistaken. And <clears throat> they played uh, really well with, uh, at their uh, uh, at their at our uh, open, uh, opener. So let's see this time, since malaki or uh, malakas din tong makakalaban nila, de ba? Mm -hmm. So. Mga uh, feeling ko mga ano le, mga 45 minutes minimum na naman to. Tingin ko lang. Or or pwede nila one side pero it really depends, 'di ba? Mm -hmm. yeah. So uh sa inyo, sa tingin niyo, uh, base sa nakita, nakita natin Golden Kangaroos, nakita natin yung Flock, ay nakita natin yung 
Yung flux. Ano sa flux. tingin yung ano, magiging ano natin dito? Sino sa tingin nyo yung papasok sa ating uh, top 3? Feeling ko flux sa akin. Flux yung para sa akin. Kasi yung both yung games sila one-sided. Pero still kasi yung flux talagang uh, nire-reconsider nila yung decisions sila eh. Um, yeah, ako siguro flux din pero I can't uh, again, um, hindi naman kasi ako lagi si Bitaw eh, di ba na ganito um, mm-hmm. it all depends pa rin dun sa on how will they play especially dun sa nagiging rotation kasi nung, nung hero, di ba like um, sila mag, si pareho ko na, pare, pareho silang magamit ng weaver and uh, which is kanina pa natin nakikita dito and mm-hmm. it's a lot of Mars pick, di ba? So yun ay makakakunan, di ba? Um, hindi bigay ba nila kasi alam ba nila kung paano nila kapag-trend? Or, di, ito yung strong na natin, ito yung strong lineup natin kapag meron pa natin dito. So, mm-hmm. siguro dun po, ako, dun po pagbabasihan and makikita natin yung hindi. Actually. Pero kasi, again, it really boils down to the execution-wise. Kasi, Sabihin natin Banjo Weaver, Banjo ibang mga ginamit nila. Pero it still have a lot of a lot left in the tank. Not really because exhausted na or what. Pero marami pa rin eh. Kumbaga, Dota player kasi, daming nasa isip eh. Uh, and still know, Dota is very, you know, very um, complex. Siguro, let's say, or kung I'm not sure kung tama. Or diba, parang sobrang mind games kasi. It's not to be kasi basta malas na hero. Liquid lang dito, mm-hmm. diba? You, anything mm-hmm. can happen in a game of uh, Dota. Sabi nga ni, ano, ni uh, No Tail, di ba? Sa mga interviews niya noon, kung anong paano niya i-describe ang, ang Dota. Which is, mm-hmm. I definitely agree. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Paano mo ba di-describe to her? Um, kasi mahirap, ano yun eh, mahirap sabihin din talaga kung sinong mananalo, sinong matatalo. Like, uh, let's give an example. Like, let's say, TI8 OG. Yung run nila ng TI8. Like, mm-hmm. uh, they came into that tournament without really expecting anything. They were from the open qualifiers. They didn't even have a complete roster to begin with. So, parang last minute, Topson was there. Then Ana. Then, you know, they just rebuilt their team. You know, kasi nawala yung captain nila, which is si Fly. Which is for the longest time, nakita natin. From TI6, that season, that, that those mm-hmm. major, that major circuit, na prove talaga ng OG na parang, oh, sila tong Kasi itong parang powerhouse talaga eh. So, mm. makita natin with Boston Major, with uh, Frankfurt, lalo na yung Manila, Ma- Manila Major pati. Mm. So, kahit anong iteration ng OG is solid eh. Pero, nung TI8, coming into that tournament, no one really expects them to win. But, what happened? They actually dominated the whole thing. So, I think um, it's I everyone's ball game. Favorite data nun is not PSG eh. I think hindi pa eh. I think EG pa rin. Oh, EG. EG, EG. Ang uh, ina-expect na manalo nun eh. So, yun nga, diba? EG, Paul. And then, LGD is yung alakasan. Ako, um, best example ko naman dito is the TI-10. Which is yung team spirit. No one, uh, no one, ano eh, no one expected ayun, ayun din. yung run. Diba? Mm. Ng team spirit. Diba? Mm. Um, from a... Uh, walang org which is yung uh, yellow submarine eh yung mga mga nas ko noon eh dati na sabi ko may potential yung team and then na-acquire sila ng ganito and then eventually found the home of the spirit and then yun nga ang tingin sa kanila is the uh, underdog na underdog sila like uh, mm-hmm. from the start of the tournament or not just from the tournament from the PC season pero they managed to uh, to dethrone yung uh, OG diba? tinalo nila OG and then went uh, toe-to-toe with, uh, with Secret and then uh, LGT. LGT. Kaya, hindi mo alam eh. Hindi mo alam kung, ano, kung sino ang ano, kung sino ang uh, mananahal sa Dota. It's, kasi pwedeng katulad ng game natin earlier, diba? Na, mm-hmm. Lamang yung kalaban, <clears throat> eventually yung Bounty Hunter, diba? With the help mm-hmm. of Bounty Hunter, once he hit that level 6, eh, nakabawi sila. Mm-hmm. Yung kanina rin, yung I think, um, I forgot the team, I think that's uh, Armor PH and uh, uh, Apes Esports, mm. diba? Um, patalo na, and then they went for the Divine Rate game, nakabawi sila kahit pa paano, pero somehow they fell short. So, hindi mo talaga alam kung ano eh, kahit sabihin mo, 
tulad nun, mega creeps na yun, nakabili ng divine, may kampang mm-hmm. potential na, pero napigilan ulit. Kaya, mm-hmm. kaya sobrang ano na yun, ng Dota eh, kaya nga diba sabi ko, hindi mo alam talaga kung anong mangyayari. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Parang ano lang yun eh, parang sure win ka na sa Axie, eh. tapos may bulwark pala. Ay, oo, oh, nadali. <laughs> Yung may critical sa akin na dalawang critical, biglang bulwark eh. Bumaligtad sa'yo. Napaka-spite ka. So, ayan yung ano natin, ha? tingin natin sa Dota. Kaya, mm-hmm. if you're into the game, guys, if you're like, you know, yung sa mga viewers natin na watching and then wants to learn how to uh, play the game, diba, dun sa mga baguhan or dun sa mga seasoned players pero matagal na rin na TV, diba? mm-hmm. talagang nagbabago. Nagbabago at nagbabago talaga yung yung ano eh, yung tempo ng game at saka niya on how the meta works. Okay. Which is yun yung mm. lagi natin pinapaliwanag every time mm. na. Pagkakaroon. So, uh, basing in all of that, I think we're gonna have a really good match coming right up. But now, I yep. think uh, we can draw the the winners actually of the of the giveaway. So, I'm gonna mm-hmm. draw it right now. There we go. So, Nanalo si Village na nato. Rio? Na Sino si Rio? Um, Sino may mga winners na i-announce ng bot Rio? Uh, please uh, leave your Discord ID. Uh, someone from the team will message you. Um, mm-hmm. So kung ano man hingi na details, uh, pakibigay na lang. Then ang next mm-hmm. winner natin is si Janis Katubig. Mm-hmm. So yan mga winners, uh, pakimessage na lang. If not Oh, yeah, mag-iwan na lang yung message dito. If not, then we were we are gonna force to, you know, forfeit the giveaway for tomorrow's winner. So, kung ngayon, mm-hmm. dalawa, magiging lima bukas. Yan. Congratulations. Yeah. And for, okay, uh, then, winner. I think we're uh, almost starting. Just yeah, waiting. starting. Just waiting. Yeah, just, just waiting think, for... Yeah, for the broadcaster as well. I think wala pa tayong broadcaster. I'm, I'm in the broadcast now. Mm-hmm. Ah, ito, yeah. I have. Hindi pala nakalabas na. Ako pala yun. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone's ready. There we go. Good luck to so, both teams, guys. Yeah. Last match of the day. Let's go. Give us a good one. There we go. So, last match for the day. We have the Golden Kangaroos once again. And uh, ape, um, flux. So, I'm going to take a ape. But flux. Nako. So, this Nako. would be a big one. I'm not going to connect. 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 Are we going to see the same heroes, the same bands? Like what uh, this whole tournament has been <laughs> seeing? Um, I think I like ito yung kanina, no? Golden Kangaroos and um, yung Apes, yeah. yung Nakai yeah, yeah, yeah. and Razor. Ayo, ano? Ayo Legion Commander. Uh, Ayo and Legion Commander Five plus Razor na isa pang core, diba? So, uh, immediately, binan nila, I think, oh, diba? Ayo yeah, Razor. Razor. <laughs> Alam, ano nila eh? Nanood ng game number one eh. Nanood, nanood. Yeah. Nag-review yan, yeah. nag kung gaya Ano, like pwede silang mag-ban dito ng Mars eh. Kung tutusan, kung hindi nila pipik. Kasi, yeah. diba, basic role on Dota, if uh, on Captain's mode, Captain's mode, if you're not going to use the hero, might as well ban. Yeah. I mean, it's it's still a uh, matter of mind games pa rin pagdating sa Dota. Not really because of the movement inside the game, but picking-wise pa lang eh. Mind games na eh. Speaking of which, Spirit Breaker, I don't know if they get a Spirit Breaker. Hopefully, tomorrow, Death but Prophet. still, Death Prophet, it's in the game by Flux. I think very high value pick on Death Prophet Tito, and I think if Mars doesn't get banned, I think Mars is gonna pick, get picked again. I think very high, mm-hmm. high value pick this meta, this patch specifically. Mm-hmm. So that topic kasi for me with the boss fight and yung sa siphon it's a really big thing in terms of chunking up the damage and with the trades and early queen of pain pick but it's still pretty good to be honest um locking in a mid potential or sabi nating uh, off lane depende hindi kasi support shout uh, out din sa ating magaling na viewers si vendors 10 seconds remaining yo oh 
Anong ano? Um, ano yung tingin mo pwedeng i in case for uh, death profit? Kasi nakita natin multiple ways. Weaver, wala na sa action. Pero so, Hoodwink! Hoodwink. Uy! So, might be a post for, ho- a post for Hoodwink or mid-Hoodwink. Alin sa dalawa? I honestly think, I honestly think itong Hoodwink ito is magiging 4. Considering, seeing the meta right now, Queen of Pain mm-hmm. mid has been pretty solid all throughout the meta. Mm. Been a really strong hero because of the shard as well, and how you itemize mm. Queen of Pain uh, specifically. Mm. Yeah, and your Queen of Pain pick din kasi is uh, right now. Uh, um, flex pa rin naman siya, de ba? Flex si hero. Uh, um, de- siguro depende sa ilalabas nito ng uh, box. Pero yeah, mm. I'm seeing Queen of Pain ano eh, like um, I don't know, maybe sixty percent na magbimit siya. Oh, so, uh, hey, gulay. It's a grim stroke, okay? So probably to deny as much uh, as much para sa inyo ah anti hood wing si ano si Grimso but hindi ko alam para sa inyo ah pero para sa akin kasi nahirapan ako mag hood wing pag may Grim stroke like in any game Well for Grim stroke kasi you can uh, ano eh um um tulad nung sinabi natin kanina na uh, diba it's not just about pure Dying ano eh pure truth or pure ano eh powerful mm-hmm. spells eh yung mobility mm-hmm. kasi which is a very a very important uh, factor if you're playing Dota, diba? Especially. And uh, with those, with that Queen of Pain and Hoodwink the Mobile or Agile, diba? Grimstrom, mm. yan ang isa sa magandang sabot siya. And ayun nga, uh, napag-usapan na rin natin yung mobility. Uh, with mobility, you can position yourself better. Gaya na nakita natin kanina, not much mobility, pero excellent positioning from the Death Prophet mm-hmm. from the previous game. Yeah. Anticipating mm-hmm. that smoke gang from the enemy team, and that's why they secured mm-hmm. the fight. Nayon, and it eventually led them to win it, to win the entire thing. Mm-hmm. You know, the pina cherry on the Sunday, eh, no? Nung kanine, mm-hmm. yung uh, mm-hmm. play na yun, eh. Kung baga kaya silang matalo nung kanine, eh. but uh, mm-hmm. uh, the death prophet with the uh, inya, I agree. That's a uh, napakadandang position and na, na anticipate na tega lang na kasmoke. To. Eh, ni time soon lalabas tong mga torre na yun. Ganda ng first one Mm. Lalo na kasi pag may vision eh. Uh, for example, like a smoke gang tapos queen of pain pa yun nandun. Magtatapang talaga yung queen of pain eh. Blink in and try to uh, deal damage as possible sa target nila. And then the rest is just follow up or may mga pupulis on the other side. But again kasi hoodwink para sa akin is actually pretty solid with queen of pain. Lalo na lalo na kasi if you're going to catch someone off guard, this is a pretty good combination. Mahirap to kapag sinamaan nila ng pa. Kasi Actually, kung, uh, kung, kung may kung marunong sila mag-pack five, mahirap yan. Pero um, mm. what I'm seeing right now on Golden Kangaroos is they're trying to remove heroes with single target uh, targeted spells, di ba? Do, mm. Double whammy yan, double two. Uh, ba? Mm. Ang sakit yan. PA, mm-hmm. alam naman natin yung power ng PA with the um, to the craft, pero yung st- uh, stippling dagger kasi, di ba? That mm-hmm. can talk nung to the craft. So if you're remaining. under the effect of uh, Soulbind, Eh, medyo annoying pa rin, di ba? Ihirap ka na nga sa mobility mo dahil uh, nagtatago po kayo ng kakampi mo. Tapos slowed ka pa, dalawa pa kayong main slow. So, oh. very good um, bands dito ng uh, ano, ng Golden Carrots. Tingnan ko yung, tingnan natin yung third uh, ban nila rito. Kung kukuha pa sila mm-hmm. ng, or magbaban sila rito ng hero Pero, na targeted. Pero remember, uh, um, open Tidehunter. Hindi siya pinariority pick or priority ban this Ayan. time. So, baka ba ibang plano dito? Oo, oh, di ba? Pwede siyang mga ba? Kung magpipick ng next assassin siguro ng Golden Tantacus, they can go for a Tide Hunter as their offlane for Flux. Mm-hmm. And of course, siguro nire-reconsider nila yung 4-pick nila ngayon kasi nandiyan si Grimstroke. Anytime mag-up yung, uh, uh, yung portrait, uh, yun na nga yung, ano, yun na yung magiging problema nila on the latter part. So, they need someone na talagang, uh, hindi naman tipong super continuous damage, Pero siguro similar kay Rate King na one shot, mga ganun. Sanki. Sanki, okay. So, wait, doon ako naguluan eh. Sun King uh, actually banned, pero Tidehunter is still open for the bags. So, I mean, siguro yung plan nila dito is Serpent Turf? I mean, yung meaning ko kasi na Serpent Turf is yung ano. Yung uh, pick of uh, capability, which is Queen of Pain, Hoodwink, okay na silang dalawa doon. Pero teka lang. I, I, think, I think for the 
Golden for Golden Kangaroos, they're actually trying to protect the cop with the with the Sad King ban as well as uh because ayun, meron tayong Grimstroke. Uh once ma, <laughs> ma soul bind, pwede mag double barrel strike. And as well as uh there's no commitment, low commitment uh of the initiation for Sad King compared to to Tide mm. to catch the Queen of Pain actually because for mm. for Tide to be able to actually lock down uh, Queen of Pain, he, he has to commit Ravage. And for for Sand King, it's just a blink borrow strike, and he he actually can still get out with the Sandstorm. Mm. I think okay nga yun Sand King ban. Because if you look on the Fluxus lineup, uh, wala silang uh, stun. Wala silang mm. stun dito. They have um, disabled. They have slow, diba? Pero mm. like literally um, na stun. Maybe a targeted stun or maybe an AU. Mm. Wala na lang sila dito. Katulad ng kiting kanina yah. Sila yung uh, game na yun. And may mm. kasi tumaro pag wala kang uh, pull, na ba? Mm. So banning stand king is uh, best plus yung um just like uh, you mentioned guys, de ba? Yung barrel strike. Matali kasi nakapag initiate once you have the mm. blink dagger and then blink dagger barrel strike alam mm. um, sandstorm. So, One. Ano, so, Ember. Okay. I get, I get why Ember. Because it's it's Queen of Pain, classic matchup in the mid lane. Again, negating as much magical damage as possible. Pero kasi um, yung poison kasi dito ni Queen of Pain, which is continuous, and Ember Spirit really excels on negating it as much as possible. Where the again yung may wag nyo apoy. But the thing here is, kita mo naman Queen of Pain and Trend Protector. So isa lang na isa lang magbato ng slow sa kanila there's a follow up oh yung alusot yung more anyways so again the yung vines dito ng trend protector and of course yung dagger ni kino pain can almost instantly secure a kill LC 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 opening dito the side actually LC will work pero monkey king okay monkey king boss one ah I mean boss two or either way, plus one, plus one. Okay. So um, kulang nyan dito is both off laners. So if this is an off lane battle, Mars uh, might be out of the picture. There we go. Night Stalker, wala na rin. Uh, Mars is available. Mm, sino pa ba? Bounty Hunter, ba agawin nila? I don't know. Actually, it depends on their comp. Pero kasi currently ngayon sa Flux, wala silang hard crowd control. So they really need the uh, Pang matindihan nilang crowd control in order for them to initiate well. Kasi Ember Spirit's chain is not enough. Hindi, hindi rin enough yung soul bind. Kailangan nila na talagang mapag lock in into place so that Morphling can really excel well. Five seconds remaining. Five seconds remaining. Still tight hunter in, in, is in the table though. <laughs> diba? mm -hmm. They can actually go for it here. Hmm. Yeah. I mean, Trend Protector, um, OG, and then Ravage. I mean, it's not a bad, uh, bad play. Tasa mao pa na Monkey King na combination with uh, Wukong's command. Kasi if that's the case, it... mm -hmm. so AOE oriented, AOE oriented, dan labas ng Golden Kangaroo in case. If Flux naman, again, more on AOE crowd control lang kakailangan nila ngayon. Hmm. Hindi naman siguro ito mag-morph uh, shaker. Malabo ata ang mag-morph shaker. Malabo, malabo. Mm. Actually, mahirap din. Mahirap mag-morph shaker. Kasi for morph shaker, dapat at least pwede siyang maglamang ng ano yun. Support na lang yung, yung earth shaker. Pero, kaya na possibility, di ba? Kung malakas ka mag-earth shaker and you're confident enough to play on the hard lane or the off lane. Mm. Wait, Five seconds remaining. Tide Hunter, I guess Tide Hunter is best, uh, one of the best picks. Uh, Elder Titan. Elder Titan, okay. Ooh, this is really ko. interesting. Mm, Elder, Elder Titan. Elder Titan. Offlane? Offlane, it might be offlane. Or Death Prophet offlane. I think this is a DP offlane. Or oh, DP, oh, DP offlane, yeah. DP. 10 mm. seconds okay. remaining. So, I mean, Earth Splitter, sobrang ganda into the late game. Five Alam naman natin yan. Percentage-based uh, damage. Pero kasi you really want to have the, ah, yes. uh, the luxury to have Ay, the Echo Star. Ang ganda nga Elder Titan niya yung kulang na-figure out. Um, Trend diba? Protector will provide you armor and then the, Negate the Elder Titan. The heroes of Golden Kangaroos are squishy. 
If you look at it, an int type, two AG types, so kahit mataas ang AG mo, kahit, uh, since uh, seven agility is equal to one armor, kahit gano'ng kataas yung AG mo, you'll be stripped mm-hmm. once na mapunta ka dun sa ano, natural, natural order. order. Yes. Yeah, diba? yeah. And then kahit mag-provide ng armor, etong si Trent Protector, mm. diba? Living armor. Actually, uh-huh. Malambot ka pa rin. So, ang ganda mm-hmm. nga nung Elder Titan dito, no? Mm-hmm. Actually, may yeah. isip yeah. possible din na offlaner na hindi masyadong pinipick sa meta would be ang ating may, yung kabayo natin. Hmm. Centaur. Centaur? Diba? It actually complements well if they want to run and uh, run and down. Pero kasi, again, high risk pa din eh. But let, let's see. Let's see what would be the last pick for Golden Kangaroos. Talaga ang pa-suspense pa. It's either... Yeah, may mga opinion na Hmm. Sino kaya to? Anytime soon. Jakiro. Jakiro off lane. Okay. Wait lang. Wait lang. Wait. Mm. Mm. I I really like this pick. I really like this pick. Jakiro off lane. Okay. Because uh, this is probably uh, Elder Titan post five. Mm-hmm. Yeah, post five. This is probably Elder Titan post five to, but I don't know. They they might switch it up. Uh, given there's mm-hmm. a Jakiro pick. Mm. But really interesting last pick from mm-hmm. uh, Golden Kangaroos. Um, you don't have to be perfect. I think it's an offlane. Uh, Elder Titan. Offlane Yeah. Uh, oh, it yeah. is an offlane. He, he played the Slardar. Slardar, yeah. Yeah, he played Slardar. So uh, this would Slardar. be emotional damage and you don't have to be perfect in offlane. The same combination. Okay, I like it. So this is a Death Prophet position 5. Right? Yeah, position five. I said earlier yeah. this Eva was I think he played na ano eh. The traffic din ata earlier. The traffic din. Uh na nasa nasa post five. Pero oh, guys, who are you leaning towards ba for for this match? Given Actually, uh, given there's a lot. Like... Uh, mahirap eh. Um ba- no, based on the lineup itself, I think I'll go for um stupid for fucks. Stupid. I like the Elder Titan pick. Mm-hmm. Oh, okay, sobrang ganda ng Elder Titan pick kanina. Na this na sabi ko tayo naman yung kung ano yung magagawa niya dun sa lineup, diba? So yeah, that's for me. Yeah. Okay, let's introduce our players, guys. Yeah, so introducing our players for our last match for today, we have Golden Kangaroo Silence and Calm with Trend Protector, Spleko Jakiro, December Hoodwink, Japanese name, and Queen of Pain, Joe Barrow, Monkey King. Alright, and on the uh, side of uh, Flux, we have uh, Captain Kid as the uh, Ember Spirit, Everest the Forest Death Prophet. Um, you don't have to be. What's this again? Um, you don't have perfect. to be perfect mm-hmm. with this Elder Titan. Emotional mm-hmm. damage for his win stroke and 17. And yung Morphling. Mm-hmm. And yeah, yun nga, yun yung surprising sa yung Morphling. Eh. Pero most likely hindi na siya mag ags build dito. Since, uh, again, Earthshaker is not in the picture. Pero kasi magiging uh, conflict lang kasi with the Morphling is. Again, kung mangyari yung uh, na behind agad. Pero in this time kasi range, uh, range hero, uh, waveform, hindi tulad kanina talagang mahihirapan sila on the laning phase. Pero kasi, um, as we can see, wait na nga, sino ba yung kasama niya? So this is a post 5 death prophet. So there's more poking that they can have. But at the same time, uh, actually, it really depends on the execution na talaga yun. I think honestly, uh, they can probably cheese this out, Flux, with Morphling Ags with Elder Titan. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Easy BKB. It's a. Uh, or free BKB. It's a free BKB. And considering all the lineups for all the heroes from from uh, the other side has magic damage mostly, it's mm-hmm. a good. It might be a good uh, Ags game for him, for Morphling. But. Yeah. Uh, we we wouldn't know which route he goes for. He might go for maybe the standard, the classic, morphling, e- yeah. the classic shotgun morphling, or maybe even mm-hmm. Manta Scotty early on. Uh, we'll uh, with the game, uh, Oplane, Oplane Elder Titan. 
makikita natin yan in a bit mm. sir Nako, ito na nga. So again, going into the game, this is very interesting. Sobrang dominating ng mga games sila earlier and nagkatapat sila ngayon sa ating last uh, game for today. And yeah, all the team... Uh, I remember, ano yun? Captain Kid uh, played Tinker. Tinker. So mm-hmm. tignan natin ngayon kung paano siya masasayaw. Diba? Uh, with the uh, uh, Ember Spirit. Kasi kanina... Tinker, we all know na ganun talaga yung gagawin team. Blink hmm. dito, spam ng sleeve dito, diba? may arm, blink, ganun lang eh. And then so on and so forth. Eh. Ito, tingnan natin to. Ito, medyo limited yung galaw niya. Diba? With three remnants and uh, with the set of skills. So, going forward. Ito sa skills natin. Ito yung Yeah, and ayun ang nakikita natin. Like, there's a possibility of... Again, double stun, pero Joe Baro. Wait, like switch up sila. Okay, this is a mid Monkey King. Okay, mid I mean. Mid MK. Tapos, uh, post one. Queen of Pain. So, actually, siguro ano, siguro nagkapalit sila ng plan after the Elder Titan has been picked. Ah, pwede rin ganun. Diba? So, mababa yung kill potential, ah. Hmm. Kaba so, Queen of Pain po nga ba? Hmm. Kasi so, I already na- I already anticipated na Ember Spirit vs Queen of Pain. It's all over again kahit sa pub games. Pero this is actually a good twist. And Elder Titan being punished dito sa baba with the Queen of Pain and Trent Protector. Again, that's an Elder Titan. Medyo tanky din yan. Pero once it hits a, a certain level. Level 4? Level 3? Yeah. <laughs> Elder Titan. But still, it's actually a anybody's ball game. But I think it's a laning phase. It's still more playing. It's still um, actually high risk in the early game. Pero again, with the proper support lang kasi dito. Pero kasi I'm seeing na talagang with the poking potential dito, especially with with uh, sino ba sino ba yung yung kasama niya um, with Jakiro and uh, Hoodwink. I mean. The wrong positioning can lead you somewhere. Hmm. Nero. Nala. Nila eh. Double breath to just um uh, to just deny as much um uh, creeps as possible. Um, kay Morphing. Mao force back siya, eh, kasi pag nakombuan siya dito, at least ng liquid fire tapos dual breath. Uh, of course, following up with the magical flying acorn shot, it will be a game over for Morpling early on to the game. Speaking of which, mm-hmm. As early as uh, ito, ayun. Kailangan mm-hmm. yung morphing na ako punish na. Because once it's level 8, that mm-hmm. would be uh, very, that morphing would be uh, very hard to kill. Diba? Mm-hmm. Uh, kasi maraas na yung, ano yun, maraas na kasi yung... Malita na siya. Oo, na status ka. So, kung ano kaya yung patayin, Hmm. Pero uh, really hmm. dominating, really dominating lane coming from the Monkey King, as as we expected, because uh, it's a counter pick. Hmm. Yung ganon, yung yung in-game adjustments na ginawa nila, that's about it. Sa pinoy, 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 Oh no. I, I think Queen of Pain might have Asmal, overextended. Asmal Titan! There you go. Mm. 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 I'm just curious kung ano magiging build dito ni Elder Titan kasi ako if I'm running Elder Titan off lane um, I immediately go to Echo Saber and then uh, Crimson Guard so it, it actually paano yung breakdown niya dito like I'm really interested kasi like before we know Elder Titan 
really have the auras uh, the auras build but i don't know for this kind of meta so you we actually might see we actually might see a massive madness elder titan from this game considering how good the lane is for him no oh, it's a massive mind uh, my laugh sorry massive oh it really is oh okay yeah but yeah it's it's really strong especially once you got a really strong lane coming on hmm. Et might fall here. Oh no! Who is I am? Low health. Delegado. This is a really uh, nice play, pero mo kamo morphing as a tagot. We form anytime soon. Uh, there we go. And again, guys, Monkey King uncontested this lane. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Having a really solid game so far. No, mm -hmm. not really contested whatsoever. And Ember, mm -hmm. I think. As having a hard time. Having a hard time, really trying to contest this lane. But I think if you're Ember Spirit, this is the right play. There is no yeah, way is you. Right. There is there is no way you want to contest the Monkey King at this stage of the game, because you're just mm -hmm. gonna get out harassed. And at mm -hmm. the same time, you really can't get anything in that lane. So this this is the right move. Oops. Oh no, Trent Protector will be taken down, and that's uh, that's a nice. So that's so one, one. plus fifty eight for mm -hmm. uh, the Elder Titan because of that uh, Astral Spirit, Astral Spirit mm -hmm. buff. And that's a lot for uh, as early as uh, 6 minutes. Radiant are 45. Mm -hmm. 120 bawat palo sa'yo. Mm -hmm. Pero, oh, Chobaro. Sanong yung Mass of spell, but ja, Joe, Chobaro, oh, two TPs being used. And tatakbo na ba dito ang Monkey King? There's the Siphon and Joe might regret this decision. Pero yun nga, right. Max Pats ng Jinjo Mastery. Pero hindi niya mahita mga ayos si Eva. Ace well stunned. Well and he would be taken down. Well played for, ano, uh, for the Grimstrow. Pero on the other side, yeah. naman, ayun, napatay niya na Elder Titan. Kumasim ata. Pero, hey, hindi niya nakita, hindi niya nakansel yung uh, no, salve ni uh, Eva Resty. It's the event for more things. Yeah. With the, you know, with the bush walk. Sayan. Actually, ito rin yung parang nangyari sa Ember Spirit kanina eh. Yung tipong early game medyo nakawawa. Pero bumawi rin eventually thanks to the Bounty Hunter. In this case, walang Bounty Hunter. So, ayun na talaga yung best way para makabawi sila. But yeah. Monkey King overextended. That's why they were able to secure the kill. Masyadong ano, kumbaga sa ating mga... Matatagal na nagtunod. Umasim. Umasim. Ito yung mga ako dun eh. Skim Aromatic. Oh, eh. uh, 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 okay, uh, okay, okay, eh. okay, eh. yung aggression niya. Eh. Nakita niya na yung TP, di ba siya nag eh. We have a pause. Uh, so again, it's just a uh, it's just a matter of parang ano, paunaan mag-scale between the carries. In this case, um, actually not really the carry Queen of Pain, but the carry Monkey King in this uh, in this case. Pero kasi paunahan na lang talaga eh. Kasi ultra late game, Morphling, alam nyo na yun eh. Alam nyo na yung story niyan. That, uh, that really aligns uh, also to the current lineup na uh, Elder Titan can deal percentage damage. So that's 50, uh, 40% or 50% of uh, max HP on the Earth Splitter, if timed correctly. Mm -hmm. Ang naalala, may naalala ako bigla, sorry. Uh, mm -hmm. For the Earth Splitter, uh, yes, ano yan, uh, 50. Ah, 50 nga. 50, 50, 50. Ah, around 50. Ang naalala ko dito sa lineup na ganito, <laughs> yung Monkey King position man, pero nagbimint, is si Fly Fly from uh, IG. IG, hmm. Uh, kasi diba, we all know si Emo is uh, Emo, kasi nagbimint eh, diba? Pero every time that they're using you know, uh, Monkey King, 
Man pa may ano eh, pag may nagpi-fix sila ng Monkey King, alam mo si Fly Fly ang gagamit. Pero you always have the question at the back of your head na mm. mabibit ba 'to? And yun yung madalas yang ginagawa. Pero yung mm. item or yung skill, uh, yung item composition niya is for a position one. Mm. He's just using the mid, uh, the position to gain levels. Diba? And uh, konting harassment ka. Tulad nung nakita natin kanina since he has an upper hand against the uh, Ember's Gift. Diba? Mm-hmm. So, ganun yung nakita. Sabi ko nakita ko sa <laughs> yung discap. Eh, yun, 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 naalala ko ng bigla. Though kanina medyo umasin si uh, Joe Burrow. Diba? Mm-hmm. Pero I think hindi naman ganun kasakit yung ano sa kanya since atal niya tumambay siya sa game. Uh, so, tsaka ano, wala naman, siyang, wala naman siyang bounty at the same time. Pero Hoodwick would be taken down. Dito sa open lalim pero yun nga, siyempre, bound to strike. That might would be an emotional damage. Uh, and this might be a double kill for him. There you go. Mm-hmm. Good, um, good response Mas- coming in from the, you know, from uh, the mm-hmm. Jakiro. Since ang ganda na nung play nila dito, the morphling has been uh, uh, hold back or held back, di ba? Mm-hmm. As early as 7 minutes, wala na silang kini one tower. Mm-hmm. Oh, oh, nice follow up by Hootwing. Pero yun nga lang, may remnant sa nakanda. Hindi na punik yung bushwhack acorn shot. Oo, oh, nakapag- nakapindot agad si Captain Kim dito. Ang dami nun. Nung ano, nung uh, kanya treta. Mm-hmm. Ito na lang yung iiwasan nila rito, si uh, Morphling. Uh, mm-hmm. Na mm-hmm. magiging na level. Mm-hmm. And syempre, Manta first ang uh, kanyang build which is uh, pretty common for uh, Morphling. But again, if yung skill niya talaga is mauna. I mean, understandable ngayon na naging behind because of the pushing capabilities of Jakiro's Liquid Fire, which is, ano ito lagi, kahit natin pa eh. Sobrang naging problema talaga yan. Ayan, kita mo niya, Wave Clear, DPS, and then yung uh, damage niya into the tower. Pero, off cam kill, Everesti would be taken down by December. I think, so long ago. I think, uh, so long ago. So long ago. Hmm, okay. Yata kaya ni so long ago. Pero, ito ha, pwede na silang gumpa. Oh, more flick. Oh. Okay, you know, hindi ito tama. You know, Monkey King, he wants mm-hmm. a glimpse stroke, pero nandito na yung masakit. Mm-hmm. Ayun na, pero ano ako, oh, yun yung wala. Hindi na rowing lang, pero hindi na gamit ng maayos. Sakto rin kasi tayo ng searing chains eh. Habang hindi na drawing niya, lababas yung searing chains. So, hindi talaga niya ma-follow up. Pero? Ano? Oh, you don't have to be careful. Napaka talaga ng attachy piece niya. Nahagi pa nga siya ng dulo. Oh. Oo. May puppet pa na nakadikit. Nako, alam mo din ang mangyayari dyan sa Takiro. Patay na dragon. So, okay din ha. Okay din talaga pinapakita ng pagkabi ng kukunan na to. 3k gold lead, yes. Over mm-hmm. the side of, uh, ano, golden kangaroos. Pero mm-hmm. in terms of kill, eh, pretty even sila rito ha. Dyer's bottom tower has fallen. And yeah, I mean, uh, now, yung mon- Monkey King actually getting the skill that he needs as usual, um, Echo Saber to proc, to proc the Jinju Master easier. Pero kasi, if you're going to have like a 1v1 session with uh, with Morpling ngayon, kayang-kaya niya. Pero later on, he needs he really needs to consider yung path oh, dito. Oh. And speaking of which, December taking down the Atachi Case Boy. Na, na paano siya ng matindi nito nila ano? Uh-huh. Nung uh, Hoodwink, I think uh, nakita ko yung nagano ata nag Tinamaan siya ng combo ng pushback pero wait lang dito sa baba. Oh my god. We managed to get the morphling and you'll be getting a double kill by taking down emotional damage or itong glimpse ko. And now Monkey King wants to focus on this Ember Spirit pero Masyado pa nula, may nakabang pala doon, Ender Titan. Kinasa na rin dito, ang sharpshooter. Oh, grabe yun! Nag-change ng decision. Ay, iba nila sa sniper rin ko. Oo, pero ito pa nga yung teamfight natin. There's an ice pot and look at that Ender Titan. Trying to provide a lot of damage. It's a very messy fight. It's a messy na teamfight. I do agree with you. Hindi ko alam kung saan ako titingin eh. Kung yung sakil sa Queen of Pain. Yung sudden na uh, sharp shooter o yung biglang naipit ng wala sa oras si Elder Titan. But still, kahit anong mangyari, 17-4 on our scoreboard and still the Kangaroos having the lead. Oh, sobrang sakit ng build ni Jakiro dito. He's going for it. He went for a triple null. Bukongs? Bukongs man? Let's see. Jakiro, he's no boy. 
Wala siyang remnant, wala siyang remnant. Captain King is gonna fall. He's down. Make the kill for the Queen of Pain. Joe Barrow tried to chase down itong si Death Puppet. Can they do it? Spirit Cyclone. Ito na lang yun ako na naman. Pero hindi tatama yung Sharp Shooter. And atay ito, yung Death Puppet. Yun na, nag-manual ko wala sa oras. Yung E.T. is gonna fall. Oh no. Grabe rin yung engagements na yun eh, actually. Talagang, expected ko na maubuhay na sana yung... Maubuhay na sana yung Death Prophet. Kasi pabalik na yung exorcism niya eh. But with that bushwhack, talagang putting her in her place, and of course, the Jinjo Master in a full stack again, dealing a lot of damage from the Monkey King. Ah, ako. I think kailala na talaga ba boost ng farm nila, guys? No, pati more late. Hmm. Nakano? Na nakasayens na yung Queen of Pain. So again, we expect more aggression from the Queen of Pain from now on. Kasi kita mo naman yun. Devastating damage from the Sonic Wave combination kanina. Kahit hindi masyadong, uh, kahit hindi masyadong uh, sabi natin level 11 pa lang, hindi pa siya 12. But still, the damage that it can deal together with that Scream of Pain, it's already a lot. And of course, it will follow up na lang yan by the rest of the team. Radiant are scanning. So, how's the item of uh, Morphling Lad? Ano na bang meron siya rin? Meron siyang yeah. Mass of Death. He's building into Ayasha. Yeah. Uh, so, plan yeah. delayed. I mean, that death kanina nung mid, hindi niya siguro nakita yung Queen of Pain. Mm-hmm. Team fight here? Uh, I mean, yeah, the shooter? Na, na but he got silenced. Tinaman, dito yung Rimsaw, but he's still alive. Good eyes mm. pa naman mo, but... Good, uh, good wave. Will fall. So, siya lang ang magiging casualty. Mm-hmm. So, and the possible... Uh, tier 1 push, maybe? Jokiro is really being... Is Jokiro. Is Oh, this Jokiro is really causing problems for them because this build is so painful. Three null talisman plus a witch blade. Witch blade, ah. You can see the damage of liquid fire. You can just get your life back. Then witch blade. We have a dual breath. So painful. 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 It's so sick, Ninja Kiyano! He's so sick, he's so sick. 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 I can really expect with the Jakiro that... Jakiro with a Witchblade, he's really good at the damage. But what's the best item that's going to be the next item? But... Most likely... Yeah, in. For on, like, Jakiro is under attack. I don't know, because... I just started with Jakiro right now. Oh no, it's not working. So low kill. Fight mid. Mid lane. This is the struggle fate. Then there you go. And there's a tight timer. And there's a lot of fuck up. It's not a 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 fuck up. And Jakiro. Again. Oh, oh. Micro, micro. It's not a fuck up. Grab it. There's fights going everywhere on the map. Yeah. Grab it. I don't know if I'm going to call it. But it's still 23-10, 11k gold advantage from the Kangaroos, and it's really paying off to them. Kamu mana ibu yang rendah? Kamu nak kata pun? Kamu pun tak pasal tu. 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 Kamu ng Death Prophet. Pero, at the same time, naramdaman mo rin yung damage that Jakiro can build. And now, tiga mo, mag-aagan yung Scepter. So, makakaramdam tayo ng matinding macro fight damage. Hmm. Iisip ko yung winning potential nila dito kasi what, what 
um, Golden Candles did is ano eh, ang ganda nung ginawa nila by harassing yung Morty as early as possible. Di ba nga, I think it was 7 minutes, nakuha na nila yung Tier 1 Top Tower. Tapos oh. nag-provide na sila ng pressure doon. And then mm. right now, yung jacket occupied pa nila. They have the control sa upper left, left jacket. Basta so, walang place to farm for the uh, Morty. Ang ilap, ang ilap mas pagos ng ng mm. ano yun, ang uh, economy pagtagay niya. Mm. And then, nakita mo yung item ngayon dito ng Elder Titan. I-describe niya yung idea for Mass of Madness eh. Kasi, yeah, lamang siya doon sa lane kanina. Pero, ano nangyari sa ibang lane? So, reconsidering that decision. Uh, reconsidering that decision, Scepter na lang. Para free BKB kung tatuusin. Pero mas mahal yung BKB. Maybe mas mahal siya sa BKB. And I think, hindi yun tayo makakita ng uh, contest dito. Yung Elder Titan, don't be, uh, they're coping up to the Radiant's bottom tower is under attack. Pero mm-hmm. mm-hmm. wala silang idea na may tao kanina, just went back and the Aegis of the Immortal would be in the hands of Queen of Pain. Na may Yules na. So mm-hmm. It's going to be hard for them to really ano eh, to really catch the Queen of Pain dahil may status resistance siya. Meron pa siyang Yules. So it's really hard to lock her down right now. Mhm. And imagine oh, yes. if he dropped in a yung wedding shirt. Kaya yung stance na pala, no? Nga pala, no? Status of his stance. Status of his stance. Imagine kung may agonim shirt pa yan, di ba? Mararamdaman mo yung talo ng queen of... So 22% stance of his stance. Pero wait lang, we have a team fight dito sa gitna. They caught more people. Uy, hindi nang break. Nag-miss si Sharpshooter. Kung tumama mm-hmm. yun, aray po talaga. Mm-hmm. Siya of course, Spirit Vessel. Alam naman natin, if you're against a more playing, yun na yung okay. go-to item mo, which is Spirit Vessel. Wala siyang remnant, pero hindi niya papasukin kasi they have uh, somehow the idea na may tao doon. Kasi, kita mo naman, there's a sentry up there. Alam nilang may, uh, alam nilang may observer ward doon, so they will not go into that fight. Oo, and magulo rin talaga dito sa mga triangle camp na yun, ha? Kasi, mm-hmm. um, Golden Candles uh, try to uh, occupy itong uh, or get the stats as well oh, sa so may uh, ancient. Mm-hmm. I mean, there's a lot of re- uh, reconsidering if you're oh. going Jakiro. into the Jakiro. Nag-miss yung kanyang ice pot, Mako pa rin. Nag-miss yung double bread, pero dyan, baro. Out. <laughs> Out. <laughs> mm-hmm. Kasi pag tinaloy niya pa yun, alam niya na mangyari. Yun na nga, ang may wagang spleen, but again, not enough. Thanks to the sustain, pero use. Oh, bandless. Nice combination, nag break, pero dies for growth. Grabe yung chaining of skills don. Hmm. Okay, Tatlo ulit yun na. And then grab rin yung hold na ginawa nila do. Mm-hmm. Ice pad, bounder strike. Wala, wala talaga ng pupuntahan yung morphling. Nako, oh, may remnant pa pa natin dyan. Nasa silence. Nako. Na silence yung ember, di na kalis. Kanina nang galing yung silence. Golden Kangaroo is proving to be one step ahead of them right now. Yeah. Queen of Pain? I mean, there's a lot of, again, reconsidering in this uh, type of uh, time right now. Kahit na makukuha nila yung Queen of Pain, biglang may monkey king na darating. Parang ano yung may, dapat maiisip nila eh. It's like not the higher risk yung problema, it's yung follow up. Okay. Oh, the damage from the Elder Titan, ha? And there you go, but the Mount of Kingdom, so that's a monster case. Ah, the Mount of Kingdom, 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 the Mount of Kasi they just go for the... They just... Parang ano eh, nandun eh, rocks eh. So, destroying the rocks is, uh, is actually a better option. Lalo lalo na kasi they went all low and yung mga ultimates has already been used up. And kita mo na may Elder Titan that can really turn the, turn the tides uh, around into the team fight. Kasi matama na ng Echo Stamp yan. May opportunity na agad si Ember Spirit to go inside to the fight. State of Fist and of course yung Searing Chains combination. Hmm. 
Pwede pa, pwede pa naman. Pag siguro mo, iwasan lang nila yung mga ganun klaseng, you know, no, mystic. Mm. No. Yung Kasi... sagit na kanina, kung may free focus on your tech. Because I think Blocks mm -hmm. cannot really team fight or go head on right now. Magaya nito. Magaya nito. Magaya nito. And nobody actually remember, huh? Ayun na nga, syempre spell immunity from the astral spirit buff. Tam ano lang, tamang mapangulit lang. But again, no buyback for the ember spirit. And currently, Grimstroke yung meron, but they would not go for it unless hantayin nila yung next potion, which is 3 minutes. Ayan, ito na yung, yun ako, dapat kanina ginawa na rin nila ito. So, they have the upper hand right now. So, mm. they might get the uh, self racks, let's see. Ayun na nga, syempre. Mm. Actually, actually, para sa akin, yung Trend Protector is really more on... Wait lang pero ha, pero... Pero hold that dot muna ha. Eto, nagkakasalit. Oh. Nagkakasalit yung Jack Hero. Bukos naman na ilapat na lang dito. Nung Wang Kiking. Mm, BKB Pop. Remember, ito yung takakabuhay na lang. Double kill for it. Ayun, mm. yung Ender Titan went for his buyback end. Oh, no. Oh, 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 eh, Oh no. Ang ganda ng Muntik na. Actually ano? Actually ang ganda na na they targeted the Jakiro first. Kasi doon talaga sila mamamoblema eh. Like sabihin natin na go all in sila into the fight pero problema nila yung DPS damage that Jakiro can really uh, give into the table. And speaking of which, hindi na siya nag-aganims. Um, he would just go for KNS na rin. Kaya in Sanj. I think for this, at this point for Jakiro, you just really want to survive, right? And yeah. nakita natin kung gano'n siya kabilis na burst ng ET with the Ember Spirit. So, mm. I think the plan is to just stay alive as much as possible because that way, he can deal much more damage. Because mm. here sa Dual Breath, there's ice, there's liquid, liquid frost. frost. Mm -hmm. So, there's a lot of things here for Jakiro. Here. Mm -hmm. And again, for Golden Kangaroos, overextending like we saw last game from the other teams. Mm. That gives a window for them at least. A glimmer of hope mm. to win. Especially for this Morphling who is now closing in on his Ethereal Blade. Yeah, I mean, ayun lang yung pagkakasan nila dyan. Like, huwag nilang hayaan yung Morphling na go into the late game. This might be a huge threat when it comes to them. Pero teka lang ha, this is a smoke gang. Sino yung pinapatay nila dito sa may bandang riverside? And that would be the Death Prophet. They're still going? Yan lang din na siguro, pero yun na nga, um, as we can see, Jakiro just completing the Kaya in Sanj. And of course, Rad of Eidos. Mm -hmm. Pero ang ganda ng combination yun just in case, uh, yung, liquid fa uh, li uh, yung liquid frost and then together with an ice, pa um, ice pot. Talagang maka-secure ka ng at least na one or two members into that, uh, into that chain eh. Yeah, kita mo, ang layo ng range. Thanks to that, uh... <laughs> thanks to that group. Nakipit ka. <laughs> kita mo yung daming hold, eh. <laughs> Pwede pa siya pasukin ng queen dito. Ako ba? They got the queen of pain. Galing <laughs> We will paint this one down as well, so we can work with it. I don't know. Mm-hmm. Ember Spirit. Oh, you're going to run. Look at the damage. BKB pops up. It's a dieback from the Ember. It, it's a dieback. Ito, ito mo yun. Like combinations. 
na combination siya na wala sa oras ng Jakira, ikita mo yung buhay niya, like literally halos namamatay na siya doon kung hindi siya nagsigil. I think they really underestimated the value of Jakira here. Kasi grabe yung yeah. nakita niyang damage output doon. Yung mm -hmm. liquid fire lang, liquid frost, and yung uh, dual breath yung pumatay sa ember. Mm -hmm. And I think E.T. is gonna fall here. Oh, nice timing ng spell immune. And grabe, mm -hmm. perfect timing for uh, Radiant over here. Sakto, pa-uwi sila, pwede silang sumilip kay Roshan. Now, I think they can get the Rosh and secure this win right after this one. Mm -hmm. Imagine if nakuha ni Jakiro yung ano, yung enchanted quiver. Gaano kalayo siya makakabagbato ng liquid uh, Ga liquid fire. Gaano kasakit? Gaano kasakit rather, di ba? Ibibigay ba ni Queen of Pain? Iniintay ko lang eh. Eh, then, nakay Queen of Pain. Nakay Queen of Pain. Nakay Queen of Pain. Hmm. Ang spider legs. And yun na nga, second row. Yep, ito na nga. Second row. Ano yung shard yung nakuha ni December? Yup, it's a... Ano yung binigyan yung shard? Okay. Oh, pwede nila pang bait to. You can use this as a bait. Yeah. So whenever na pumasok silang... Pasokin nila yung hoodwig, that would be a problem eh. Pero yeah, right now, 38.70. 21k gold lead. Talagang ilan ba yung probability nila ngayon na... 99% win probability. So, Grabe. ano magagawa dito? 99%! Ito, ito lang yung mga ano, ito lang yung mga consider mo dyan ha. Yung, kumbaga, di ba sa Avengers, one out of millions. Dito kaya, one major play ang kailangan nilang gawin to turn the tides around in their favor. Hmm. Ano bang yung isip ko matagdang ayaw? He has a uh, more thing. He already has a... Uh, Ethereum Blade. Key Blade. Yeah. Meron ka ng Manta. BKB. Satanic. Meron layo pa sa pangarap yun eh. Hmm. Satanic. Pero kung makakaabot pa siya sa Satanic. Pero kasi Satanic, mananolify din siya ng ano eh. Mananolify din siya ng wala sa oras ng Hootwink with the Spirit Vessel. I think BKB is really the the right choice for this because the damage output that we gave the Queen of Pain and the lockdown of Jokiro Hoodwink, the Chain Protector, is it's pretty immense. So Morphling really needs the BKB this time. But this is the final push, I believe. Ages on the Radiant side, they're complete, full HP, all their ults are up. I think it's go time. Yeah. And yes, no buybacks for Ember Spirit. No BKB then. So ayun lang. So whenever whenever na talagang pasokin dito ng ginupin yung Ember Spirit, is medyo wala siya magagawa. Unless meron siyang remnant na nasa fountain. Pero kasi pag narad ka at nakumbuhan ka ng wala sa oras ng hoodwink, that would be... Hindi ko naman ba nangyayari dito? I'm thinking if... If uh, manalo sila sa team fight nito, wala nakalos buyback lahat ng men, ano, lahat yeah. ng tagbulin kami. Yeah, I think this is the final push. Yung Queen of Pain papasok lang dito with the Aegis, with the Shiva, with the Yuse. Kayang-kaya mm. niyang kumawala. Yeah. Yung Jakiro sumisimple lang eh. Simpleng sniping sa sa mga tower into the beast. Kailangan nilang magbuy-time nung ano. Here we go. Speaking of which. Nasabi natin na tama lang agad yung mga... Mm -hmm. uh, this might be uh, really. I think Flux uh, doesn't have time to wait. I think it's go time for Flux. Mm -hmm. 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 Mm -hmm
Spotify, Macro Fire, na ilang pagdarin. Ay, kumulong ka lang! Big Nuts! Ember Spirit Season Mobile. Oh, tamang yun sa mga bukas. Oh, and I think that's it, guys. Grabe. Grabe yun. And congratulations to that Sangaros. That task play, ganda ng ikuin and bushwak talagang nagkadikit-dikit sila.